morning, good morning. Thank you, guys. It's my birthday. Now, I've got to say, it isn't my official birthday until later on in the week, but do you know what? It is my birthday show. It is the 21st of April. It is my birthday today. Oh, I'm so excited. I must say, I have never, ever in um, about 15 or 16 years of working in this industry, I've never been given my birthday pin badge. So I'm so excited to show you. We have got a free pin badge with every order today. And I am gonna say while well, stocks last because we've got a jam packed, jam packed day. Thank you so, so much to our team upstairs who have been super, super generous. And look, it's really good. It's got a little microphone on it. It's bright pink. I don't think we've actually got, uh, we haven't had a badge like this. Um, Yes, I, like, I do like to sing. Our team know me very, very well when designing my badge. And there's a little code on the back as well with free p, &P. So don't throw the packet away. Have a look and you'll get free p, &P with your um, code on the back. So today's show is mega. If you've got any Sunday plans today, cancel them and stay with us because it's going to be so, so good. We've got, we've got so much, so much going on this hour um is again stacked we have got a lot in this hour which we'll talk about bex is in the building as well and she has brought to us potentially i'm just going to call it i think the best summer mate kits that we've ever had there she is she's eagerly awaiting in the wing she went, oh i'm live oh <laughs> me and bex we never get to work together ever so i'm really excited that we've got a show with her but anyway Oh, I'm holding on to this like we've got this as the early bird. Should we do the early bird? Du, 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 du. My early bird, birthday early bird, is your textile markers. Absolutely love these. Uh, yesterday we were talking with Dave Green, Green Machine, um, about upcycling, repurposing, and I think that these are brilliant for that. If you have got any children or grandchildren or friends that love personalising things, you've got to get your textile markers, whether it be onto T-shirts, whether it be onto canvas shoes. Ah, oh, already, already. Hello, Mar Marjorie. Hello, Pauline. Oh, thank you very much. Do you know what? I've had very, very, very little sleep. Very little sleep. Um, but I've been too excited about my birthday. Hello, Meg. Hello, Margaret. Thank you very, very much. I can't believe I've spent four birthdays on Sewing Street. It's been crazy. Four birthdays at Sewing Street. I think we did about three birthday shows on Sewing Quarter as well. So I feel like I've known you all for so, so long. It's been, yeah, amazing. Thank you for all your messages. And I promise you, we're going to treat you. That's the best thing about having a birthday um, at Sewing Street is that we get to spoil you for my birthday. I get to be a bit of a diva and I ask for loads and loads and loads of discounts so you're going to benefit first of all everybody who buys will get the pin badge and watch this for your early bird now these have got double-sided uh nibs so you've got a thicker nib on one end and a finer nib on the other and they're just 9.99 today for all of your colors now if you've got any of the color me in panels these are brilliant but even as i say just for upcycling for repurposing they're really lovely and and clear um if you want to, uh, now we're just going to do an hour of colouring it, guys. Just a nice calm start to the morning. You've got, as I said, two different size nibs. So that's the fine tip. And then you've also got that thicker nib there. So if you're doing, look, larger, um, if you're doing t-shirts, canvases, if you're personalising banners or bunting. Uh, and the great thing about this is it makes it completely colour fast once you've uh, ironed it. So you iron it, leave it to, uh, to dry, and then you can wash this. Ah, quick, quick, quick. You can, um, <laughs> you can wash this up to 40 degrees and it will be completely colour fast, which is fab, isn't it? Sorry, my colouring doesn't look that good there. Um, it's not my forte. I am getting better at colouring. I spend a lot of time colouring with my maze. Um, 
Here we go. Oh, she might be watching this morning. Maisie, good morning. She FaceTimed me this morning and it was very, very early. And she told me, Mummy, you've forgotten the car. And I don't really, still don't know, really know what that means. I actually had one moment. I thought, how did, how did, how did I get here? Whose car did I get here in? Because I believed my three-year-old that I'd forgotten the car. Um, but anyway, the colours on these are absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you for all my happy birthday messages. What a way to start the show with all these lovely messages. Hello, Heather. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you have a fabulous day. Hopefully, this is the start of summer now, isn't it? I've officially converted into just wearing my flip-flops now for the rest of the summer. Hi, Carol. Oh, a birthday cake emoji. Normally, we can't see emojis. It normally comes up question marks. How have you managed to do that? Oh, it's new. Are we on Facebook Live now, Ben? Right, we should be. Let me try and find you on Facebook. Okay. We have got so much to get through this hour, and I mean so much. So we've actually got another early bird, which is one of my all-time favourite people in the world. I love our Delphine, and she designed the most incredible things for us. She has designed... I've never actually even seen this design before. This was one of the most popular appliques, and we got it back in stock as a kit, as an early bird. We're going to discount one of Delphine's kits today. So, do you know what? We're going to get the price straight down, because for anybody who just wants all of these fabrics and a Delphine pattern for under £20, I mean, regardless of your pattern, that now makes your fabrics a fabulous price. You've got one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine half meters, which if you work out your price per half meter, that is a bargain alone for your fabrics. And then you've also got, I mean, a, a, I mean this is a big, one of the big booklets as well. You've got loads of instructions, step-by-step -step instructions. If you've never done any of Delphine's appliques before, it's an early bird special price at 19.99. I say early bird special, this hour, we are discounting loads. Um, ben says that this feels better than a manager special show. We have got the most amazing deals this hour. I've picked out lots of treats for you personally, some of my favourite bits, some of um, Ben's favourites as well. £19.99 <laughs> for your instructions and all of these half metres of fabric. Even if you're doing, you know, a different project. But, I mean, these are all the perfect colours for Chester. But at that price, you can't, you can't go wrong. Hello, Tracy. Hey, Julie. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. This is... Oh, thank you for all your messages. Hi, Rebecca Jane. Hi, happy birthday, Vicky. I love these pens. Use them to colour in Easter apron panels with my granddaughters. They're very good quality. Aren't they fantastic? And I love the fact that you can make them colour fast. So if you've got a really... Look at all the emojis! Thank you, Dawn. I love the fact that you can personalise something and then keep it. You know, I've got different artwork that Maisie has done and it goes on the fridge for a little while. But imagine colouring like a tote bag that you can then keep or a special cushion or... Yeah, or it doesn't need to just be for children's things. It could be for all sorts. Right, Chester's there. As I said, we're going to discount loads of items in today's uh, bumper deal show. Let's have a look at today's menu. This first hour is all about birthday deals. So, uh, honestly, whenever one of us presenters has a birthday show, it means that you benefit at home. Trust us, it's going to be brilliant. So there's your bumper deals at 8 o'clock. I say bumper deals. We've just picked out some of our favourites. Right. Amber makes, whatever you do, I will show you how to get onto pre-order because I predict this is going to be one of the fastest sellouts ever in Amber makes. Are you ready? Look at this. It is a velvet weekend bag and it is amazing. Oh, they're already going on pre-order, by the way, just a heads up. Which is your favourite? Which is your favourite? Ollie's is the, uh, the elephant. Mine is the strawberry thief. And Ben's is the bumblebee. So we've all got different favourites. I think all three are going to be so, so popular. Hi, Christine. Hi, Morag. 
Um, good morning, Claire. Good morning, Derek, Laurie, Kate. Oh, thank you all so much for your lovely messages. Excited to get the badge. I'm a member of the badge group. Well, this is it. I know a lot of people who are going to be coming in today to make sure that they get their PIM badge. Um, good morning, Lynn. Good morning, Lorraine. Thank you for all of your messages on Facebook. Okay, so can we do this, please? Now, this is a ruler that I've had once before and hundreds sold at the price that it is. This comes in at a brilliant price. Now, for anybody who says, but Vix, I've already got my stripology. I've got my Excel stripology. I don't need another one. Today, we're discounting a stripology, which those of you that have watched, um, you know, our show for the last four years, you know that we do not discount creative grids. We have got... A new ruler, which has only launched, is new to Creative Grids over the last couple of months. It's different to the Stripology Mini that you may have seen before. It comes with instructions, but this is the only ruler that has slots every quarter of an inch. It is amazing. Now, don't panic. You can still cut your full inch increments. You can still cut your half inch increments, but you can now also cut quarter of an inch increments. In fact, you can also cut eighth of an inch increments as well. So if a pattern calls for two and seven eighths, for example, you can cut it. Happy birthday, darling. Uh, thank you, Susie. Thank you, Susie. Um, so this is um, a ruler which I have become a huge, huge advocate for because I know as a quilter, as a sewer, you have patterns out there that call for quite intricate measurements that might be quite difficult to sort of do the maths and work out. Now, if you love working with fat eighths, if you love working with fat quarters, if you love working with charm squares or smaller pre-cuts, this ruler is for you. So don't get me wrong, you're not going to be cutting your full widths um, of fabric, you're not going to be doing those main cuts, but for your pre-cuts and for your sub-cutting, this is brilliant. Before we go into depth about the ruler, please, can you do your bit, Ben? Here we go. Thank you so, so much to the team upstairs who have allowed me for my birthday to do a discount on this because I know so many people that are going to benefit from the, having this ruler. As I said, don't just think, oh, well, I've already got a stripology ruler. Do I need another? I know so many people that actually collect these. So just go, I'll just go very, very quickly as I've got a lot to talk to you about this hour. But just to explain, it's really busy already, I'm being told. So if you're working with, this is a half metre, but if you're working, let's pretend that this is a fat quarter. I'm just going to put this under so that you can see the markings. Now, it's got all the same markings that you're familiar with, with the uh, little grooves in between. So you use your normal 45 millimetre rotary cutter through each of the grooves. Um, you line it up with the bottom Aren't these grooves so handy? One for safety, two for precision, but three for just knowing that you're not having to move a ruler and you're not having to um, shimmy the fabric as well. I mean, this is so handy. So I would always, no matter what pattern you're working with, I would always have it slightly to the edge of the zero line and cut that line there so that you're getting a nice clean cut. Now, each of these slots, as I said, is every quarter of an inch which is so handy if you're doing half square triangles, if you're doing flying geese, if you're doing any pattern that calls for an increment, you know, that's got a quarter of an inch increment, you can cut it with this ruler. You can then, once you've made that first cut, shimmy the edge of your fabric onto that eighth of an inch dotted line. And now you can cut two and an eighth or uh, one and seven eighths of an inch so easily uh, and so um, precisely as well. So not only will it cut your strips, it will obviously then cut your squares. You can do squares into triangles, diamonds. You can do hexagons with this ruler. There is a... Oh, by the way, there's only 60 left. And that sounds like a lot, but over 150 sold when I aired this uh, for the first time at 53.99. You've also got your QR code reader here, which takes you straight to a brilliant video tutorial. So you've got that online support. And literally in the 10 minute video, you will learn all that you need to know to be able to use this ruler, which is fantastic. The online support is great. It doesn't stop there though. So you can cut your strips into different um, squares, triangles, hexes, 
you can then spin it round and use it to square up any blocks. So if you're squaring up your half square triangles, if you're squaring up smaller blocks, you've got two different colours. You've got a black and then a white line. So you can differentiate between each of them. No matter what fabric you're using, you're going to be able to see those lines that show up. And you can see here, all you would do is you will cut between. If you need to cut at quarter of inch increments, you have got those slots here. This is the only ruler from Creative Grids that offer that option of cutting a quarter of an inch. Also, one of my new favorite things about this ruler is if you work with five inch squares, if you've got any of Debbie Moore's five inch squares, uh, you know, the, the panels yesterday, if you've got any charm squares and you are cutting um, half square triangles or you're cutting these in half, if you use that six and a quarter um, here, like that, put your groove in. Look, you can literally cut straight through. Stack these up and you can just put that straight into the groove and you can cut directly through the center of your uh, of your squares. And can you see how I've lined that up? There is this diagonal dash lined here, which I will just line up into the corner of my charm square. That is completely central. I know that then I can just run my rotary cutter straight through the center to be able to cut into triangles. There are so many great uses and you can tell that these are designed by very experienced sewers and very experienced quilters to be able to bring you that. There are loads of you who've got this in your basket. Everybody who's got it in there it will sell out today more in baskets than we have availability just so you're aware um, less than a hundred of these remaining in fact way less than 50 now um, yeah there were 60 remaining we've now got all oh, in fact less than 40 remaining if you want it be quick they do come with full instructions in fact even cutting multiple eighth inch increments it gives you the size of the strip and what you're going to need, move the ruler, eighth of an inch and cut at these points. So you're not even having to work out the maths. On the video, the lady said, right, so if you want, um, I don't know, here we go, five eighths of an inch strips, just cut at this point and this point and this point. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to work out this math still, aren't I? But no, because in these instructions, they've actually given you, right, if you want um, two inch and three eighths, then you cut, first cuts on the zero line, then the five, then the quarter, um, and it gives you exactly where you're going to make those cuts to get these strips, which is just so handy, isn't it? Oh, Jean says, I've got my badge. All you have to do is purchase something today. You can't buy these. Money can't buy them. You just gotta order something today and you will get one free within your parcel and don't throw the packet away because on the back you've got a little cheeky cheeky code which has got a free pmp code to use in the future very excited for that um so yes this is just one of my picks i did ask for this you know uh, well i love it i've only actually ever seen it once before and i was amazed by it and the amount of times that i have talked to guest designers asking well how is this handy even this morning i asked bex I said, because she's not seen this one before, and she had to look at it, and she was like, oh, yeah, I have looked at this. She says, this is brilliant, because there are so many patterns that call for quite intricate cuts, and to be able to cut quarter-inch increments, as well as your half-inch, don't panic, this isn't just for quarter-inch increments, you can still cut your half-inch, you still cut your full-inch increments, so if you're cutting your own jelly rolls, for example, you can literally just go to the... Um, about well, two and a half inch and, and cut accordingly. Or if your, your pattern calls for one and a half inch cut, they've even done a little star key. So you would cut here, 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 and here, and instantly you have got one, two, three, four really clean strips that are ready to go in. If you're layering up, you can do you know multiples. You can put layers of fabric as long as you, you're comfortable. Okay. We got so much to go through this hour. So I'm gonna leave that with you, but there are less than 20 now remaining. Please don't miss out on that because there's now 40 of you who've got that in baskets. Remember that is different to the mini, that is your quarters mini. Okay. I haven't done this for so long because it's been out of stock for so long. Um, every single time we've had a show where I've needed 505, I've been told, sorry, 
It's hard to stop. It's 505 spray. It is your quilt basting spray. I say quilt basting. You can use this for lots of different projects. It is basically your temporary adhesive. So how many of you have set thread basting or tacking um, layers of quilt sandwiches together? You don't need to do that. Just give it a spritz, give it a spray, well-ventilated room, onto your wadding, put your fabric on top and it will hold it in place. And it's not like, oh, it will hold it in place 10 minutes whilst you're at your machine. If you're doing a big quilt, it will hold its, you know, it will hold on to it for, for weeks. If you just keep it into, um, if you just keep it in a cupboard or, you know, it, it will hold that, um, what am I saying? Hold those pieces together as long as you need them to. But then it will wash out. It's a temporary adhesive. It's only $7.99. Oh! Come on, Ben. I thought this was just a back in stock. There you go. This is where Wendy Orlando will be buying 10 of these because you're going to be then saving £10, Wendy, aren't you? Pound off. I mean, that is... Brilliant for everybody who's multi-buying especially, go for it. If you paid your post in packaging, you're getting your pin badge, you paid your PMP for the day, you're ahead of the uh, the rush for Amber Makes if you get on pre-order nice and early. Pre-order is going wild. Pre-order is going wild, by the way, for Amber Makes's um, weekend bags. We've never done anything like it. And wait till you see their new packaging as well. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. I think that's what I love about Amber Makes. It's the attention to detail. They spend so many hours, so much time. And you can tell Bex and Amy love what they do. They care so much. And I, I mean, it's, I, we, we all have said we want to work for Amber Makes. We keep saying we want to come and have a job. They're going on a location shoot this week to a lovely cottage because they said, oh, do you know what? It's our Christmas party and they're, they've just invested in, in a sticker machine because they just love it. They just love it. And they're like, do you know what? It'll only take, you know, five years for us to pay this off. It's just brilliant, but we've got to have a sticker machine. So it's the attention to detail that you will love with Amber Makes. They're just amazing kits. Right, way too many of you there. Way too many of you there. If you do want the 505, that is available. I'm very, very happy that you've chosen to spend your Sunday morning with me. Thank you. And I promise you'll benefit. You will benefit. Um, thank you, Bex Reed, for asking to get the big refills in. So let me just show you the difference. It's better value for money to be able to get the one of these instead of two of these. The only difference is that you don't get the sprayer. So this is classed as a refill. So if you don't have this already, I would still buy one of these and just decant it into a, a sprayer bottle that you may have at home. Um, but it's better value for money because these are your 500 mil, which we've already had, and these are your litre bottles. So you, you've, you've got options today. Should we just go for the big ones or the small? Let's go for the big ones. Then we can give you the option of the smaller ones as well. Now, we have got a great selection of, of, of um, I was going to say flavours, but scents. So we've got the linen, we've got the scent free, and we've got in the big bottles, the lavender as well. This is $21.99. But do you know what? We haven't told you. We're going to discount it. I told you, when I was doing the early bird, I was a bit sort of uh, reluctant to say, but virtually everything feels like an early bird and better today, doesn't it? 19.99. Thank you, Bex, for asking to get these in. As I said, we've got so many people in our team that are industry experts and that are sewers. And um, Bex said, I have to buy mine on Amazon. Get these in, get them in. We use them, especially at a reduced price today, $19.99. So our buying team listened to Bex and got in the big ones for us. These are brilliant because we use Best Press a lot. If you're working with any bias edges, if you're wanting to just stabilise your fabric before you start quilting, um, it's not going to gum up your needle. It leaves no flaking, no residue, no shining. You can use it on any colour fabrics and it's just going to give you a bit more sort of stability. It's not like a starch spray that you buy in the... Um, in the supermarket it's designed with sewers in mind you can use it to relax creases you know in your clothes when you're ironing this is great hope you get a party when you get home <laughs> um 
I don't think I'll be having a party today. I mean, you never know. We might do. We might do. I'm gonna. I might take my balloons home and and tell the guys to have a little party. It's my birthday later on in the week. I'm not. I, do you know? It's so weird, isn't it? If it wasn't for Sewing Street, I think I'd be really miserable and be like, oh, I just don't need another birthday. It's fine. I'm. I, I think April is just so manic because it was Maisie's birthday last week. It's Kieran's birthday in March. It's just so busy all the time. All of Maisie's little friends' birthdays at the same time as well. Went to a party yesterday afternoon. So um, by the time it gets to my birthday, I'm like, oh, I don't really feel up to partying. But actually, I must say, Sewing Street always spoil me rotten. Okay, shall we do the scent free? Oh, update on the rulers, 15 left. 15 left, and how many in baskets? 50 plus. So many of you have got that. That's discounted today. Okay. £19.99 for your scent free best press. You know, sometimes you don't want to have it smelling a linen. Some people don't like lavender. If you just want the scent free, go for it. Really? Alice doesn't like the scented things, no. She bought me lovely. No, you, you. Alice bought me the most amazing lavender pillow spray. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen pounds ninety-nine for your refill. Remember, this is now. <laughs> this is now your. Uh, Hundred. Well, I say one litre. It actually says 99.9959. I mean, that's very specific. Have you seen how much it says on here? It's not quite, not quite a litre. It's 999 mil and... Oh, my gosh, that's so weird, isn't it? It's a litre. Let's. What is point forty <laughs> between friends? That's ridiculous. I was thinking, oh, maybe because they do it in um, the in ounces, in fluid ounces. But actually, even that's a random number, isn't it? Maybe they've just rounded it. Um, £19.99. All you need to know, it's way better value for money now getting the larger bottle than it is. And we also have my favourite, which is the lavender, because it makes you all nice and relaxed and calm. Lavender fields. Oh, you put the wrong one in. Let's do the... Oh, hang on. That's fine. There you go. You want this one? This is the one with the sprayer. This is a slightly smaller one. So if you're thinking, well, I've not actually tried this. Go for it. Thank you, Jeanette. We are too. We are too. Um, we're crushing the smaller bottles. Oh, Ben. Ben is eating all the party food, obviously in all of the cake in the gallery. He's having way too much, uh, too much fun in there. Right. There's the big lavender, just so you can see. It's doing knee slides on the dance floor. <laughs> did you do knee slides last night, Ollie? 30 year olds party? The kids did. Is that still a thing? Oh, I'm so happy that's a thing. Because, is it these, as you know, is, are we called millennials? What are we called? No, I'm not even a millennial, am I? Am I? Oh, what are you, Kat? I'm a Gen Z. Gen Z. But millennials, like yesterday, I went to a kid's party and they're like, pose, everyone have a photo. And I can't help but be like, woo, woo, doing funny poses. And they were like, and all of the, you know, the younger kids like Kat, they're just like, they can just stand there and just have a photo. Whereas I'm like striking a pose. They don't like emojis, do they? Okay. Oh, Kat's like, I do love the la laughing foes. Yeah, the little monkey face like this. <gasps> Apparently for they're for old people. I still always use that. Yeah. <laughs> right, 1999. Have a look at this elsewhere. You are getting a fabulous deal. Oh, can we do our new scent? Have you noticed there's a green bottle? Have you seen this? Right, I'm not going to lie, I have opened this one up just so, well, Kat opened it so that we can have a little sniffed test. Because I know that obviously you can't, you can't, we haven't got smell of vision. It smells like a fancy lemonade. You know when you have a fresh lemonade from, like out of a glass bottle in a, in a really lovely cafe, 
in the Cotswolds. That's what it reminds me of. It's citrus, what's it called? Citrus Groove, Citrus Grove. <laughs> I'm going with Citrus Groove. Ooh, ooh. This is lovely. That's the name of our next sing <laughs> sing single, Citrus Groove. Brilliant. Just £9.99. Is that an actual emoji? Um, I love emojis. I'm really upset that you've told me that that's a thing of the past. You've made me buy flare jeans. <laughs> I think it's all just confused, Ben. <laughs> okay, £9.99. And this is that new citrus scent. It's new to me. Is it new to you? Is it new to you, Ben? Oh. They're like, no, Vic, we've seen this before. I thought that was new for me. And this is another new one. You can't see it on the end, but look. Oh, I haven't had a, let me have a smell. Oh, oh, that is lovely. Oh my gosh, that's, oh, that smells like perfume. That is beautiful, not overpowering. It's not an overpoweringly floral scent, it's cherry blossom. So it's so, oh, that is lovely. Oh, you've got to have a collection of Best Press. Have a collection, if you use it a lot, have all the different scents depending on the mood you're in. If you're wanting a nice relaxing, you know, a nice relaxing bit of sewing, use your lavender. If you want something to make you feel fresh and springy, it's this one. Uh, if you want, again, something nice and fresh, go for your citrus. Pauline, I bought the citrus one to try. Give it a go, honestly. And even though they they look, you know, color, the, the, the green and this one's pink, it's not gonna affect your fabric at all. And that one's the one that comes with the spray bottle, by the way. We don't have these two in the larger ones because we're just trying to see, you know, what people think. But they're only 9 99 Really good. And everybody who gets one today, while stocks last, you also get our Vicky pin badge. Vicky's birthday show pin badge. You can put that on eBay later if you want. <laughs> Many can't buy them, but... You might find them on Vintage. No, I'm only joking. They're... Uh, they're, they're they are collector's items. I know a lot of people who are part of our, you know, badge club who have been collecting badges for the last four years every time we've had a badge. So if you want it, grab it. It's while stocks last. I'm sure there'll be something today for you. Can I just very quickly show you as well, after we've gone through these, how to get onto pre-order? Because I'm concerned about Amber Makes' stock levels because we haven't shown you pre-order and they are going absolutely wild in the aisles for the weekend bags. Right, this is your Linen Fresh in the smaller bottle. Great value for money, isn't it? It's a good chance to try out the Mary Ellen's Best Press. I'm just having a look, your spray bottles. Yeah, I mean, spray bottles, these should be, yeah, uh, normally at 11 .99. If you purchase them elsewhere, you probably find them the same sort of price today. Uh, uh, they are discounted under 10 Pounds. It's going to be a very, very busy show. If there's anything that we don't get a chance to air this hour, we do it in our, our, our 10 o'clock. Is there another one that we haven't done yet in the smaller bottles, the scent free? Scent free, smaller bottles. It's a tenner. We are discounting it again. Whatever you do, do not miss this one. This is so good. We never discount best press, do we? Hello, Jeanette. She says, totally addicted to Sewing Street. It's fab. Have a lovely birthday. Julie, happy birthday, Vicky. Enjoy your day. Katie says, happy birthday, Vicky. Hope you have a lovely day. I actually came up on my um, time hop when we were in lockdown. I had my birthday shop. Time hop, is that what it's called? Memories. Memories, memories. Time up was a thing of the past, I'm being told. Oh, gosh, for millennials. So um, I was in lockdown and we were in our tiny little studio under the cupboard stair, under the stair, in the stair. Um, we were in the cupboard under the stairs in Jewellery Maker in lockdown. I was on my own in the studio, but they put a banner up for me and it was my birthday show. It was brilliant. Nine pounds ninety nine. 
Oh, it was great. You hated sharing your building with us, didn't you? At the point, Ollie, our director, and Ben, our producer, they were both at Jewelry Maker at the time, and they hated us coming into their patch. We all just, yeah. And then as the team grew bigger and bigger and bigger, we had to, we grew out of the, the comfort under the stairs and we had got our own first studio. It was brilliant. Here we go, Christine, I have the scent free best press. Lavender Fields is my favorite, but I've just got the cherry. It's cherry blossom, so it's quite floral, but it's not overpoweringly floral. It's a soft floral, it's lovely. It doesn't smell like cherries, Christine. It's just, it's a floral, a cherry blossom. It's really lovely though, I think you'll like it. And the citrus is really nice as well. They're not overpowering. They've got the they've got the scents just right. Nine pounds ninety-nine. Oh, I just can't get a glance at my badge. Honestly, the amount of people I've sent pictures of this in my uh, to my phone book of oh my gosh, I feel so honoured to have had my own badge. It's brilliant. Um, yes, so. Today's show, I did go through the menu, but, oh, look at my birthday banner. Oh my gosh, that was a good four years ago as well, I think that picture, actually, no, when was that? I can't remember, but. Um, <laughs> if you click on watch live and scroll down, you'll be able to message in, you'll be able to get the early bird, you'll be able to get all of the deals that we've got underneath us. Don't forget, there's a few of the non-slip grip uh, stripology quarter mini rulers. And then, oh, there's only 11 of those left though. And then these are the items we're yet to air. Everything is listed underneath us. There are some brilliant deals, but don't forget we are discounting lots of these disc, uh, this products. We're gonna discount lots of them. So if you want anything, grab them. I don't see the seams hand cream. I use seams every single day, every single day. Um, the Aurifil we're discounting, by the way. We're discounting the big 45 spool of Aurifil, the two Aurifil as well. Look, there's so many amazing things. These are now all Amber Makes products. Uh, Bex has picked all of these out for her show. And then, there you go. You have got the Velvet Weekender bag in the Bumblebee in the William Morris and where's the other one? Where's the elephant? Ah, there it is. There it is. Now, $47.99, trust me, is phenomenal value. Phenomenal value for what you're getting. Oh, those Schmetz Microtex needles, by the way. Bex loves them. I'm gonna ask her why, because if I'm honest, I don't know the difference with Microtex needles. So I'm excited that Bex is here because she said, you asked me on air why I love Microtex needles and I'm off. You've lost me for an hour because she loves them. Um, we've got brand new fabrics in the 10 o'clock hour. We've got panels, we've got, um, we've got the most beautiful tapestry fabrics, cotton fabrics, flannel fabrics. We've got new cats. We've got new um, dog fabrics as well. Pawsome posh fabric. Possibly posh. Oh, and these Maury's pillars are gorgeous. Um, and then if you keep scrolling down, you'll get to all of the, oh, my rainbow, Princess Dreams. Right, then, thank you, Rebecca Reed, because, I mean, Bex has known Ian years and years and years and years and years, and they're good friends. These should never have been reprinted. Bex has picked the um, the biggest, I mean, these are the, people, the ones that people missed out on. These are all the makes that loads of people have missed out on. Those topsy-turvy dolls were amazing. The giraffe panel is back, that tote bag. The velvet pouches that completely sold out in 10 minutes are back. So everything is there. You've got your zips, you've got everything that you need. Um, thank you so much, Bex, because she has scheduled and put together and begged Ian to reprint these. We don't normally reprint them. So yes, there are some fabulous kits. Um, those velvet pouches are lovely as well. I haven't even mentioned, oh my word, we've got sewing machine discounts coming up. We've got deals on the Elna 5 series, on the Elna 580 plus and on the Elna 782, the one with the stitch regulating foot, the one that's literally, it was new for our birthday. We have exclusivity in the UK on the Elna um, machines anyway. So to be able to discount it is very exciting. Stay tuned. Okay.
Oh, there's all in a couple. Can we do this absolute whopping box of Orofil, please? This is brand new to me, and there is something so satisfying about even just seeing this box. It is absolutely beautiful. This, oh my gosh, is the plushest selection of Orofil. It's called Orofil Best. It's look, it's ma it's got the magnet on the uh, the flap as well, so it's a real push box. And I mean, inside is just every sewer's dream. <gasps> Oh my word, you have got 45 200 meter spools of absolute luxury Egyptian cotton spun in Italy. It's absolutely divine. You've got a fabulous selection of variegated threads. You've got solids. You've got the whole spectrum, rainbow colors. And today, we're discounting it. It's going to be on split pay still. Your price per spool, and therefore your price per 100 metre, is now extremely attractive. I understand it's a big investment, but if you were to buy all of these individually, even if you were to go to your local supermarket and you buy polyester 100 metre threads between £1.50 and £2 a spool, this is actually better value for money. That's what I find mind boggling. If you can afford to make that initial sort of investment, one, you're using true luxury thread. Orofil is specially derived to work obviously with your cotton thread, uh, cotton fabrics. I know a lot of quilters who love to work with Orofil because it is 100% um, a, a, a cotton thread, super strong. The colors are amazing as well. Um, that is nine thousand meters of orofil cotton now because it's your 50 weight this is the one that you can use in your uh machine in your bobbin in the top of your machine you can use it for piecing you can use it for applique you can use it for hand stitching it's two pence a meter it is two pence a meter so that's two pound for a hundred meters is that right two pound for a hundred meters yeah so that is like if you were to buy your regular, your regular run-of-the-mill polyester thread in the supermarket will cost you between £1.50 and £2 a spool. Um, so I would personally be thinking, actually, in the long run, this is this is better value for money. This is brilliant. A bit late to the party, but I hope you have a lovely day. Sue, don't worry. You're not late. You're not late. It's only 20 to 9 on a Sunday morning. I'll let you off. But... Have a look back through, see what you've missed because we've done already everything discounted. We've dropped prices on everything. Right, just for Sue, we've had textile markers, we've had a Delphine kit, we've had a Creative Grid Stripology ruler and there are only, well this should have been 53.99. Don't get me wrong, I love it when we take a pound off 505, it's brilliant. But we have just taken nearly £10 off a Stripology ruler, which is amazing. There are over 50 of you who have got this in your basket. And there are, how many did you say, 11 yet left? 11 left. Christine, I must thank you as well for being, you know, the leader of my marketing campaign for today's show because she was the one who said, you got the date wrong. She said, I was panicking when I saw the advert for your birthday on the 21st of May. I messaged, but didn't, uh, but didn't see the problem until I, I, I screenshot it. So thank you so much because otherwise everybody would have been late for my party. I thought everybody would miss your wonderful day and I could never let that happen. Honestly, Christine, where would it be without you? Thank you. Because we're all so busy in the breaks that I actually hadn't noticed that advert going out. I was, um, we were always busy scurrying around setting up the next shows. So, yes. Okay, just that was just for uh, Sue who was late for the party. What's this for? Yes, yes. Okay, now, look. Forgive me, we are in April. I am aware of this, but this is going to be such a great price that I would put this into your stash, in the garage, in your cupboard, on a, a comic board, and we have got Christmas fabrics for three ninety nine. And what is even better, and this is why I say forgive me, because 
This is a no-brainer. In fact, I went to my local sort of garden centre, Hatton Country World, um, and they have a whole shop that is Christmas. They've now actually taken out all of their sort of uh, gift stuff and just put Christmas. And nothing's discounted. It's just Christmas all year round, and it is full price. A bit more was saying, who's going to buy all this, this, you know, in the summer? But if it were discounted, I'd get it. Watch this. I mean, $3.99 for, let me show you how much you're getting here. $1.99. Now I'm thinking birthdays. I'm thinking just because. Add it within your, stars aren't just for Christmas. Stars you could use, you could get your pin badge. You get your pin badge and a half meter of fabric for $1.99. Oh my word. And you've paid your P&P for the day then. Be careful. There's going to be hundreds of units gone. This is now cheaper than your P&P, obviously. So with your pin badge, um, you've paid your post and packaging for the day and there's a code on the back for free BMP that you can use another time. You're going to get that on the next time that you, you shop. So if you spend one ninety nine today, you're still saving money on your PMP basically, aren't you? Because you get your pin badge, which is, yeah. Love that. And look, it's got glitter. It's got glitter. What's that, Ollie? He says, I'm one of these people that if I buy four things, <coughs> he splits the PMP. So that's one PMP, well, one pound PMP per product if you're buying four things. So if you add two pounds, so there you go, that makes your PMP better every time, doesn't it? See what you're saying? I, like, I do, I like the way you're thinking. No, I like the way you're thinking. 100% cotton. <laughs> then I divide my postage and packaging by three. Square root. <laughs> 700 and it's free. <laughs> Your wavy stars, hundreds of these. Just be aware there's people buying 10 metres, there's people buying, you know, a, a mighty amount. And we've got 70 people who've got it in their basket. How many units are you buying, though? I don't know. Every single person is multi-buy. Am I allowed to see the call screen today? No, it's against the rules, but I just love seeing everyone's names. It's just £1.99. A half metre. I have never sold cotton fabric. It just maybe needs to refresh it. Um, this is amazing. I've never sold cotton fabric for one ninety nine. That is a pound a fat quarter. One pound a fat quarter. Absolutely crazy. One pound ninety nine half metre for your wave stars. Do you want to do this? Um, you can't even call this Christmas fabric anymore. Oh my gosh. Let's do the green. Green and gold metallic stars for birthdays, for Christmas. We're going to match the price. <gasps> Go for it. They're all going to be one ninety nine if you want to shop ahead on pre-order as well. Well done if you're getting five of these. Tracy got five. Look, I mean, this I would just use them within my piecing. Metallic gold stars. For one ninety nine. Let me show you. It's one hundred and twelve wide. It's like a lighter popular way. I'd actually be using this to wrap presents up, for birthdays, for Christmas, making your own little tote bags, gift bags, for linings. From there, it just looks like polka dots. So you could use this within your, uh, use it within. No, you could use this for dressmaking, for a shirt, for for children's clothes as well. It'd be lovely for within a quilt. If you're doing smaller piecing, you're still going to get these lovely little ditzy stars. Very, very, very busy. How many units of these did we start with? Did we have hundreds of units? Only 140, only 140, which isn't actually, when you think about that in terms of meters, because we sell by the half meter. So if you're getting two units, it will come continuously um, for you. So for example, uh, the collector has just bought three units in Cheshire, then you're gonna get a meter and a half sent to you, cut off the bolt. I mean, it's brilliant, isn't it? And you're getting your pin badge. <laughs> While stocks last. While stocks last. <gasps> How many of the team ordered of these badges do you know? Hopefully, yeah, thousands. You're all right. We're all right for today, hopefully. Right, here we go. White. Your cream, sorry, and gold metallic stars. One per customer, by the way. One per order, one per customer. A uh, £1.99. 
Isn't this lovely? And once again, this is one of those. Um, brilliant. Uh, hopefully we've got enough to go around today. I am going to keep saying uh, whilst it's lost. I've got some of these for Christmas stockings. Perfect. For one ninety nine. can I just say, look, in a few months, we're going to fast forward to Christmas fairs and markets. We make in the summer for Christmas as sewers. We make all our Christmas makes now, get them all out of the way, put them in a bag, you're ready to go. Well, we do Christmas in July, don't we? And we will not be selling Christmas fabric at 199 as crafters we don't stop christmas let's face it do we we're buying in right now for christmas and we will not be stocking gold star fabric for 199 but i don't know why i keep mentioning christmas because this isn't christmas fabric is it this is stars this is cream and stars yeah there are so many of you who've got these yeah ridiculous amount of people in baskets oh my gosh this is brilliant so, grey, mauve, ivory and rose. Are you ready dressmakers? Are you ready, anybody who's doing quilting? Yeah, you could back a quilt with this and it would be lovely to back a quilt with it because it would be super, super soft on your skin. Okay, this is half a metre. Are you ready to go wild again? Ben, 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 look at the width of it. 4.99 a half metre. I'd make, I'd make a, like a, you know, like a really lovely, oh, what is it? The Jules Fallon's pattern. Jules Fallon's lovely Cotagon pattern. Perfect for that. Have you got the, the, it's a coat slash cardigan. Or what about the shacket? What about the Tallulah shacket? I think Dave Bradford would love a shacket in this. Oh, this is beautiful for, for blouses and shirts. It's perfect for back of quilts. You could use it for bag making, absolutely. You could use it for, what about dog beds? What about uh, dog beds? This would be perfect for that. Pet makes. Oh, it's super soft. So, so soft. Super soft. Light grey. Um, I'm so pleased that we've got another fabulous quantity. And, right, can I just do a little bit of maths? Because, Ollie, you were very good with the square root of whatever number you were doing in the gallery earlier. Can you do a bit more maths for me? Claire's bought six units. If she would have bought it at eight pound a half metre, I want to work out how much she said, because that's where you benefit it, isn't it? If you're working out... It would have cost you 47.94 if you'd have bought it at original price. And now, Claire, it's costing you 29.94. So you have saved today, Claire, by buying six units, 18 pounds or something like that. I mean, that is 18 pounds. See, this is where you're saving a lot is when you, yeah, the more you buy, the more you save. Oh, here we go. I have the Bianca coat um, in that fabric on my cutting table. Um, and she said, I certainly didn't pay 4 99 Sue, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll move on. We'll move on. Should we do the light pink? Sue, if you love the Bianca, if you've got it in the grey, sorry, this is the rose. If you've got the Bianca and you've got it on the cutting table, why not make it a rose colour one as well at these prices? It's $7.99, that's how much it is, a half metre. I wonder whether you could do some colour blocking. You could have the bottom of the coat again. If you do a panel of the bottom in pink, I love the combo of the grey and pink, actually. They'd work really nicely together. And once again, right, I'm going to throw caution to the wind, Christmas stockings, Christmas stockings, Christmas sacks. Imagine doing a plique on, with a name, cut out somebody's name or cut out someone's name with fleece and a plique it on. Ollie was talking about using this for a plique. Ollie, that's how you do it. And then what I do is use my green machine for eyelets at the top, drawstring, and there you've got your, uh, your really luxurious Christmas sacks ready. Okay, you've got the cream or ivory, cream, ivory. Christmas, 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 Christmas. I'm going to make a, a snowman onesie for Maisie with this. Perfect. Fleeces, hoodies. 
about that prize? Yes, fancy dress costumes. <laughs> Put it over a table and make it look like it's a snow scene. Absolutely, go for it. Um, back, back quilts with it. Why don't you do backing of a, a baby quilt? Back a baby quilt with it. It will be so lovely and soft. Really nice for, uh, <laughs> really nice for in a, a, a picnic basket. Very important message Ben is saying. Morning all, thanks for the deals, Ben. Cheers, Ben. <laughs> Way, that's for you, Lynn. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Thanks for the deals. Hey, have a lovely birthday when it arrives. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. I'm, I'm milking the fact that I'm still 32 for another four days. I'm using off cuts to make a hot water bottle cover. Hot water bottle cover. This is lovely for that. Absolutely perfect. Thank you for all of your uh, ideas. Yeah, if anybody's got any off cuts, then use it for, for home, homewares. This is my favorite color, the mauve. I want the Bianca coat, the Cotagon. Oh, I'd love it in this. Or a nice fleece with a nice sip. This would be lovely, wouldn't it? 4 99 half meter. I haven't even had a sip of my water. Four pound ninety nine. It's all to me, Bex. I, I, I'm, I feel like a bottle of pop today. I'm too excited. There's so much going on. Are you ready to see um, the Amber Makes kits as well? Oh my gosh, they're going to be brilliant. <laughs> oh look at this! What a birthday preview, Cam. Look at the new packaging as well, Bex. It looks awesome. I need to read um, Sue's message. She says, 32, I have underwear older than that. Wait till you hear Kat's age. Kat, how old are you? 22. 22. <laughs> 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 okay, should we move everything that we haven't done into our next hour, Ben? We've got to do the... Something a bit different. Something a bit different, not sewing related, but look how cool this is because we've got a Benny deal. Ollie, can you lower the lights for us? Because I think this, my, so I've got loads of friends that are getting married and I think that this is gonna be really, really lovely for centerpieces or if we're talking Christmas. I have, yeah, hang on, do I need to? Oh, hang on. No, it's just, I think you've got a bit too dark. It does have, look, it's got the little light, LED lights. Maybe we need to change the batteries and make them lighter. Look, you put the batteries into the bottom, it's lovely. It's, it is glass. <laughs> that was embarrassing, wasn't it? <laughs> 14 99 that's what it will look like. That is what it will look like. I like it without the lights though. I'll put, you could put, I think you like a little pillar candle inside there if you want and take that out because that comes out so you could have it as it is like this, look. It will come sent to you in that one post and packaging sent really nice and carefully as it is glass. Just $14.99. I think Paul's bought these in. I think he wanted one for his own home. They're lovely, aren't they? They have been... Um, They've been selling on pre-order. Just wanted to show you that we can discount them as well today, fourteen ninety-nine, And they've got that glitter, glitter as well. I love them. Okay, right. Whatever you do, do not go anywhere. Bex. Oh yeah, we'll move it into the next hour. Don't worry. All of the William Morris bits, the Aurifils, the wool pressing mat, the cutting shears. We've got so many discounts that we can still bring to you. So we'll do it in the, uh, in the 10 o'clock show. Right. Bex is ready. We have got a brand new... Brilliant kit for you. Weekend bags, three kits, already selling on pre-order. We're back with Rebecca Reed after this. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. 
Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street Hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. 
Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I can't believe, how, Ben is the most excited I've ever heard, ever in my ear. He is so excited about the show. Uh, this, I must say, has been quite a long time in the planning. It's been uh, a show that has been very well, it's, a lot of people have, have been waiting for this on, on this side of the, the Sewing Streets uh, telly screen. So I'm really excited to, to launch it with you. Everybody who loves Amber Makes, you are going to absolutely love these kits. For one, look at this new packaging. It is amazing. Now, we're going to do a whole sort of unboxing uh, experience with Bex because she's here today. Um, and I just wanted, before she's here, to absolutely coo over her amazing new designs. They are with velvet. Um, they are with the most beautiful designs and we have only three kits. So please, please, please get to pre-order as soon as you can as they are limited edition kits. We have a hundred of each and that is it. If you want to get them, go for it. Bex, thank you so, so much. Come on over, oh, in fact, actually. I want to do this with you because oh, I know that you said to me... Happy birthday. Thank you. I know you said to me when I saw you... I was over on jewelry making. Mm. You were like, "I won't ever get to see you if I don't do your birthday show." No, I know. Has to do your birthday I have. show. And then I, we designed these. I wanted to do these for a while, and I thought these are perfect. You would love these. I do. I absolutely you would love, love these. these. In fact, I have a present for you for your birthday. Oh my gosh! A present that you have to. Well, I have, well, I have sort of wrapped it. Oh, in the back. can I open it? Yeah, now? yeah, and open it now. It's your birthday. Oh my god, thanks! <laughs> this is but amazing. these are perfect for you. Oh. So I've made you your own. Oh my word. Cat's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> it's in our favourite colour. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bex. So that's your, you've got your own. And you can see <laughs> it is not that one. You see, it is your very own to keep. Oh because I gosh. thought of you, I thought I can imagine you with a velvet weekend bag. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna actually cry. That is too nice. <laughs> Bex, thank you so, so much. <laughs> I don't even know where to do my like, talk. Oh, you go well, I wanted to do so these. Lovely. Well, Amy and I have wanted to do these for ages because I love a weekend bag. I, I wanted it to be bag. velvety and luxurious oh, and is. we've taken time because I wanted everything to be in the kit because the zips aren't always easy to find in the right colour mm. and I love a double slider zip oh. um, and getting the zip for the inside and the lining so we've put everything I in mean, the it's, kit. I mean it's a big big bag it's a fab big bag i mean we've got it we've got the three colorways the william morris we've got the elephants so i think actually you've covered sort of everybody's tastes here yes yeah, so we've got everyone. traditional bright festival gorgeous uh, well you say this one i think is this one your favorite this is my favorite i've made this one as well for myself <gasps> and i don't often get round to doing that but i have the, the quality of the printing i mean we've all said uh, cat came in and we were all having a look i mean the printing you have Absolutely it's really nailed um, it. It's well, what's great quality. about being able to digitally print is you can place the prints where you want. Yeah, that's so when I'm Amy designed about. them, like if you look at the end of the bees, you know, the, it's not just a bee print. The no. prints are in the right place. And yeah. the, when you sew the handles on, the prints are positioned so that when you sew the handles on, they're in, they match with it, they go with it, they're in the All right All of your place. kits though, I can tell you, absolutely, they are made with so much love. You know, you love what you do. Well, we make, we make things that we want. Yeah. And I really wanted a velvet overnight bag. So. <laughs> In fact, I've made it specially so when I come here, I can put all my stuff in it, my hair dryer. Oh, well, absolutely. You've probably seen the state of my bag and thought <laughs> that's why we've got to make Vix a weekend bag. Right, I'm just wearing mine now for the yeah. rest of the time. <laughs> so, talk to me about your lovely oh. new packaging as well. We're going to start with my one. We're with going to yours. start with my Well, I, packaging's really important to yeah. me. I, it's lo lovely to have packaging. And Amy and I worked for ages on this. And Amy did this design. I think it's genius. Because it, it it's got a zip. I, that is I so love clever. the zip. And then the zip goes all the way round. And then when you open it, it's a zip to <gasps> open. <gasps> Look so at you, that. You can keep your kit in there. Um, if you wanted to give it as a gift, that's the other it's thing. It's lovely. It's in a beautiful box. <gasps> right. And it's Just in our colours. so you know, the graphics are now live and we are half the stock 
gone on your festival elephant bright gorgeous colorway so inside the kit should, should we should we pull the zip open we've got to do this live i wait i haven't even opened these yet because i said we've got to do an unboxing on air um but look you've got this little zip across here you ready ollie this is so satisfying, isn't it's it? It's so satisfying. These are brand new boxes, so we're all around ma a makes kits in the future. Yeah, they will. Like yeah, oh, they will be in our, in our special boxes, the ones that we have created like this. Oh. Right, talk to me what we get then. So you obviously you get the velvet panel, very important. I'll open it up and yes. show you what it looks like. It feels it's amazing. got everything on it, and it is super, super soft velvet, and it's beautiful and as always it's so clear with it you don't have to worry about you know measurements trying to work it all no, out no it's all Adding on seam allowance. no all no. the seam allowance you just cut around the edge there are labels above so you've got a shoulder pad because i think a shoulder pad's important you know because you can carry you can snap it around both handles to carry it or just yeah. put it around one if you don't want to have it there there's the bag front out of the even little, the tabs the little zip tabs because that makes inserting the zip easier. That was another thing. I wanted the zip to be easy to insert. You're going to show us how to do that as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to show you that. And then there's the back. Then there was some space for so that, but you you can just make into something you fancy. Really? That was, that was a little space. <gasps> What are you going to make with yours? Yeah, it could what be a purse. Yeah. Make it into a little purse. You've got Enough spare that. elephants. And so, like, when we printed the ends, Amy's designed them so that they're, you know, they're perfect circles. You've got the elephant in the right place. Whereas if you did it with just print fabric, yeah. You, it would just be an end, yeah. wouldn't it? But this yeah. is a specific end. Oh, my and gosh. Free, and extra elephants. <laughs> I absolutely and love And handles. It. So that's the velvet panel, and it is so The quality soft. is beautiful. It's so much so that... Do, you, do I need interfacing wadding? No, well, or? I've decided... I mean, if you really wanted to put wadding in, you could, but I haven't because I like it to be super soft. Yeah. And also, it means when you're not using it, say you want to take it's it on small. holiday and have it as a bag, it... it folds really small yeah, yeah. because it's soft yeah this could be your beach bag this could be your bag that you take yeah, so out you want, with you or a yeah. shopping bag shopping or something bag, yeah. so you could easily put wadding in it but we haven't i didn't do that so you also get your lining yeah so you get um a meter of rose and hobble 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 and we've chose this is a poplin and we've chosen this because poplin is a slightly tighter weave so it's a little bit stiffer so it gives it a bit more body right and you get a whole meter which is more than enough oh and the color you've picked to so go you with will this. have left over and what's great is that again you don't need templates because this is used for the lining you use these pieces as templates right so you haven't got any extra so all you do is cut the outer pieces out pin them onto here and cut around them oh yeah great. so even like with the circles yeah so that you don't have to have paper templates yeah. you use these as your templates brilliant um then you get a double slider no, zip i've never seen these it's, have these been on air before no they, no we source these as yeah these have been bought specifically for these kits because i wanted them to have metal sliders because i like a metal slider and although it's not a big bag i think it's just quite nice to have a double slide it is posh isn't it and they had to nice. slide the right way because you have two ways of a double slider you can either have like um an anorak where it opens yeah, yeah, that way, yeah. or you have them so they open that way. So they have to be the right way. And are these um, the right length? Do you yes. Want to cut these down, or well, they right were well. They're a little bit longer than you need so that you can trim them. Okay. And that's really important because right. if they're exactly the right length, then you can't. It's easier to work with a bigger zip than yeah. the right length zip. So they're a little bit bigger, but and they match in the colours, all perfect. And you get the zip. Oh yeah, because it's got a zip on the inside it's got as a zip well. In the pocket. So there's the pocket zip, same colour. Um, Full instructions, obviously. And you do video tutorials yeah, so as well. Yes, on the so I filmed the whole process. So I'm going to show you a bit of it today. Okay. But if you're not concentrating, it doesn't matter <laughs> because um, it tells you on here. You go onto our Amber Makes website. There's a QR code there, and you can sew with me. Yeah. So Great. if you think, well, I, I don't know how to do the zip, oh, it's fine, because I'll show you exactly how to do it. Oh, see, so I film silly. it as I sew it, and then I talk you through it. So there's, But there's loads of pictures. Yeah. If you don't want to use the tutorial, there's loads of photos. I've even put a lining layout diagram. Right. Because the pocket that goes on the inside, you cut from the lining. So I you mean, have fabric left there's over. There's loads of fabric, but I just loads thought I didn't want you to cut one piece in the middle and realise mm -hmm. you'd run out. So we did a little layout diagram. And Brilliant. that's all in there. So it's a, you could because it's all in the box, you could give it to somebody. Just so you know, there are a lot of people who have still got this in their basket that need to check out now. Because if everybody checks out, then they've completely sold out and we are way oversubscribed. I knew this one would be popular. This was as soon as I saw it, I was like, I love I it. Never, I never get it right which one's going to be the most popular. Are you, are you going to Glastonbury again this year? Yeah. Are you? Oh yes. my gosh, you need to take... I should do, shouldn't I? You, this is, oh, festival vibes, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? <gasps> 
Oh, could you imagine? Yeah, if you were to buy something like this at Glastonbury. Oh. Remember? Well, yeah, because I've had a look. I mean, if you look at bags, the velvet bag. bags, they're like 80, 90, 100 yeah, pounds. Absolutely. So, but. I must say the value for money. I know. Yes, it's a, a, a little bit more than maybe you. Have, uh, if you've worked with the number makes kit, you always do keep the value for money. Fantastic. So the value for money on this. It's brilliant, isn't it? Well, we decided as well, you know, by putting the zips in, obviously, then you have yeah. to cost a bit yeah. more. But to get the right zip is yeah. really important. And I know a lot, we've had so much feedback from our customers who've said, oh, I can't find the zips, can't find the zips. So I thought, this time I'm going to put the zips I mean, in. are these all extra? Yeah, those are extra ones. elephants. Oh, Because you can't have any lovely. space, can you? You've got to have extra <gasps> elephants. I, I, honestly, I'm so excited for you to get the, the, the velvet home. If you worked with the little velvet pouches, the kits that we had before, you know the quality of them. The, the, they are absolutely gorgeous. Here you go. As you said, velvet, you know, if you're looking at velvet duffel bags, velvet bags, weekend bags oh. like this, that's £220. £220. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer ours. The colours are amazing on these. Um, £47.99. Amazing price. Everybody who's got them in the basket, you are hopefully going to get one. I, I can't guarantee, though, because we're... No, Ben said, no, we're way oversubscribed now. Right, we're going to move on to the next... Um, next design. Should we do the William Morris? OK, OK. I'll put um, it back in the box. Oh, yes. Do it all nice and neatly. Well done, you must be so happy with like the packaging. Yeah, that's... they're great. I mean, Amy has packed all these kits herself. Oh, Amy. It's taken so long. She's cut metres and metres of velvet and cotton and then made the boxes and oh. packaged them all. Shout out to Amy. And, a, and her poor house that I think looks like a warehouse now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Pallets and pallets, pallets of kits. Of kits, I know. Also, just to mention, everybody who's purchasing, you will get your pin badge. These are collector's items, I know. you know. I have mine. I should keep mine. Fabulous. Yeah. Do collect you have all of them? Have you got loads of them? I've got loads. I don't think I've got all of them. Oh. I collect, found them all the other day. I collected them all together yeah. in one pot. I've still got sewing quarter ones. I've got sewing quarter yeah. ones, yarn lane, <gasps> all sorts. Oh. There must be a collector's size if, if you've got the whole set. You've got to get that one. Right. The Velvet William Morris. And it's Strawberry Thief. Yeah, so he's got... We've got Strawberry Thief um, that's featured down here. You've got William Morris prints on the handles, the ends. The straps. Even the straps, like you said, because you were in control with digital printing, mm. exactly where the placement of the pattern goes. Yeah, so that stripe goes down the centre. And then Amy's place the designs so that when you put the strap on it doesn't go over the strawberry thief it goes and, between and we don't need to work out any sort of maths or measurement no, or no. fussy cutting or no. even waste fabric to be able to achieve that it's all done for you with the panel so again inside the kit yes. which will come all beautifully boxed so if you are gifting it to somebody or it's always nice i think you know if you go into a really nice designer shop and they they put tissue paper and they wrap yeah. it nicely it's I, I personally like that for myself. Not oh, I know, I love it. It's the fact that you could, that's a, yeah. it feels like a really good kit. Would you like it to does. It? I would, I would, I would. Right, so you ready? 47.99, your graphics are live for your William Morris. Which one's in the lead from pre-order? Because we all have placed our bets of which ones will sell out first. <gasps> oh, oh, my so gosh. Soft, I love this. How many, uh, did you just, when you first had the samples come back, were you like... They was, was and amazing. when we had the samples done, I went, the velvet goes the wrong way. I, I was really upset about that. It was just because we always have sort of sample prints. Yeah. But the way that they printed the files, <gasps> the velvet stroke the wrong way. Oh, no. These don't and yours won't. But my sample goes the wrong way. Oh, but so it's, it's things, things like that. Yeah, that as, we can say yeah. because they hadn't realised. It depends, I guess, which way they put the rolls into the printer. Right, so but, you can say, oh, no, 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 no. It and I did say to Amy when they arrived, the have you checked, do they stroke the right way? I mean, it's not a very thick pile, but you it would annoy me if it stroked yeah. the wrong way, and these now stroke the right way. So once again, you've got your shoulder pads. Yeah, so that the shoulder pad's got like a... So it, because it runs down that way. Whoa! Look at how many people have got this already, Bex. And... Oh, wow. um, Bearing in mind, your graphics have been live for two minutes. We are way over, and 47 seconds to be exact. Um, yeah, way over subscribed once again. So but I like is... the way the shoulder pad has got the little band. Yeah. So when you see it on here, because this comes off, you can just take it off. So if you want to put the two handles together. Oh, brilliant. But otherwise, you just you put it around there. But you see the, the little print goes yes. down the centre. Oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? It's attention to detail like that. Actually, it does make such a difference, doesn't it, having that little cushion pad on your Well, shoulder. it's just to hold the handles together as well, isn't it? And there was a space. There was a space, you see. 
So on this Love one, it. there's there's you can see like with the handles. So is this the that outer stripe. bag? That's the outer. There's the handles that have got the, the stripe on. Lovely. Um, there's your free bit. <gasps> like you said, purse. Purse, pencil case. Pencil case. Brilliant. Glasses case. <gasps> Do what you like with it. Love it. It's just a space. And then there were two other spaces, so they've got just another William Morris print on. Love well, otherwise that. it's white space. What you know, you need. You need, you need more. But more I love the end it. again because we can print what we want. This is you know the circles are exact, so they look lovely on the ends. Absolutely. And so anybody who is like a new um, sew at a bag making, mm. are these achievable to do? Yeah, and if you know if you've got a, if you've a used a sewing bag, machine, yeah, then it's easy because it is just cutting out sewing together. I've done the zip in a way because you put the zip ends on, it's easier to insert. Right. Just because they've got the little velvety yeah. zip ends, so it's easier to put in. And all all the measurements are in the instructions and there's no seam lines. You just cut it out and do it yeah. step by step. Yeah, yeah. watch the video tutorial. There is a Yeah, just tutorial. watch, you know, start off at the beginning, watch the little bit, and then do, then sew it and then watch the next bit and sew it. Brilliant. Rewind it. Oh, well, we're gonna, we are going to do a bit of a demo anyway today, even though you have got that full video tutorial. But first, should we do oh, your favourite? Here you go. You can do the opening of this. Oh, hang on. Just going to show you what else Oh, yeah. Hang that on. One. Sorry, Ben. We haven't shown what you get in the uh, William Morris. The so rest of it. for this one, you get a dark green spot line. Love that. Really nicely with that. Yeah. I think that's a bit, a bit classy. Yeah. And that's what you use for the internal pocket. The pocket that's inside, you don't have to put in, but it's quite nice to have a secret little yes. pocket. Um, with this one, you get a navy double slider zip. Again, it's got metal Beautiful. sliders so that's nice because that goes nicely with the navy do you know it's this sort of hardware that you'd be thinking right actually i need to faff around trying to find the right sort of zip and then um i haven't quite got the right color so i didn't put in like a cream on it, it wouldn't look the no same. i know it's all still all for us and, and the, the inside zip and matching. you get the navy for the pocket zip and then obviously you get instructions as well brilliant mm. 47.99 check out check out check out this is your final call um another it's going to be another sellout show without a doubt um we also have bees. your busy bees so this is my favorite one so i was doing all the prep for the show on um, Friday and I thought I'm just going to make the bees one up myself yeah. so I've got it now <laughs> got it got it the brilliant yeah love it <gasps> I I love the bees because I like all these little bees on there and then on the front of the bag you've got one big bee I love the fact that the handles have got bees flying all the way around them you are a bit of a trendsetter, I think, because I think <laughs> this is the one that's most popular on pre-order. Oh, I love it. And this I love the fact that the shoulder pad is gold. Oh, nice. Just because. Yeah, yeah, it stands out. And I mean, you can put those, you can snap those on and off, can't you? Yeah, so that's, so with these, you need either snap fasteners or press fasteners or Velcro. You had we the green machine put, on yesterday. Yeah, the green machine would be great for that. Or a bit of Velcro. We haven't yeah. put those in the kit, because that's up to you what you yeah. what you put them on. But um, you could do it the other way round. So that side, it's got navy bees. So you could clip oh. it that way instead if you wanted. Lovely. You could choose. Yeah, a little reversible. Which way you do it? Everything is sort of. But look at the placement and of the bees on the end. And I love the bees on the end. Look at them. They are gorgeous. In the kit, again, you get the massive panel. Absolutely huge panel. The zips, the lining, your instructions. Go for it. Open your zip. I know. So it's a once, once only, isn't oh, it? Oh, but that is <laughs> attention to detail, isn't it? Oh, they stuck that one down. Um, so here's the panel. I've been telling everybody you got a sticker machine as well, Beck. Yeah, I'm very excited oh, about I know. that. Aren't you? I haven't even seen it. It oh. lives in Amy's house, but she sent me a video of it, and it's the Brilliant. best thing. It so just, satisfying. It just spits out all these stickers oh. all the time. You're gonna just be looking around the house like, oh, I need what more stickers. What can I put stickers on? What can I put stickers on? But it's great because it means we can put stickers on our kits with the right pictures and the right words. Yeah. So great. this is oh, your this. the bees one. So that's one side. of I the have bag. to just check that it's yeah. all yeah. strokes beautifully. Strokes well. in the right oh. direction. And look at the detail on the bee. I know. I mean, the printing. It's come out remarkably well. It's amazing. Well. I'm always amazed how well it prints on velvet. Yeah. And also the colours are more vibrant. Yeah, you So wouldn't... when you pin, print navy on the cotton fabric, it's not as deep. Yeah, you're right. I don't it know does. why. It, it is beautiful. I mean, you look at that and you wouldn't even be able to tell that it is a velvet because the printing is so clear. It is, it really it's is. It's so soft. Beautiful. And there's the handles. There's the other side of the bag. So that's just got lots of... Be there's your spare piece. Wow, yeah, use that for what you want. Mobile phone gold. case, whatever. Yeah, brilliant. That's just a little extra. And then the, and then this one, you've got bees. Just lots of bees. And 
Amy has already, you, you know, you've thought about the placement of where the bees need to be so that it's not going to be... Yeah, so when I that. when I send all the pattern pieces to Amy, I say, well, this is the seam allowance because it has two different seam allowances for different places. So, you know, make sure, not that it doesn't go in, but it's well within it yeah. so that you because do, you, you don't want the print going yeah. into it. And things like with the handles. So I'll say to her, some handles we press with the seam running down the centre, some with it on the edge. So that governs... Gosh, and I bet that is a bit of trial and error, really, trying to work out... Well, that out. changes what the design yeah. would be like. So yeah. this one, I wanted the seam allowance on the edge because you get a nice edge to it. Sometimes we have the seam allowance running down the centre and it changes the, the print. So when you fold this in half, you have bees on one side and bees on the other. So, so clever. So, so clever. Um, and then also you've gone for the... Oh, gold. Yeah, gold. gold. That looks lovely with it, doesn't it? That looks so really nice. You can actually see. I know it's full of... Yes. Things. But inside, and with this one, you have a navy zip. Lovely. And it looks lovely with the against the gold spot. And it's really nice, like you say, that you've got your metal sliders on that double zip. Very, very yeah, professional it's indeed. Nice, isn't and it? they're not metal zips, so are they? So I can still. No, no, sew they're, over they're nylon coil trimmer. zips, so they're easy to sew, sew over. over. It's just the, the sliders. And that's what your pocket inside will look like, because the pocket is made from the lining. So. Brilliant. So if you wanted to add another pocket, you could just use, if you had another zip and some other fabric, you yeah. could have, because the one I made for myself, I have two pockets. Yeah, <laughs> so oh, absolutely, yeah, personalised. So if you want to add another one, you can. Um, within here as well, look, you've got all of your instructions. Um, you've then also got your cutting out, how to do your uh, your your lining, the zip ends, how to insert your zip. You've got plenty of photographs as well as your text. And then you have got your QR code to be able to go to the uh, the the full video tutorial as well. Finishing the bag ends, there's your uh, your fabric lining layout diagram. Everything is there ready to go with your instructions. £47.99. Once again, absolutely going crazy. Anybody who's not checked out on it yet, don't wait until the end of the show because there's only 30 of the B1s left, only 30. And there are, oh my gosh, way over 50 in baskets. Please be quick for that one. Right, they're the three different colourways. Well, they make quite a nice present as well. So if you're thinking ahead, what can I give somebody who doesn't want a weekend bag? Yeah, oh Me. yeah. They do. <laughs> I've got one now. They do make a lovely present. I can vouch for that. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a lovely Best present. Best birthday present. Love it. Um, right, so everybody who um, has got the elephant one in their baskets, be aware there are now, uh, yeah, again, very, very, all of them call in limited stock. <laughs> yeah. 35 of the William Morris left and 30 of the uh, elephants. We're now 25 of the bees. Oh, is bees winning then? Bees is winning. Yeah. See, I like They're the bees all going to sell out. Oh, I like They're the bees the subscribed. most, but just because I like bees. Love them. Right, would you want to um, show us a little bit yes, of the zip? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll move Because over. like you said, you've got the zip ends on here, haven't you? And do you find that's easier to insert? It is, because then... I think it looks very professional having those zip ends. Well, the problem is, is when you're sewing a zip into another seam, if you've got to sew the teeth into another seam, it gets messy. Okay. And so if you put ends on a zip, it makes the next stage a lot easier. Right. So what you do is you cut out everything. You use your um, out of the velvet pieces as templates for your lining pieces. So you can see here, I've put my pocket in in advance. So you put your you start off by putting your pocket into your lining. So that's what it looks like from that side. So you can put it into either piece of lining. So it's, and you've got obviously got the zip for it. So if you wanted to put a pocket in the other piece, just you'll need your own zip and any piece of fabric really for the back. But you've obviously got the measurements in. So just put one in the other one if you want one. Or if you wanted a bigger pocket, you could make it bigger. Brilliant. So you can see that the lining fabric is purely cut as templates. It's not a square piece. So it's longer one side than it is the other. So what I did with mine is I did mark which was the top edge. It's just so that you know when you're making it because it's not exactly square. Okay. Um, and then the same is with, with the ends. You can see I've cut those out. When you cut them out, and it does say this in the instructions, mark the top just because um, when you sew it together, if you sew it and you, your seam allowance isn't spot on all the way around, you want your lining and your outers to be exactly the same. So what I did is I took a long ruler and placed it centrally down the design, which works for all three of the designs, and then marked the top and the bottom. And I did the same with my lining ends. It, this is all in the instructions, but it just makes it a bit easier when you come to sew them in if you've done that. 
Um, the next stage you do, so I have done a bit in advance, otherwise we'll never get through everything, <laughs> is I've made the handles, the straps, they're really easy to make. You fold the velvet strap in half, sew it together, turn it right sides out. And then in the instructions of our measurements, you measure, I think, four and a half inches in and you sew it down. And then you can see that the handles are put in advance because um, you sew it with a rectangle with a cross in at the top because they hang free. And then they sit at the bottom. And the reason I've done it this way, rather than having one handle that goes all the way around, it's easier to put in, but it's also a little bit stronger because the bottom of the handles are then sewn into the seams. But when you sew the front and the bag, back of the bag together, if you, you match up the ends of the handles and then it looks like one handle, but it's just a bit of a neater way to do it. Mine's looking a bit wrinkled now because I've had it in my bag. Anyway, so I've done that bit in advance, but it, it's all in the tutorial. Now here's the zip. So you have the zip end that's on the panel and then you cut lining fabric to exactly the same size and then you put the zip ends on. And it's very, very simple to do because you're just sewing two rectangles of fabric either side of the zip. And you can sew through this because it's nylon coil, but I would say sew a little bit slower. So this is a number five zip, mm -hmm. which means that the teeth are five millimeters wide. So I, we ordered these specially because a normal zip that you'd have, the one that, that's in the pocket is a number three zip because the teeth are three millimetres wide. So this is what your normal dressmaking zip would be. But it's not um, robust enough for the top of a bag like this, which is why we've got number five zip. So it just means the teeth are a little bit wider. So when you sew over them, just go slowly. Or if you feel that your needle is catching on the zip, just hand crank the machine over it for a couple of stitches because it's not a metal zip, it will go over. And when you sew these zip ends, that, that's the only time you'll be sewing over the zip, and after okay. that, not at all. So, um, but it's not a problem sewing over the zip, is it? You just no, go just go a bit slower. I've found yeah. that if I go too fast, I've caught it just wrong. Okay. And then it, I mean, the worst that will happen is your needle will break, no more yeah. than that. But I would just say, just do it a bit slow. So everything is, it's all measured. You sew the tabs on one end, then you measure across the zip, trim it, and sew the tabs on the other end. So that's easy peasy. Then you come to sew the zip in. So this is what I'm going to do. So you take one side, doesn't matter whether you take the front or the back, because they're exactly the same for all of the kits. Um, do pin the labels on. So on the panel, there are labels. So this one says bag, back, outer. You probably will remember which is which, because there, there aren't that, that many, many pieces. pieces yeah. And obviously, it's important to remember which is the top and the bottom. Obviously, with these, they've got prints, so you can see. But I just find it easier to pin them on, and then you can double check as you're going that you're using the right piece at the right time. I, I always do that, even though um, with this panel, you haven't got that many pieces, so hopefully you won't forget. So take your zip that you've now put the two ends into and you place it right sides down. Because I've given you the measurement for the zip that you cut it to, your zip will now fit the front of your bag, front outer and back outer. So easy peasy, you mat right sides down, match up the edge of the zip tape with the edge of the panel and pin it into place. The good thing about a number five zip, it's a little bit wider right. than a number three zip. So it's a bit easier to sew in. You should still use a zip foot, but because it's a little bit wider, it's easier to get round the, yeah. the, yeah. the um, sliders. The sliders. Before you pin it all the way along, just pin it into place at the other end as well. Do you ever use the um, tape, the quilters tape? Yes, sometimes, yes yeah. I do. I haven't tried it with the velvet. Or sometimes I oh, use yeah, glue true. as gl I tend to if I'm doing this, I'll probably use glue. Oh, so line glue pen. Probably. But um not today because not everyone's got one of those. I, d I can't remember if I put them in as an upsell. Well, I was, you're not on um ear, you're not on ear, you haven't got an earpiece no, in, have you? No. Oh my gosh, you can literally hear everything they're talking about. <laughs> Um, because they're saying that everything that you have scheduled, because Bex has access all areas. I know, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. The, so I manage can... would know this <laughs> when I outing you on air, because Bex has told me before, Vix, I can get into the schedule, I can just schedule well, my Well, things. I, I went, as I was making it, I wrote down all the things that I used and I put them Fabulous. in the schedule. So Thank I put, you for that. I put the magic pins in because they're nice and sharp. Yeah, they're selling. And sharp pins are very good for velvet. So a little conversation about sewing with velvet, it's easy to sew through. Um, it's not too stiff, 
you won't have any problems. What I would say is sharp, pin, sharp pins are really useful or fabric clips. So magic pins, absolutely perfect for these, for this, because they go through the velvet much easier. And what you'll find with the velvet, that pinning in one direction is easy, but pinning in the other direction is a little bit harder. Uh, okay. So the sharper your pins, the better. Oh yeah, and magic pins are really And they are really sharp and amazing. Yeah. So if you love sewing with velvet, um, use magic pins or use fabric clips. Oh, okay, and um, are we allowed to tell people you, or not? Oh, about, my, well, yeah, no, about is, your bag? Well, this is still in production, this kit. <gasps> Amy designed this for me and I've made it because this was look great. Look at this! How cute is it? Look, she designed fabric clips. It's actually got fabric clips on the fabric. Oh, and I love genius. it because when you open it up, I designed it so that you can actually use it like a... Brilliant. So I don't know when we're going to start yeah. selling this, but at some point, I, I want to put the zip in the kit, so we've got to sort that out. But it means it's a little cube. And that is brilliant. And it's got it. a little fabric clip on the end. If you don't already own fabric clips, why not? Maybe you've just dipped your toe and you bought a few. This is a really good bumper pack because you've got a it's hundred amazing. of them. And you do need them actually. You do. I, you can get about 200 in here because I counted, but <laughs> fabric clips are brilliant for velvet as well. Okay, yeah, so perfect. So pin, you might want, I mean, I would use both. When you're putting the ends in, it's easy to do it with fabric clips. With the zip, it's easy to do it with pins, but fabric clips. Oh yeah, they won't make your pins redundant, but they are really useful to have. And I know lots as of what, fabrics yeah. that you, you, you don't want to put pi uh, pins. No, well, layers as well. And layers, like I say, yeah. with this velvet, when you're getting lots of layers together, you need to go on to clips then. Okay, right, 100 of them. And they are amazing value, they are. Um, uh, yeah, they are. Oh, they... Even if you look at the, um, I found really sort of cheap, nasty mm. ones, and they're, they're more expensive than that. Like, that I know, is they're really good really, for 100. Really good price. Um, speaking of really good price and value and quality, before we stitch this in, can we just talk about micro textures? Yes. So I and I'm asking you this on like a personal <laughs> level because I don't, I don't, I don't get it really. If I'm well, like, when you get your expensive, sewing expensive, aren't they? Well, when you get your sewing machine, it will come with a universal needle, yeah. nearly always. Now, a universal needle does two things: it's sharp and it's rounded as well. So it's not a super sharp needle, but it's not as, it's not as blunt and rounded as a stretch or a jersey needle. Um, but it's not as sharp as a Microtex. So you can sew this with a universal needle. It will work, but a Microtex needle is better. Now, Microtex needles, I love these and I get through loads of them. They are super, super sharp. They are brilliant for sewing on velvet because they're really sharp. They'll go through. They're brilliant for fine fabrics as well. Oh. Rayon and chiffon and organza, yeah. really good for that. But they are perfect for quilting weight cotton, which is why I use them so much. Right. And you get a hundred of them. Well, so. the thing is, is if you buy them in a packet of five, I think they come out as like 75p each. Right, yeah. If you buy them in a pack of a hundred, they come out as 50p each. Oh, so actually if you break it down, that isn't, yeah. doesn't feel expensive, so, does it? And because you should change your needle after eight hours of sewing. Uh, yeah. And before I had a pack of a hundred, I never did that. Yeah. But now well. I do. And look, it's so cute. Because when in you a little open the little box, box it has it comes a little tab and then bits of paper and then look at all those needles oh my god so if brilliant. you use quilting weight cotton or velvet or lightweight fabrics these are better than a universal needle because they are very sharp okay brilliant that's about it really uh, 50 pence a machine needle like you said Which yes is a big difference to 75 isn't yeah. it yeah yeah absolutely because you do need to change and you think 100 needle. needles how long that's going to last and obviously there is a place for universal needles and stretch needles and jersey needles and leather needles and jeans needles but this is your go -to. but for me and it depends on what you sew you yeah. might find that you would use jeans needles more than anything you might be more of a machine embroiderer so the embroidery needle is ideal but this is why i got barry from buying Oh, he got them. Yeah, the brilliant. We need we them. We need these. Well, we and use a lot of quilting weight fabrics here. And they fit. Me? They fit in my little accessories box. Or so if you've got a machine with a drop-down storage, you can just pop them in there. Brilliant. And there is nothing more frustrating than breaking your needle. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's and also, these Schmetz needles, they're really good quality. You can use them with loads of machines. And actually, they are the machine that Elna and Janome wreck the needle, mm -hmm. other than their own that they sell. Mm -hmm. They recommend Schmetz. Okay. Because when I had mine serviced recently, I asked them about that and they said they officially recommend either Schmetz or their own needles. It, it, it is wild, actually. The, the amount of times that people have said to me, oh, there's something wrong with my machine. Yeah. It's making a click, clicky noise over the fabric or it's skipping stitches. Mm. And quite often it is. You need to change it. It is. Needle. Or I find the whole thing jams. Yeah. Or I've got skip stitches. And yeah. I go, oh, I've changed my needle. And when it they was. were 75 pence each, I was loath to do that. Yeah. 
But now I've got 100 of them. So that's why I put those in as well. Right, Bex, they are going to sell out. There's loads of you have got them in your bag. I love them. They have an um, investment. The, the small packet, gone. But the big packet, even better value for money. And they are oversubscribed. Another thing I saw in your, uh, in your, ups, you know, your schedule yeah. was best press. Now, did you hear what we've just done to all of the best presses? No. We've discounted you, them all. Oh, wow. So we better discount yours as well. There you go. There's your lamp Now, I've got the vanilla. best press in. You don't need to best press the velvet. Don't bother with that, but best press the lining. It okay. makes it nice and crisp and lovely. I best press everything. I didn't with the velvet because you don't really need to. When you um, are pressing the velvet, you can use a normal iron, but just lower the temperature. Just start on a lower temperature. And also, like once you've sewn the handles in, you might find it looks a bit puckered. If you press it from the wrong side, it will even it out. But... Um, but best press on the lining fabric, it makes it crisp, it's easier to sew with, and it all goes together better. Um, £9.99. And just so you know, both sizes, it, there's underneath us, there's all the newer scents as well. There is the large sizes, which Bex, again, got buried to Well, because the, the top of the little one fits the top, fits yeah, the so big one. Yeah, so it's like one. a good refill, so isn't they, it? So you obviously need the... The big the spray refill. bit first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could just decant it into. Well, I nice used to. Ones. I get through so much of it. I used to buy a big one off the Long River website because yeah. couldn't find it. So you were saying, come and on. And I said to Barry, this is get ridiculous. <laughs> Why am I buying when I could be getting a staff discount? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You got a birthday discount today. Everybody has on the big refills. That's as well. really good price. Just before you sew the zip in, can I do a quick stock update? We've got the Busy Bees one. Two left. Two left, if you want it, final call, if you want it. There are, oh, one left. How many are in baskets? 75 in baskets. Let's call that a sellout. <laughs> if you want the um, elephant, which is my new bag as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, imagine if I see you in the street. Yeah, you've if you live in Leamington or Warwick, I've got a butterfly lining in mine. I've got butterfly lining. Mine's a unique one. Mine's my birthday special one. Um, there you go. If you want it, there's 22 left. 72 in baskets, so I don't think, oh, I'll wait till the end of the demo, I'll check out later on. Remember, you get your free pin badge and your PMP is paid for the day. William Morris, again, really limited, under 20 remaining and over 50. That's if Amy's favourite, the William oh. Morris. How, imagine if you're going for a weekend away. Mm. Ben went and stayed in the, only in the Balmoral when he went to Edinburgh. Yeah, he should have had one of these. You should have had the William Morris, shouldn't he? Really? I mean, you should have had. If you'd have rocked up with this bed, then they'd be like, "Oh yes, let me show you to the room." Well, they did. The thing is, with them, if you if you've got the kit, obviously things everything's in it. Maybe you want to use it for the gym. Yeah. Keep the lining and use a waterproof lining instead. Oh, great idea. So put a rip stop in. Yeah. It's really. Yeah. Cheap, you know, yeah. inexpensive. You know, yeah. I'd say cheap, it's really an expensive rip stop. But oh, you could do that and keep, and keep the lining for something else. So yeah, if you perfect. wanted it to be waterproof. Put a rip stop in. Good instead. idea. Yeah. Oh, it's such a lovely bag, isn't anyway. it? Anyway, that's nice for a, a gent in your life as well, isn't it? A nice big. Yeah. Like yeah. That. Very nice. Okay. So we've pinned it all. So down. I've pinned it all in, and what I'm going to do now is because I'm going to be sewing three layers together, and I always find, even though I've been sewing for years, it always slips. My zip goes wrong. So do take the time. You can glue it into place, but it's just easy if you tack it. Now to tack it, just look. Increase your stitch length. I'm going to put mine at about four and then sew it into place. I don't want these stitches to, I don't want to have to take out these tacking stitches and I don't want them to show. So because the seam allowance is um, a quarter of an inch, so about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Right, have you got your zipper foot on now? Well, I have, be, but you, but it, it you don't actually in. need it for this. Well, the thing is, I haven't got the zipper foot in, but I like, because I've got this machine, I like to use the HP foot and the oh, HP lovely. plate because it goes faster. And um, the HP foot is a quarter of an inch wide. Right. And which is perfect for putting zips in. Yeah. So for this stage, you don't, you're only tacking it. Now, when you get to the sliders, just raise your presser foot and just move them out of the way. And they will go out of the way quite easily because um, it's a number five zip. So the tape is a little bit wider. And we've allowed for the tape because obviously these ends need to fit the these the back and front and back need to fit the circles. So we've allowed in the measurements for the thick the wider zip tape that it will still fit the circles, if you see what I mean. Right, so just sew to the end of there and that's just tacking. And, I, and because I don't want to take it out, that's why I've um, done it within the seam allowance. Then take your lining 
I'm going to take the one that I've put the pocket on, doesn't matter which one, and place that right sides down on top. And because you've used your outer as the template for your lining, it's going to be exactly the same size. So if you've never inserted a zip before, mm -hmm. that's quite easy so yeah. far, isn't yeah. it? Pin it together at one end and then the other end, making sure you match up all the raw edges and then pin it together. Now, because you've tacked it, you don't have to worry about those layers shifting. It will take you probably three minutes to tack, pin and tack mm -hmm. the zip in. It's worth doing. Oh, is that it again? Oh, Ollie's got a lovely little split screen going. Did you see then? Oh, is that just a fancy look? We can see the bag. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Cool. You see what we're making? Lots of people messaging actually yesterday. Ollie saying your cameras were fabulous. Oh, thank you, everyone. Oh, Natty's watching. Hi, Natty. Thank you for your messages. So I've pinned that into place. Now I'm definitely going to have to move the sliders. So I'm just going to move them to the end. Don't have them at the beginning because it's nice to get a bit of sewing done before you start moving them. Make sure everything's nice and flat. And then I'm going to sew this into place. Now this time you need to put your stitch length back to normal. I use a 2.4, but only that's because my machine is, its default normal is 2.4. Other machines are like 2, 2.2, but normal yeah. stitch length, about 2.4. And then all you've got to do, it's a quarter of an inch seam allowance, is if you're using your zip foot, um, then just run the edge of the fabric along the quarter of an inch because my foot, or if you've got on a quarter of an inch foot, that's fine. But you will find this zip a little bit easier to put in than a number three zip because the tape is that bit wider. And then all you've got to do is that I do, because the velvet is woven and created in a different way to the cotton, to make sure it all stays together, I do help it through the machine. But you don't need to use a walking foot at all. Now, when you get near to the zip sliders, raise your presser foot and just put your hands underneath. Make sure the needle's down in the fabric okay. and move them out of the way. And they will move quite easily because of the zip tape being wider. If you have any problems at all and you can't see, just take it out from under the machine, move the sliders and then put it back and start work on top of the stitching that you've already done. Fabulous. Just if you can't see what you're doing. And then you just carry on making sure that all the raw edges are lined up and sew all the way to the other end and reverse stitch. And then that's one side of the zip put in. So if I fold it like this, you can see there's one side of the zip. So to do the next side of the zip, exactly the same, easy. easy. Take the other side, the other side of the bag. It doesn't matter which one you put in first, whether you do the front one or the back one. Bex, how was your Canada trip? Oh yeah, it was great. It was great, amazing. Can you ski? Well, I can, I'm, but I'm quite scared. Right. I've yeah. had lots of lessons, yeah. so technically, yes. Yeah. But I just have the fear. Yeah, yeah. I have the fear. And in Canada, I bet there is like some serious. There are. The slopes. good thing about Canada is the slopes are a bit wider and not as busy as like in the Alps. So the mad good people, the snowboarders who come whizzing past you <gasps> and nearly yeah. take you out, there yeah. aren't as many of those. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what sort of terrifying me. I, I just quite enjoy going and have a hot chocolate. Yeah, somewhere yeah, in. I would. So that's I that's like why it. I have to have lessons. Otherwise, I'd spend my time in the cafe. And is Freddie back yet? Or is no, he but he's coming. Still? No, he's coming back in two weeks. Oh, his brilliant! Flight, and he's back in two weeks. And will he come and stay with you? Will yeah, he he's back coming home? back home for six months, and then oh. he's going to go back again. He said. Oh wow! He says he's got one more ski season in him. <laughs> what a life! What, a <laughs> what a life. life! I thought, yeah, I've got about ten more in me. <laughs> Sadly, I have to have a job as well. But no, he's coming back. In two weeks' time, which he is, wor is he working out there? Though? Yeah, so oh, he works yeah. in like the the place where they sell the lift passes. Yeah, yeah. And he Brilliant. scans people's lift what passes. A what a life! Lives with all these like young people who just yeah. go out all the time. Oh well, my, Kieran, he did a snowboarding season when he was sixteen in mm. Leger, and um, oh, loads of his people who he lived with at the time there, they're now like. Olympic really? snowboarders, like really. We watch him. He's like, oh yeah, there's Billy on the telly. Oh no, from oh, wow. He was like, if only I kept, like you said, if I had a ski season next time, next time he would be really good. But 
Oh, I, yeah, well, I mean, Fred's had never skied before, never. No, but I'm now he can ski. Brilliant. I um, I crocheted him a hat to match his ski jacket. <laughs> I thought it'd be quite funny, and he wears it all the time. It's like a little beanie, and he oh. loves it. And all of when we went out there, all of his friends said, oh, "I love his hat." So when I got back, I crocheted five hats. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> and I sent them all to him, and he got them two days ago. Oh, brilliant! So have you had the photos of them all wearing them yet? He sent me pictures. It was brilliant because oh. he said. Um, I said, I bet it was like giving out your party bag. <laughs> Which hat would you like? And I said, they'll all remember you now. Speaking of party bags, so I had Maze's third birthday party I last love a weekend. Party. And did you make your party bags? So I, I got told that my party bags were not sufficiently, they weren't good enough. So Kieran did, no, by Kieran. He was like, we can't no. give our guests these party bags. They're rubbish fit. So he went out. And then, yeah, did it full, you know. Well, I always, for mine, I always made the party bag. Oh, brilliant. Because if you make a fabric drawstring yeah. bag, oh my gosh, you don't have lovely. to put as much stuff in it. Yeah. Because the kids love the fat, and especially yeah. if you put their name on it. Oh, that would be so So you need nice. to do that yeah. next time. Yeah. Make my, them. One of my friends, uh, Maisie's friend, she's a textile on. teacher, and she always puts me to shame with all of the things that she's made for all the children. At well, then you only have to put a couple of sweets yeah. and a car in yeah. or something, because if you've, um, if you've made them all, and a lot of my friends say they've still got them. Oh, exactly. Of other things. That's lovely. I remember one and I bought loads of bouncy... You know those little bouncy balls? Yeah. And filled each one with them. <laughs> Drove the parents mad. I was going to say, I bet the parents love <laughs> yeah. you. But, it's, it, but party bags never used to be a thing. Oh, now... It was like, where did that come from? a lot more ridiculously... Like everything, isn't it, though? Weddings, Hindus, I'm, br I'm bridesmaid in a couple of weeks... And the baby gym. showers? Yeah. I never had a baby no. shower. Where did no. that happen? My mum said, Hindus were anything. You'd just go down to the pub or you'd go to, you know, a restaurant yeah. and have a little... Yeah. But now, oh, my gosh, the Hindus! You have to have weekends you. away and... Um, well, I've missed out. Never had a baby showers. How, that's so not fair. We can give you one. We can I don't think I would have quite liked one as well. <laughs> ben said, so we'll do you a baby shower, yeah. <laughs> It's a bit late now, really. <laughs> 20 years later. I know people will think... Get it in the master schedule, Ben. Yeah, I want a baby shower. <laughs> And party bags. Yeah, we'll do. Party. In my day, you had a bit of dodgy cake wrapped in a napkin and all the icing yeah. stuck to it. That was just part of it, wasn't it? Now you have to have party bags. Right, so I've just tacked that side of the zip into place to the other side. And, and it I'm takes a... seconds. I know, and it, it really it does make a difference. And it is worth it. And then, as I said, do make sure you mark your lining. And I haven't done what I told you What to do you do. mark it with? Oh, I just put... Oh, no, I did. I put an arrow with an erasable pen. Oh, OK, just your friction pen, mark it. It's only because this isn't a square piece. OK. You need to say it the right way around. I did mark it. So exactly the same with the other one. Right sides facing. Sew it on. So this, if you are thinking, oh, I can't do this because I can't put in zips, you really can. This is not difficult. This isn't like putting in an invisible zip in the back of a dress where you've got to get the waistline exactly, matching. Exactly, exactly. Which is tricky. <gasps> Don't like doing that. No, this is anybody who hasn't inserted a zip for. This is an achievable one to do. And yeah, because the zip topic. ends are easy to put on. They're just bits of fabric you sew over the end of the zip. And then you can see that this is easy. So if you think, oh, I can't do zips, you can, you can. And practice on a bag. And do you know what? If it goes wrong, just unpick it and do it again. Yeah. That's why... It, does the velvet seem to slip at all? It doesn't really, no. No, no not really, no, no, it doesn't. No, that's good. Um, because it's quite a tight, well, I don't know, weave? Yeah. Weave, yeah. I don't know. Because it's quite, it's not a very thick nap. Yeah. It's a very short nap, which makes, which is why it's so soft. So it doesn't really, no. It is so soft. Super, super soft. So now I'm going to sew it back in. Don't forget to put your stitch length back. Most of the time I forget. And then again, just sew it into place all the way round, all the way down. I mean, you might be able to get past the sliders, but I would say even if your machine foot will go past them, can you just feel them there with your? Hands? I, yeah, because I yeah. can feel them. I would move it because what it can do is it can just sort of push your foot off a little bit. So you've kept your needle down and lifted your press. Lift up. the foot, um, and with the some with other zips sometimes because. These machines have a double lift on them, but you don't need to do the double lift with this zip. Because and now you've changed your stitch length back, sorry, to... Back to normal, normal. and then, right. again, quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way along. But you can see it's not... It's, it's fine, it's going through all right. All I would say is just help it through to make sure, because when you're sewing two different sorts of fabric together, they move at different amounts. 
so I just make sure to put plenty of pins in to ease it through a little bit and then go to the other end and now my zip is in there we go love it so what I'm going to do now to give it a really professional look is I'm going to top stitch yes. either side of the zip. Yes. That means that the lining is held inside so that you've got no danger of it coming up and getting caught in the, in the zip, zip, which yeah. is really annoying. So when you do that... Well, we're going through quite a few layers here, are we? Or well, we're just going... Yeah, we're going through... No, just the lining and the outer. Okay. But take a bit of time at this stage to press it. Put it over onto the lining side because what you're aiming to do is when you top stitch is you want... Move your handles out of the way. You want everything to be nice and flat. So I pull the bottom and the top and press it. Yeah. So when you're pressing the lining, you can use the normal temperature iron, but don't have it on for too long because you will, if you have it really hot and you okay. leave the iron on for too long, you will melt the velvet slightly. It will mark okay. it. But either lower the temperature or just don't press it for too long. It can cope with ironing. It's not like some fabrics that just can't cope with the ironing. Are you all right to put your iron on a zip? Yeah, what you're fine. These are um, nylon coils, so you can iron them on. You can iron over them yeah, without yeah. them melting. Whereas, you know, those moulded plastic yeah, zips. Yeah. They've done that before. They really yeah. melt. I mean, I would say if you hold an iron on for them too long, they yeah, will melt. Yeah. But they can cope they with a little bit. Pressed. But I pressed a, plast a moulded plastic one. Oh. And so which way are you going to top teeth. stitch from? From your line inside or there? No, from the, from the top. So I'm, you can then press this slightly if you want. But I haven't lowered my iron temperature, so I'm not going to do it very much. No. Just in case. But when you come to top stitch, it lengthen your stitch to about three, three, three point two. And then start at one end. So just make sure it's all still nice and flat. You don't need to move the zip sliders out of the way. And I tend to stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge. Or if you want to be exact, depending on where your foot is, use a line on the foot or the edge of the foot. And then it's easier to get it straight because it just needs to be about an eighth to a quarter of an inch from the edge. So what I do is pull the bottom and the top and then start stitching. And then once you get a little bit further down, stop. Take the bottom fabric, so the lining, give that a pull so you know you're pulling it outwards and then pull the top over. So although you've ironed it, because what you really don't want is you don't want any sort of wrinkles in the lining fabric underneath. So if you pull, can you see where I'm pulling it as I go? Yeah. Then that's the best way. So, But it's just the, the top stitching will just give it a nicer look. And um, if you use a slightly longer stitch length, you will just, it just looks nicer and also yes. it goes over the velvet better. I mean, it's, I do like featured top stitching, but you can't really see this, but it does just hold that fabric yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, if you're it. a confident stitcher, a yeah, confident yeah. top stitch, and you're ha you think, you know, you're, gold thread on that. you're happy, then use a really contrasting thread, thread. Yeah. And then you can really make a thing of it. Love it. Um, we'll just see. The other side, if you want to do the other top yes. side, and then, yeah, we... Well, then we run out of time. Now, yeah. but the rest of everything else, I mean, then you're sewing the ends in. It's all in the tutorial anyway. Just whilst um, Bex is top stitching, just take note of the graphics as well, because loads of you have checked out on the clicky pens. It's the clicky friction pens, which I love because I always lose lids. Well, I... Put the lids on. Yeah, that's, why I I put, that's why I put the clicky, the clicky ones, because I always forget to put the lids on. Have you seen the f the felt liners, the fine liner ones as well? Yes. They're good, aren't they? I know they? they're amazing. They're I really love good. friction Have a look pens. at all our friction pens underneath us, but the clicky top ones are always the most popular. They're the ones Bex has put in today. They're £10.99. Well done if you got those. Also, the cam snaps. Now, cam snaps, can I put them in with my green machine? You can, yes. Yeah. But if you don't have a green machine, then I've put the... Um, they tool, but you need tool. you need something like press fasteners or cam snaps. Okay, well there's your press studs. If you want to use Velcro snaps, um, any of the press studs from our Green Machine bundle yesterday. I don't know if you can you run the graphics to the Green Machine just in case anybody does want it or not. No, um, you've got the plas you've got the, uh, the the hand pliers there, um, and then the snaps that are just here we go. Let me show you like this. 
Are these going to be all right, Bex? Yeah, well, you can use either press fasteners like those, or yeah. you can use cam snaps, or you could use a bit of Velcro. It's just something. So here's the um, the shoulder pad. Yeah. I've got one here that you just need something. I put three of them on. I put different colours because I've got a box of different colours. It's just something to hold it together. That's the only thing that we haven't put into the kit, but you could use Your choice. press fasteners Brilliant. or snaps. Yeah, uh, they're just £2.49 for 12 of the black. But if you do love the colours, that was that big pack of the cam fasteners, which I love on this colour. To be well, fair. it's nice to have different right. colours, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't have picked those colours necessarily out of my, my tub for William Morris, and they work really well, Well, I just they? tried to pick up the colours that were in yeah. it and do different colours, that's all. They do really work. Uh, so you've got all of your um, snap options underneath us on the web now as well. £2.49 for your milled ones. And... Bex, you got to get it. That's why we're putting it in for you. The green machine. Yeah, I really want. There are three want, bundles. I want that green machine. You would absolutely mm. love it. Because I love cam snaps, but also I like uh, metal snaps oh, for pens, jackets and things. Yes, eyelets. The eyelet. Oh, I know. Lovely. Uh, we had the diamante eyelets and I rivets. Really diamante rivets yesterday. Um, we've done the three me mega bundles for you. So this is the best value for money, and you've got everything you need to get started. Because you get your green machine, you get your hole cutter, which is a three mil hole right. cutter. Then you get all the corresponding dies for a hundred rivets, ten S spring press studs and 10 magnetic snaps and they're really, oh, really really good quality so that's 149.99 but it is also on three-way split pay that's what i need that's the silver colorway also available in gold and in bronze each of the graphics are going to be loaded just because then look anybody who was on the fence yesterday will load it today if you've already opened your order you're paying the same p and p and you get your free pin badge so absolutely fill your boots you may as well Go for well, it. I really, I mean, I remember when Emma first demonstrated these and I went, I Emma need Bradfield. one of those. They are the best thing, aren't they? Well, I spoke to um, uh, Hayley West. Mm. Every time I've been on, like, watched Hayley West, she's demonstrating the green machine. She <laughs> loves it. Well, loves it's it. like you buy it once and that's it, isn't it? Just Absolutely. Forever. Last forever. And Stuart loves it, doesn't he? Yeah, well. he does. He Honestly, it. everybody yeah. I talk to has got a green machine. Uh, right. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, so the rest of it's all in the instructions in the you. video, but at least I've shown the I've shown you the zip. We love you. <laughs> right. In your next hour, you have Oh my gosh. Well, we're bringing the um, How have you managed to do this? Because if ever I ask, can you reprint something? It's no, we're not able to reprint things. You Yeah, we bought well, we bought the velvet back. pouches back. So if these are coming yeah. in the next hour. Now, the, not all the velvet pouches match the bags, but the elephant <gasps> does. The elephant Come on in, come on in, come on in. I got it. It's because we've got the bag in the way. Come in here, Bex. Yeah, so the elephant matches. There you go. So we've got, that's, that's the, and then there's the jungle animals. But we've sold out of those, so we've reprinted them. Oh, thank you. Reprinted them. But if you've bought the elephant bag and you want the you've matching. You've got to get these. You've got to get your matching cosmetic bags. Look, there's your jungle. Beautiful. Here's your elephant ones to match your bag. <laughs> And then we've also got the hummingbirds as well. Look, they are absolutely stunning. And these are your velvet. Oh, and the bees. Look. And it, not only have you done all that. Oh, you've got the bees. The, bees, the bees sold out. The bees sold out. So if you want the, the matching cosmetic bag, bees. Yeah. They are available. And you get a little one that's gold and a big one that's... But it they, isn't, it isn't just this, though. You've also rescheduled, like, reprinted loads yeah, of... Yeah, so lots of things the like giraffe. the giraffe. Yes. They've, I've had so many messages from people. When is the giraffe coming back? Right, today? we're doing it. Today, 11 o'clock. Thank you, Bex. All the things that we've sold out of, like the Topsy Turvy dolls, dolls. <laughs> the cloud of cats and the giraffe bag. The notebooks. On, and the, the notebooks <gasps> that have sold out and we've lost. Um, right, now is your time, by the way. Over the next couple of minutes to check out your baskets. The bees sold out, but there's elephants, William Morris, a few of those still remaining, but way oversubscribed. In fact, single figures on both of them, so they'll sell out during the break. Bex, we'll see you in an hour. Yes, Thank see you, you in an hour. Don't go anywhere, because I've still got loads more deals. Benny deals. And we've got brand new fabrics to bring you. Stay tuned. We are back in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? 
Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Good morning, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you so much for sending, uh, spending your Sunday morning, my birthday with me. Officially my birthday later on in the week, but um, yeah, I feel like I'm allowed two birthdays now, aren't I? I feel like the, the queen of my two birthdays. We have got an amazing, sorry, I'm just pulling my, uh, <laughs> my, my earphone out. We have got the most amazing show today, an hour of brand new fabrics with a few little deals thrown in here, there and everywhere as well. This collection, Bex, you all love this collection. This is the most beautiful brand new fabric collection from Morris Pillard. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Do we have a mega bundle, Ben? They're all individually by the half meter. They're already selling on pre-order. Everything has been selling on pre-order this morning. So um, yes, thank you so much for getting your head on at the web. Shall we start with, I mean, we're just gonna whisk through this because there's loads to show you. Let's do the little, uh, the little squirrels. <laughs> right, sorry, I'm just giggling at Bex, she's so funny. Right, here we go. So, are you ready? Because your prices on these are absolutely outstanding. You have got the most beautiful... Yes. Uh, four pounds, 99. Half a metre. I am thinking for dressmaking, for quilting. It is really beautiful. You've got like this lovely sort of autumnal feel. Are we upside down? I'm sorry. Here we go. The squirrels are upside down. For linings, I think this would be absolutely stunning. And it's only £4.99 and a half metres today for my birthday. Brand new in. Uh, amazing. Oh, look, here we go. We've got a message saying, anybody thinking of the green machine, you won't look back. I love it so much. I was always looking around to see what I can use it on next. I wasted so much time using a hammer setup. Um, I wouldn't get to the end of a bag and ruin it. I would get to the end of the bag and ru ruin it by spoiling it with the rivets. But now she loves her green machine. That was from so. Thank you for your message. Honestly, the amount of messages we've had come through over the last um, the, the last twenty four hours about a green machine is brilliant. I, I, that's what makes my life and my job so easy. When you're all messaging in, say so, yeah, proofs in the pudding. You use it all the time. Thank you for that. Here we go, happy birthday show. Oh, isn't it lovely? The new Art Nouveau fabrics. Stay tuned, stay tuned. There is lots coming up. Right, these are all 4.99 a half metre. Um, this is UBC 461. This actually gave um, Kat a bit of a Tilda-esque feel to it. It's lighter weight, it's a poplin weight cotton. So like with the linings, it is a, a sort of tighter wee, so it, it does give you a little bit more structure when you're working with, or it's a bit more sort of easier to, to stitch if you are using it for linings. It would be lovely if you're using it for little purses. If you're using it for dressmaking, because it is a lighter weight cotton, this is gonna be absolutely perfect for that. Your Maurice Pillard, beautiful sweet chestnut. Is there a direction to this? £4.99 a half metre. We're going to fly through all of these. I've got Porsum, I've got Fairy Garden, I've got Sweet Lullaby bundles as well. Charles Voisey. Oh, are they the uh, tapestry? We got some more tapestry fabrics yesterday that were so popular. So, so popular. Look at this one! with like a little eagle's face. Is it a phoenix? Oh yes, it is, look. 
Rise like a phoenix. Do you remember? Do you remember the song? Conchita? From Eurovision? Oh my gosh, legendary. Eagles. It's not Eagles, it's Phoenix, isn't it? I thought it was an Eagle too. There's only one Eurovision song that you know. Go on. Oh, a French song, Voila. No. I would know it. I would know it if you played it. I think if I were to do a mastermind, it would probably be on Eurovision. <laughs> and the, yes. All over the world. Really? Brilliant. I don't know who he is, but is he in that band? Oh, he wrote it. Four pounds, 99, a half metre. I can see Stuart Hillard wearing a shirt out of this one, actually. This would be beautiful for... Um, for uh, This would be really, really, really lovely for uh, dressmakers. 112 wide, quoting beautiful fabric. Slightly lighter weight. I'd say it is more of a sort of poplin weight cotton. £4.99. Four pound ninety nine and a half meter for your world rose. Did you watch against the world, um, Ben? No. Well, tea or coffee won. He's talking about his drag race. Oh, look at these dragonflies! This is so clever, isn't it? The placement. You know, when we're talking to Bex about clever placement on fabrics, you're going to be able to do so so much with this. And actually, if you do sort of sub cut it and fussy cut it, you I say dragonflies. What do you see? Doves, vanilla doves. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on, have we got these names from the collection or has somebody in our team named them? Because they aren't they dragonflies? They are gorgeous. I wonder if Lauren's watching Lauren message earlier on saying that she wants one of our pin badges. Everybody who purchases, Lauren, Louis, got to give you a big shout out. Can I give everyone a wave? I'll save one of these for you. Mwah. I say that actually, no, because they're only limited while socks last, so you have to buy something really. Uh, if, even if you're getting half a metre of this for 4 99 then you'll get your pin badge. Look, it's got a microphone on. Vicky's birthday show. And there is a sneaky sneak code on the back. Laura Gibson wants, I told you they're in high demand. They're in high demand. Sandra Santangle wants one. <gasps> we also have the deers. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Uh, you've got your reds, you've got greens. Four pounds, 19 and a half metre. Four pounds, 19 and a half metre. This is brand new, Maurice Pillard. Four pounds, 99. We are flying through these because there's so much brand new fabric to show you. This one's lovely as well. So you can still use this within your piecing, but just be aware that it is slightly lighter weight. <laughs> I think it's a lovely little toiletry bags, cosmetic bags. A shirt for a wedding, Ben's thinking. Four pounds, 99, a half metre for your buttercup. Do, 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 do. I don't even know if these are buttercups, actually, are they? Are they little buttercups? <laughs> Under five pounds, a half metre for any brand new cotton. I know, this is absolutely fabulous value for money. I love this pink. It's not a pink pink, it's more like a coral. Oh, isn't that pretty? This would be really nice for, for your homewares actually, Ben. Look at that colour, that is really nice. £4.99 
four pounds ninety nine. <laughs> Four ninety nine half meter. Let me show you half a meter. Actually, feels wider than one hundred and twelve. Actually, I think it is one hundred and twelve. It's just the scale of print. It's lovely. Lighter weight cotton. This is your poplin weight. It'd be lovely as a lining on a posh coat. Yeah, one hundred and twelve wide. Four pounds ninety nine a half meter. Brand new in today. Well done, everybody who's checking out on multiple units. If you've bought something already, you've paid your PMP already. Uh, just getting any of your lovely cotton fabric under five pound a half meter is fabulous, isn't it? This is a great price on our fabric today. Maurice Pillard. What have they called this one? Poppies. Oh, sorry. Lilacs. It is that really lovely lilac background, your monochrome. Vanille, lilac, percale. All beautiful, all beautiful. Let me know what you're thinking of using them for. I wish we had a mega bundle, you know, because they would be really lovely as a whole quilt. Sorry, Ben. He's, I know, I know, he's had a lot of... Uh, well, he's been doing lots lot since he's, he's, he's been on holiday, hasn't he? Oh, these are lovely as well. You've got your sort of duck eggy, light greeny blue. Why were you not working whilst you were in the Netherlands? Putting together mega bundles. Oh, by the way, the kits that we have got in the next hour with Bex are already selling. So if you missed out on the giraffe tote bag, if you missed out on the velvet pouches, we've managed to reprint as much as we possibly could, especially for today. And I'm so grateful because that doesn't normally happen. Like that is not allowed. Bex has pleaded um, with Ian for us to be able to do it for today. So yeah, thank you ever so much. Oh, hang on, where's my badge getting stuck in there? I don't want to lose it. Couple more from this brand new range. Maurice Pillard. Jellyfish, surely, surely, surely. <laughs> hang on, come on in closer. Is it a thistle? Am I upside down? Four pounds, 99, a half meter. I do love these prints. You're so right, it does have a bit of a tilde feel to it. I think it would look nice with your tildes. It's the colors, isn't it? Um, final one from this new collection. And again, you've got beautiful birds. Right, we've got to be just something to do with the birds. What kind of birds are these? Right. Hummingbirds. I have seen a hummingbird. They are, see, they're so tiny, aren't they? They are amazing. And I love that this one, you've got the darker colours within the hummingbird and then you've got the lighter colour on the leaves here. So it looks like the hummingbirds are further forward, three-dimensional. £4.99. Have you ever seen a seahorse? Tiny seahorse. Like a baby one. They're like this, they're little miniature. No. Have you? On oh, a nature program. A seahorse giving birth. Oh my gosh. No. Right, they're all your brand new fabrics. £4.99, a half metre. Now, I've got the beautiful, um, this new fabric collection as well with a panel. Do you want to do that or do you want to do a, yeah, sweet lullaby. This is so gorgeous. Lauren, if you're watching, this is so beautiful. You could do a whole quilt with this. <gasps> oh my gosh! Right, there's only two of the panel left. You can get it in the mega bundle, but look at this. 
And you saw yesterday with Debbie how easy it is to do a quilt. Oh my gosh, the quality of this is amazing. It's so, so soft. Oh, I want this. Do you know anybody who's having a baby? Any birthdays, any children? I mean, even for anybody. It says, un, oh, unbearably cute on the bear. Some bunny loves you with the bunny. Dream big with the owl. Positively adorable. With a little bird, uh, with a little doggy. That is so cute. Right, that is part of a mega bundle. But if you want the panel, there is literally a couple of those left. And that is absolutely gorgeous. Whether you're choosing, oh, they're like, oh, it's adorable. Sold out. Only way of getting that is now within the mega bundle. So you do get that panel. And then you also have half meters. Look. So if you get this and then you were to put, I mean, this one looks like you've literally um, already pieced these. So you can do your quick quilting around as a border. You can use your half meters for your binding if you want. I mean, you've got plenty there to be able to do lots of cushions or wall hangings or a big quilt. Bearing in mind, look, that is like a quilt bundle for 38.96, we're under 40. Have you discounted that? Is that lower than it should be? Um, because that is definitely, if you if you were to bring on a quilt kit under 40 pounds, it would go absolutely wild in the aisles, wouldn't it? And these are so gorgeous. For me as well, it's this color that is um, just, Easy. If you know that you're you're making for someone who's expecting a baby or and they don't know if they're having a girl or a boy, or if you're not quite sure on their taste, their colour schemes. So I personally love bright colours in nurseries, I really do. But I've got friends who only want neutral colours. They just love neutral colours in a nursery. This is so beautiful for somebody who you know is just going to want neutral tones. It's still absolutely adorable. The artwork is gorgeous. You could do some great quilting. You could just simply echo quilt these. But then you also have, yeah. Oh, it's gone, hasn't it? Then you've also got this fabric here, which is that lovely patchwork. How much fun are you going to have with this? You could make lovely bunting with this, couldn't you? Have bunting around a nursery cot or around, and then you could do some cushions and then just have that as like a play mat. So you could do a whole nursery collection with this, make a little soft toy with half a meter or, you know, the, the legs and arms are different ones. Use it with calico, use it with your natural seeded cotton, use it with cream. Just £38.96. That's so good. Right, all of these are now available individually. Remember, the panel has sold out. Shall we do the patchwork one? So you've got lots of squares. If you do want to, um, you know, do a cushion and quilt along the lines, it looks like you've literally patched so many tiny little squares together. Oh, gone individually. The only way of getting the panel, the only way of getting that one is in the bundle. Sweet lullaby. Clouds. Here you have your little clouds with the moon and the stars and the cats. Seven pounds, 99, a half meter. Floating friends, only four units left, that's two meters left. So if you do want to make something larger, be aware that it's about to sell out. And then we also have this one, which is in the, the, the lighter colorway. Slightly more available. We have slightly more to start with, you see. So if you do want the mega bundle, that's where you're going to get all of those fabrics. But if you want them individually, they're about to sell out. How pretty is this? Sort of wall hangings you could do. You could sort of kit out a whole nursery. Changing mats, nursery bags, like play uh, mats. And it doesn't need to be for just babies. These are great for all sorts. Yeah, laundry bags, storage bags for toys. Little drawstring bags for sleepovers. If anybody, you know, has a, the grandchildren over for sleepovers. Reading cushions are always a great gift. They are always a brilliant gift and they're so easy to make. You do, you know, your envelope back cushion, put a pocket on the front, 
pop a book inside of it and they could use, uh, use it as a, a bag to put their pajamas in as well. So lovely. Right. We've got another brand new fabric bundle. It's called Pawsomely Pooch. Now, the bundle comes with your cotton fabric. So you get three different cotton prints here, look. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Two and a half meters, and you're also getting your um, flannel fabric. So this is really, really soft. Um, oh, just, do you get the little motorbikes in there as well? The motorcycles, little Vespas. Yeah, look, all of these half meters, £31.96. Right, that is saving £7.99. So you get one of these for free. There you go. You know they're going to be £7.99 half meter. You're getting one for free. Um, and I do love, I don't think we've ever done a bit of a combo that you've got a flannel one as well. Super soft. Look, that is a dog on a Vespa. Look, that one's going, hey. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? £31.96. Why do you find that so funny? They do look French, don't they? Look, I think it's the stripes. Look, some are wearing glasses. This is so cute. These are all half metre pieces. You've got here, and look at the, oh my gosh, they're brilliant, aren't they? Pearl necklace. Little dicky bow. All of these half meters. Your poor simply posh fabrics, £31.96. Right, should we do them individually? Let's do the flannel one first, because this is different. So this one has got that soft touch finish. So if you want to do really lovely soft cushions, these would be really nice. If you want to do, um, I mean, this isn't just for kids, is it? This is not just for children. These would be brilliant for storage boxes for your workroom. They're just really fun. Very, very busy. Anybody who's got them in their basket, just be uh, aware that everybody is purchasing as well. You're getting a free Figgy's birthday show pin badge while stocks last. £7.99 for your posh pugs on scooters. I mean, that is just amazing, isn't it? It's the flannel fabric, posh pugs on scooters. Are they all pugs? Oh, my gosh, they're so cute. If you know anybody that's got a pug, you've got to make them a dog bed with this fabric. Because it's flannel as well. It's going to be so soft. Seven pounds ninety nine a half meter. Uh, we also have. Do you want to do the Vespas or I say Vespas? That's a brand, isn't it? What are they called? Scooters, mopeds. Have you ever ridden a moped before? You got the green. Look, anybody who has uh, a moped or you know somebody as a moped again make them something cool bags these would be good even for just linings you could use them for seven pounds 99 a half meter well but what about a pair of lounge pants seven pounds 99 and a half meter for your Pawsomely posh. <laughs> Pawsomely posh scooters for just £7.99. Remember, you are saving £7.99 on the bundle. We also have, let's do the, uh, the French pugs. <laughs> uh, on green first. Yeah, this is the green, and then we've also got it with the cream background. Uh, see, what I love about these as well, if you're using them within your quilting, because they're so jam-packed together, even if you've got little... Because uh, look at the glasses. That's why they're called posh. They've got little neckerchiefs. They're French bulldogs, aren't they? They're Frenchies. So cute. So, so cute. Um, but if you use them within your quilting, you're just going to see little, pug, little pugs, little French bulldog faces. Yeah. 
Seven pound ninety nine for your porcelainly posh. I think they're called. We've got the same one, the crowded French bulldog fabric in the crowds. Look at this. Well, I think they're watching Wimbledon. Oh, you think they've gone to see Pink? I'm going to watch Pink on Sunday the uh, 16th. If you want a ticket, I've got a ticket spare. <gasps> oh, I can't wait. £7.99. Have you seen pink before? Oh, look, is that why you've called it pink? Because it's pug crowds in pink. Oh, no, they look they look like they're, they're, they're at the theatre. <laughs> then we also have the pink. Oh, and look at this. This is so much fun. I am thinking for lovely little makeup bags. Once again, for uh, <laughs> linings, this would be lovely. <laughs> and even if you're just getting half a metre of this, then you get your free pin badge as well today. So have about 99 and a half metre for your floating pug heads. We love it, we love it, Lou, I love it. Are we ready for a deal after this, by the way? A Benny Boy deal? Right, Ben. <laughs> can we do the... Um, I don't know whether this is going to be a deal, but please, can we do the seams hand... It's not going to be a deal, but it's a back in stock. And we'll do a discount deal after this as well. Um, right, it's £17.99. Trust me, buy this hand cream. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's a hand cream that's especially developed for sewers. Ollie, I bet you've not met Karen from Seams before, who's come in. Um, so there aren't any hand creams out there that she found. She actually did a, a milliner's course, like she made hats and, um, she, uh, oh, is Susie here today? Uh, so she was making hats and she said her hands were just in ruins and she asked the teacher at the Royal School of Needlework, um, or the, the School of Fashion, what hand cream they use and they said that they hadn't really found one that helped uh, not one that they could sew with as well one that wasn't going to be greasy one that was going to mend your hands um if you if you do sewing this is perfect i've got one of these i've had one in my downstairs toilet i've got one in my 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 bag here for work i've got another one um upstairs in, in my next to my bed i use this at night i love it it is brilliant and it is so so Oh, it smells beautiful. It's not overly sort of floral and it's not also, you know, sometimes when they can smell quite medical, like, you know, it's all lots of goodness, lots of ingredients in here, but it smells like... Um, it's what? from the gallery. Thank you, fresh from the gallery. Can I have a little hand massage? Oh, have we used it all? Honestly, people come from far and wide, from Jen's studio to come and use our seams hand cream. Oh, there's a little bit left. It lasts though, doesn't it? It's good, yeah, Hang it's on, like right. You haven't hands. you haven't got any. I'm gonna to have to dig into my handbag here. Now don't laugh at my handbag because I'm going to change this over for um, Bex's <laughs> handbag as soon as we go to the uh, the break. But I've got my seam hand cream in here as well. <laughs> Look, I've got my seams nail oil. And I've got seams. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. I've got my seams hand cream somewhere in there. I can't find it, but I've got my, my, uh, my nail oil in there. And I've also got the seams hand cream, which is so beautiful. So it says here, for soft, supple hands, smooth quickly into your hands and nails daily, whenever they need help at night before you sleep. Great for all skin types. It's fast absorbing, non-greasy. Uh, it works on, on hard... Sorry. Cream that works on... Works hard too, sorry. <laughs> Helps to mend, moisturise, hydrate, soften, nourish and restore skin. Even skin tones and condition nails fast. It's got nine natural ingredients. Um, it does have macadamia nut oil in it, just to make you aware. Rosehip oil, shea butter. It's got really beautiful um, ingredients in here, which are equivalent to like what you would have in a very high-end hand cream you know if you go to like your 
I don't know, your L'Occitane or your Neil's Yard or you're really lovely. This is such a beautiful gift for somebody and I can't recommend it enough, especially the fact that it's for sewers. But, I mean, she stepped into the fashion industry. I know the, uh, the, uh, the dancers on Dancing on Ice use this hand cream. Could you imagine being in the cold, really, really cold? Yeah, we've had, there's so many, bit, there's amazing testimonials of lots of different industry experts that have this. Seams is brilliant. I really noticed the difference. Well worth it as I hate when my nails and cuticles catch on wadding. Exactly. But if you're sewing, you wouldn't want to put a greasy hand cream on that's then going to transfer onto your silk dupion, would you? So, or like you say, catch on your wadding. So it is great that it's instantly absorbed. It soaks in really nicely. Okay, that's one of our faves. What can you do with deal on Ben? Because that's what I'd be asking if I was at home. What can you discount? No. Can you? Right, who wants a deal on a wall pressing mat? You are going to get an applique mat for free. Would be 31 98 for both of them. Oh gosh, this is going to be a really good discount. You also get in your pin badge as well. Don't forget, twenty four ninety nine. So you've got your Teflon sheet, and it's a big one. It's um, thirty one by thirty centimeters. So it's a good size. And your wool pressing mat. Honestly, our designers that come in and sew here every day would not live without their wool pressing mats. Everybody asks for one. It's because it's a really compressed wool. It's nice and lightweight, so it's great to transport. It's much better than you know trying to put your ironing board up every time you want to sew and you've got to press every time. So if you've got your savior station set up with your sewing machine, your pressing station, your cutting station, then this is brilliant. But it's so compressed that what happens with the characteristics of, of, of the natural wool is that it brings the heat back up at you. So if you are pressing with your iron from the bottom, you've got your seam in the middle and then the, the, the wool pressing mat will bring the heat back up on itself. It will give you the flattest, crispest seam. It's lovely. And it will, one, make your the time that you spend pressing a lot quicker, but also it will make it a lot neater, a lot crisper. Uh, and we love it. And today it's 24 99 I know there is a brand of wool pressing mats that's on our website that is a lot more expensive than this. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So you can pay a lot more. How much are they at this sort of size? Like 70 sort of pounds? So yeah, Millwood's brilliant price anyway. And today you're getting your Teflon sheet, um, your applique mat. So you're not going to be getting any um, any glue or any adhesives onto your iron. It's always handy to have that. Oh, you could use that with your, with your new velvet. You don't want to be putting your iron onto the velvet. So if you put your pressing cloth, that will help. No, we were saying, I mean, Bex was being very brave and sort of brushing alongside it, but you will burn your, your pile, you will burn the, the uh, <laughs> you will burn the, the top of the fabric, so just be aware. $24.99 for your bundle. £24.99 for your bundle. Well done, everybody. Okay. William Morris. Oh, I've got to be so... Um, Kat, would you just help me, please? Because I can't quite see. Is this leaning on anything? If I... Oh, no, that's fine. I just didn't want to... I didn't want it all to crash down. <gasps> I would... I, I, do you know what? I actually wouldn't even want to use this. It's too posh. But... Ben says, you can use it, you can. You can dishwasher, you put it in the dishwasher, you can use it in the, yeah, in the microwave. It looks so posh, it looks like it just belongs on a dresser as display. But what is lovely is that, you know, I, I love tea from a teapot, but Kieran doesn't drink hot drinks. I love a cup of tea. So I, there's no point making a big, a, a, a big teapot. Cat doesn't drink hot drinks. I, I wouldn't make a big teapot just for myself. So to have your tea for one is lovely, isn't it? You've got <laughs> your um, tea for one tea set, William Morris print. That is a lovely gift for somebody, isn't it? Anybody who loves a good old cup of tea, that is a great gift. And as I said, you can use it as well. 
Pimpernel. Fine china, dishwasher and microwave safe. It says, it, they're absolutely beautiful. £17.99. They are really beautiful. <laughs> ah, one of Ben's friends. She's very, very trendy. And she bought uh, Ben and Willis two William Morris mugs for Christmas. Yes. Oh, Ben. Ben has the whole collection. You don't have this one, Ben. You need this one. The Pimpernel. I love that. And it's nice that it stacks as well, isn't it? That you could keep it in your cupboard, but I'd absolutely have that out on show. I would have that on show. That is so beautiful. I am looking inside my mug cupboard at the, at the moment and, and thinking, right, do you know when you are... Uh, you know... <laughs> If you open your tea cupboard, I've got so many mishmash mugs that I end up like handing out mugs that are like, oh, to the greatest uncle, or this is one that I had when I was 12, groovy chip one or something. So it's nice, it's really lovely to be able to have um, a, a nice posh cup of tea. £17.99, <laughs> even the lid's got the Pimpernel print on, it is really lovely, just £17.99, fabulous, right, we also have, oh by the way, it comes in the nice box as well, so if you are wrapping it up, easy to wrap, and it tells you about the Pimpernel print as well, pardon? I really like the box because look, you've got the detail on the side and you've also got about William Morris and about the Pimpernel print. Oh, uh, Ed and Alice have got the boxes on display. Pimpernel. Morris designed Pimpernel in, 17, in 1876 and later chose to decorate his dining room at Kelmscott House in Hammersmith, London. Uh, the design is almost symmetrical pattern of intertwined pale green foliage with Pimpernel plants um, with yellow flowers, with small yellow flowers. So, yeah, that's really pretty, isn't it? Right, we also have a William Morris cushion. Now, I really like these because they're a really nice... Um, what's the fabric? It's... It's going to be really nice anyway for your... Oh! It's going to be really nice for your uh, outdoor furniture. We've obviously been using this for our outdoor furniture. This is our sample. You'll get a nice new clean one. Um, but if you do... If you are now, like me, committing to put your outdoor furniture out, these are lovely. Conservatory cushions... I haven't got a swing. I've got a day bed for my birthday. A day bed for the garden, because I'm obviously going to be able to sit down in the garden when I have three toddlers all crawling, running all over the place. £10.99, the deal fairy is here. Your hyacinth. We always talk about William Morris cushions being between 40, 50 pounds. That is wild. Very, very low price today. £10.99. Does it come with the inner? It does, doesn't it? And it looks, it's got a nice concealed zip there. You get your cushion inner. William Morris print. Concealed zip there, look. Piping round the edge. Very nice. We've also got the doorstop. Oh, it's got a nice big... Um, heavy, it's a heavy one. It's got lots of um, pallets inside to keep it. So if you are using it as a doorstop, ideal. And look, it's got a nice handle as well, rope handle. William Morris High Synth doorstop. So I need a doorstop desperately. This is going to be perfect. It's going to look nice in any room, not over. Yeah, I do like these sort of pyramid style doorstops as well. Especially um, this sort of time of year when it's a little bit blustery still, isn't it? But maybe you want to have a door open. Maybe you want to have a back door open that you could just um, let a bit of fresh air in. Then all of a sudden, you, it just blows a gale, doesn't it? And you get a hailstorm all of a sudden. £9.99 deal. £5 off. Just £9.99. Get the set. They match together, the Hyacinth doorstop. And you're getting your free pin badge. It's got a code on the back. It's got a code on the back, so don't 
uh, throw the little card away, use it for the next time you shop with us, and you'll get free P&P. Nine pounds ninety-nine. Please, can we do the the fairy tale ones? Look at this. Oh, I can see why it's even bought this in for my birthday because this is just me. I love it. I love it. It's like the princess castle. Look at this. Oh my gosh. My little girl Maisie would absolutely love this. I could do a whole bedroom in like a castle, enchanted castle design. Um, isn't that so pretty? Drawstring bags. If you manage to get the green machine and you've got those lovely diamante eyelids, imagine then doing a drawstring bag where you could keep, like, does anybody have a little girl or a little boy that goes to dancing, keep their dance shoes in, or reading cushions, bunting, or just wall hangings? This is so lovely. £6.99, your princess dreams, castles in the sky. £6.99 for half a metre. Oh, sorry, I'm just putting my seams on. Just putting my seams on my hand. It's so lovely. Oh, it smells really nice. Um, <laughs> you've got your lovely background, mottled sort of colour, and it's big scale of print. There you go, just for scale, you can see the signs of the castle. Backpacks. That's really nice. We love it, we love it, we love it. We've got three of this sort of princess vibe, enchanted feel. Do you know who is going to love these? Um, Emma Brassfield, Becky Alexandra Frost. That's called Princess Dreams. It's so lovely. It's a quilting weight cotton. There is also the rainbows. Stuart Hillard, this is for you. Right, wait till you see the price on this as well. It looks like waterfalls. Look at that. That's fabulous, isn't it? £6.99. Oh, I want to do a lovely... I mean, you could add in some of your rainbow hardware, lovely PUs, maybe. Do some nice quilting. Nothing else quite like this. You get the clouds, you got the waterfall. You know, I have. Debbie Shaw was on Rainbow. The very best. Debbie Shaw um, was on Rainbow. You have to watch it back. Yeah. 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 It was because uh, she, she used to be a, like a children's TV presenter. And she was on Rainbow. And Zippy or George was like in love with her. You have to watch it. Oh, can we do the bunny rabbits? <gasps> oh, Princess Dreams. Look at the little bunny rabbits. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is so cute. Yes, it is. And you've got the foxes, the little cubs. I would make a, use this as a picnic blanket. This would be so lovely to take out. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, aren't they so cute? Look at the little butterflies. Look at the flowers. Oh, and the meadow. That is so pretty. £6.99. Your princess dreams, forest. Because of the way that this is uh, positioned as well, you could use these for borders. They are lovely. Right, there's only 10 units of that left, and that's brand new in today. Well, I wonder if you managed to get this. One more princess dream. Now, this isn't as, you know, young princessy. This is quite grown up. This is like... Oh, lots of lovely colours in here. Look, the little hummingbirds. You've got a kingfisher there as well. Oh, that is gorgeous. Nice for dressmaking, this would be, wouldn't it? Princess Dreams, £6.99. I know. So she said, gosh, I've never seen anything like that rainbow fabric. These are all really lovely, aren't they? They're individual. They're all from the same range, the Princess Dream range. But I think they all will work for lots of different 
kinds of projects. These would be beautiful cushions as well. Really? Um, okay. We also have... <gasps> can, just whilst... No, just whilst we were doing the um, bright colour fabrics, can we do the bright, beautiful orophil threads? Um, so, we literally have a couple of minutes. Look at these. The artwork on the packaging is done by Tula Pink and they're absolutely amazing. These are your neons and your neutrals. You'll get a nice new pack. This is our studio sample, so you can see it's been well loved and used. But you can see here, you've got a good mixture of neutrals that you'd use every day. And then if you do want to pick out some of the greens for like your hummingbirds or some of the, the pinks here. Right, did you say we've only got five minutes left? Ben, you know it's my birthday. You know it's nearly my birthday and this is my birthday show and I'm not going to be here for the next two, two weeks. Please, 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 can we have a deal on this? Yeah, I'm not here for ages. I need to actually check when I'm next in. £57.99. Pounds what a deal. That is one of the biggest discounts of the day. Neutrals and neons. In your 50 weight, this is your everyday cotton to use all the time. What does that make my price per spool, Ben? 20 spools, 57.99. Do the maths quicker. £2.89 a spool, and look, you're getting 200 metres on each one. So they're big spools, 50 weight, phenomenal colours. Love them. Charles Voisey coming up next, your tapestry fabrics. Anybody who's got... Um, it's a bit of William Morris inspired, I think. But it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's not necessarily... Well, it's not William Morris, but can you see what I mean? This would make fabulous carpet bags, great for upholstery. Really nice for carpet. <laughs> no, carpet bags. Be really nice as well, I'm thinking, if you wanted to even just do a nice blanket stitch and have it as sort of homeware. Oh, yes, please, Ben. I'd love a coffee. Yes, please. <gasps> Bex has got oat milk with her as well, hasn't she? If she can hear me. Ben, discounting orophil. Someone's going to get into trouble. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's on one today. He's loving. He, he loves the power. And especially when so many people message in and are like, oh, Ben, we love your deals, Ben. Then he gets excited. He says, I love it if people call me handsome as well. Oh, Sue wants one. Milk one, sugar, please, Ben. What kind of milk? We've got normal milk and we've also got oat milk available today. $7.99, right? We've also got Jeed Codes. Sorry, don't want to knock my tea set over. Um, right, this one is lovely. Again, right, do you have the Tallulah jacket? If you've got the pattern for the Tallulah jacket, how nice would this be? Also, Kat was suggesting a skirt, a tapestry skirt. And Ben and I were like, a tapestry skirt? And then we found some really cool tapestry skirts out there. You are both very handsome. An Irish coffee. Do you like, um, is it called a quit, what's it called, a quitato? No, what am I trying to say? I've said it wrong. What's the really small coffee? But they put milk in it as well. No, they put milk in it. Quartado? Quartado. Quartado. That's it. I just think that sounds fancy. Is it a quartado? I can't even say it, can I? It's just a small fancy coffee, isn't it? I like them in the little cups, though. £7.99 a half metre. I always like the reverse of the tapestry fabric as well. They are, you know, proper tapestry fabrics. I'm amazed at the prices of these. £7.99 a half metre is brilliant value because they're extra wide as well. So they're great if you're doing dressmaking and bag making or even like nice little purses would be nice. You know, like larger size travel wallet sort of purses. 
This one does have a little bit of a um, William Morris kind of feel to it, actually. We've got to go soon as well, because Bex's show is coming up, and we, it's jam-packed. Um, Yvonne suggested that we can do a baby shower for Bex when Freddy comes home from, uh, from his snowboarding or skiing. <laughs> this is again, same fabric, different colorway. Azure. Yeah. I'm so sorry, I'm just trying to reach across the table without knocking over my teacup. Thank you. Uh, the lovely birds on this as well. Right, I'm being told we gotta go, we gotta go. We're gonna race through these other ones. Uh, we've got the same fabric again in this colorway. Yes, please, no shook. X, Y, C, four, four, zero. <laughs> I think it's probably because you, um, what, we, what did you do yesterday afternoon? We were all just delirious. Ollie was out at a party till 1 a.m. last night. Dirty stop out. Oh, we got into bed at one. He went to a 30, 30th birthday. And so, yeah. He was a little tired today. Tilly had a bad night last night. She was awake and there was, we were at the point that I was thinking she's just gonna wake everybody else up. So I got up with her for a couple of hours in the middle of the night, so I was so tired this morning. But I must say, your company has definitely perked me up. Um, okay, there's literally a couple more. Seven pound ninety nine. Thank you for all your messages as well today. Butterflies and birds. All oh, this is nice because you've got birds there. But if you look at these, look, you've also got butterflies. So whichever way you're looking at this, um, you've got butterflies in every direction. So I'm thinking for a bag maker, this is ideal because if you look down, you're going to see these butterflies. But from the front, you've got this direction. Very nice. I think that's my favourite. Um, last one, last one, last one, and then we are going to get Bex on. I think we've actually shown everything more or less, haven't we? A couple of pairs of scissors that are underneath us on the web as well. So about 99, right, do not go anywhere. Bex is coming back and we have got so many of the most popular Amber Makes kits we've ever had coming your way. Grab them on pre-order. Bex is gonna be joining me right after this. <laughs> Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. 
you can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches, and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street Hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for spending your Sunday morning with us. It's been very, 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 very busy. Oh, Ben's been trying to make us posh coffees. Has he? Yes. Did he manage it? No. Oh. He says he tried very hard, but didn't he? He didn't have water in, ran out of time oh. on the break, so no coffees. But oh. maybe we'll try again in the next hour. Um, this hour, oh my gosh. Right, we're going to try our hardest. We are going to gonna try and do it. Now, this is like the ultimate... It's like we were just talking about Glastonbury, mm. and this is like all of the best headliners from yeah. every year <laughs> come together and do a festival, and you're like, hang on, no, you're not allowed to bring them all back together again, and you've done it. Well, and sold out today. as well. These are the, this is it. These are things that have sold out. Yeah. That I've persuaded <gasps> the office to bring back. Right, I think because we were talking about the velvet. Let's start with velvet. We came because, back. Well, now these. Can we so, start with the pouch set? So these are the ones that. Um, we have printed. Okay. So these match the, the <gasps> tender bags. So they're this beautifully soft. And they're gorgeous. Velvets. They're gorgeous. But they've sold out before, so we finally it takes us a while to get them and package them and everything, but they're finally back. <gasps> oh, and they're lovely. They match absolutely perfectly with your weekend bag. So if you were lucky enough to get one of the ones that so the bees sold out completely. So if you did miss those, you can get them. Now we will start with the bees because bees. already a third of the stock has gone. So oh, you got it in the new packaging. Yes, well. new packaging. Yes. Brilliant. So we haven't had that one, but we've got this one in the new packaging. So you get all the pieces for both bags. Lovely. Lining included? Lining or? included. Now, yeah. the lining is quite cool because it's printed. Oh, brilliant. You don't get the zips. 
right? Because we didn't do zips. So then. what sort of zips do I need for these? Uh, they're just number three zips. Yeah. And I can't remember. Yeah, what but size. it will tell you. It, it will says, tell you in there. Well, it says it on. If you go onto the website, the Sewing Street website, it lists what size zips you oh, need. Okay, perfect. Um, so you have got. But the lining fabric is a cotton printed. And this is enough to do both. both. So you get a velvet panel for the outers and you get a lining panel. Should we open it up? And then I can are you see. allowed to? Well, that's mine. How many of these are left, Ben? It's absolutely flying out, by the way. Thank you for making sure that we had hundreds of these, yeah. by the way. Well, because we sold out before. So you yeah, get, that's a lot there's the <gasps> velvet panel. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. So that does your, well, you, it could be a wash bag and a cosmetic bag. It could be for your sewing kit. It Hang could on. be to put your chargers on. Don't I cut this out here? We've got extra bees. Yeah, freebies. Oh, as always, freebies. Freebies. <laughs> freebies. So you cut these out, um, but you could use them to put your chargers in or, yeah. you know, whatever, your tablets. No, they are lovely. And then the oh, lining gosh. is printed onto a, um, a cotton fabric. Lovely. And that fits, obviously. You've got, and you've also got the pieces to make, oh, I've turned it inside out, the little charms. So once again, there's no faffing with templates or measuring out. No, because they are a funny pattern. shape. So like that bit is narrower than that bit due mm -hmm. to seam allowances and everything, but they are exactly the right size. And these charms you've put onto the end of the zips. Yes. But, I mean, you could have them on as little key rings or you could put some wadding inside, stuff them. Exactly, there's just a space. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so that's what you get in well. the kit. And then obviously you will need, well, I'll tell you, actually now i've opened it that you will need um an 18 inch zip and a 15 inch zip brilliant um, you do also have your video tutorial as well with your qr code there but everything is written out in your instructions it's all, all in the instructions forward. but i have filmed a whole tutorial that shows you how to make them if you miss them first time round, or if you missed out on the weekend bags or maybe the weekend bags a little bit out of your price range or if you miss them Go for it. Experience the velvet. You've got to experience it. It's absolutely beautiful to work with. And you were saying, actually, in terms of sewing with the velvet, there's nothing that you need to really no, change. No, it's, ab it's absolutely fine. They're e it's easy. It's, it's, a nice it's, yeah, it's a nice little sort of, it's like a boxy shape. Yeah. And it's all sewn. So I've designed them in such a way, because sometimes bags like this, you on the inside, you'll see like um, a seam allowance, but yeah. I've done it so that nothing shows. Lovely. And it's not difficult, but it took a while to work out, but I didn't want any seam allowances no. showing. Yeah. Oh, so that's really clever. Perfectly reversible. Oh, wow. Should sure you want it to be? <laughs> uh, just so you know, the stop with the bees, go on, Ben. Um, yeah, you just need to you just need to source your zip packs. You just need to source yeah. your zips. So we yeah. say, but for the other ones, we're actually selling the zip packs as we well. Have we have got some zips, other... yes, um, and they have a little handle. Okay, brilliant. To carry them. Oh, lovely! Just because you have got your little handle as well. Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? With the little bees in the centre. Beautiful. Yeah, so everything's sort of designed so because there's the, the strap so that everything runs across the centre. But you can watch the video tutorial and it will show you exactly how to make them. Gorgeous, love it. Should we do the elephants? Uh, right, the elephants. Did you say the zip packs have all sold out now? Anyway, yeah, they have all gone. Oh, have they? Yeah, no. they've all gone. Um, right, so if you got the elephant bag like I did, these are lovely. Well, you're off to Glastonbury this year, Beck. You need, <laughs> like, you know, your wash bag, you need your bag with your yeah. chargers and things like that. Or Do you have chargers at Glastonbury? Do you still take things like that? Not really, no. Well, you've got your portable charger, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Got my portable Bits charger. And these are great, aren't they? And they are just so lovely. Gifts for people. These are Absolutely. And they have um, a cotton lining as well. So oh, they've got a. Oh, and it's printed. An elephant <gasps> cotton lining that's it printed. It's printed as well. And you're getting your little charms with the elephant. So, what some people I've done, I great. know who have bought these is they've used the lining fabric to make another one. And okay. then use because you Just can, use from your stash. Are they the you, same size there? Yes. Yeah, so, if you draw around these and make a pattern piece. Oh, Bex, you shouldn't be encouraging I that. I know crafters, they do that. Well, we know, no, we all, well, I do we it. Know we, we all like do doing that. that. But, but I you mean, see, so you could use the lining as the outer for another one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that'd be brilliant. And then so, you just, just use your stash yeah, for to a line lining. It. And then you've got four, four bags. Oh my gosh. I do it, so I know everybody else does it. I mean, it's not like. It's not like they're. You know, obviously you can't sell our instructions yeah. and whatever, but yeah. if you're making the best use of your kit, 
absolutely. Then why not? And I love the fact that the lining is printed, so it looks yes. really beautiful. So it's really the pretty. same. Yeah. Yes, so absolutely. Um, the velvet, though, that is printed, I can't tell you how soft it is. It's not, like you said, a really heavy, thick velvet to no. sew with either, is it? No, I mean, your normal needle will go through it really well. Obviously, the Microtex, Microtex. needles are even better, but you can just use your, your normal sewing machine needle. Um, just nice. don't iron it too hot, like very... Like no. low temperature, that's the only thing because obviously it's a polyester, so yeah. it will melt if you iron it too hot. Fabric clips are probably um, better if you're working several layers. Sharp pins, that's about it, really. Even like all of the different, uh, you know, every single pattern mm. has come out so clearly, even in the more, more sort of delicate sizes. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Right, we are going to get a bit of a wiggle on because there's so much that we want to show you this hour. If you've got any questions or want us to recap anything that we don't mention, please let us know. We also have your flamingos. So no, it's jungle animals. Jungle sorry. animals. I'll put them back. You have a, a look at these ones. So. Right. So jungle. So on the larger one, the wash bag, you've got the leopard. Was it a cheetah? And toucans walking through the jungle. Oh, this is so lovely. Um, and the lining on Go that on. one is. Oh, it's like this <gasps> pink. See, I would definitely be using this for another bag as well. Yeah, because then that's like your cotton yeah. bag, isn't it, yeah. on the other side? And then the um, the smaller one has got flamingos. Can you see that? It's got oh, flamingos and toucans. Can't remember what the lining's like of this. Oh, that one's like um, dark green with flamingos. That's the lining. But that again, that's all in the kit. So if you want to use these, as we mentioned earlier on, with uh, your own lining, your own solid lining, then you will have enough there to be able to do four bags. Just cut round, use the cut round the template and use it as a pattern. Fantastic. I mean, they are lovely, aren't they? With the little handles, with your charms as well. You've even got a toucan little charm there, look. That one's the got, yeah, and then that one's got a, a leaf. Oh, fabulous. Oh, I'm not surprised these sold out completely first time round. You've got a chance, a second chance at it. And trust me, I mean, you're always developing, you're always designing, you're yeah. always quite far ahead when we you are, are producing. Yes. And so to be able to revisit things, it isn't as simple as... No, oh, it takes us, yeah, yeah, particularly with these because we have to get the velvet printed, we have to get the cotton printed. It's, yeah. it's a long process. Yes, yeah. so make the most of it while they're here because I don't think we'll be able to do them again. Twenty-four ninety-nine, and remember that is for the two different size bags in the velvet with the lovely cotton pattern lining as well for $24.99. Well, I don't know if you've got the zip packs. We've got one more velvet pouch set, and it is the Hummingbirds. Yes. I can't tell you how <laughs> beautiful. I love this one, because I love they the colours. Are. Yes, uh, yeah. It's like yeah. teal and I think they're my favourite. Mauve and, I can't remember what's in this one. It's the rainbow look, at the, the, at the sort of iridescent tones within the... Oh, well, this one has got wisteria, purple wisteria oh. look on the inside. And hummingbirds. Oh, wisteria, beautiful. Really beautiful. What's, what's the lining on this one? Let's have a look. Oh, you got that lovely teal yeah. with the hummingbirds. So they look lovely to make them like this, obviously, yeah. because you've got a really lovely matching lining. But you oh, if you're making them. them for a gift, they would be so special. A twenty-four ninety-nine for your full kit, and they're good size bags as well, aren't they? Great toiletry bags going on holiday. Your makeup bags. They just look. They're Lovely. Nice. They yeah. look nice, don't they? Twenty four nice ninety nine. And you haven't got to worry if you were to do this out of your own fabric, to be able to get the placement. Well that's the thing, isn't it? Is it's actually impossible to do. You know, the hummingbirds sit right in the centre where yeah. and then on the ends of the little corners that you turn round when you make them, the hummingbirds are just sitting on those edges. And you get all your instructions. Yes, and the tutorial. tutorial. It's all there, easy peasy. All in your pack, ready to go. There you go, here we are. And it will tell you um, the zips that you need, but you do have your QR code within there. All the velvet, the lining, everything is going to be into in your pack for $24.99. Another bargain. Plus, don't forget, you are going to get your free pin badge as well. While well, socks last, grab those pin badges whilst you can. They are collector's items. <laughs> Of course they You'll are. You'll get loads on um, eBay for that. Bet. Yeah, I reckon. I know. Look, there's another one there. I might have that one. <laughs> Put that in my pocket. $24. And you get, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to tell you, but you do get the code on the back for free P&P. So definitely do not throw that card away. The next time you're shopping with this, you'll get free P&P. Yeah, but I can't tell them what the code don't, is. No, don't They're tell special, them the code. special. <laughs> okay. Right. They're all your velvet pouches back in stock. Have a look back underneath us on the website, choose which ones you want and grab them whilst they're available. Now, uh, Ben's bag. Oh, I know. What, the giraffe? Yeah. 
I don't know why he thinks he's a Why giraffe. is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he says, have you not seen the length of my neck? So I've had so <laughs> many messages about the giraffe bag because it sold out last <gasps> time. It sold out in like 10 fast. minutes, didn't it? Yeah. It is so, so we clever. we finally Lex. got it. I, I love it. Because obviously, I mean, I designed the, how it all works. What a great idea. And then I sent it to Amy and I said, now it's really important. This is where the me I gave all the measurements so oh, that the strap would has to match. So it looks like he's how doing do that. How do you even design this? I mean, this is so clever. Well, it's just working out. I made sure the strap is a little bit wider than normal so that it had a nice neck. But I gave all the measurements and then, and, and look at that. He looks so lovely, doesn't he? Oh, he is He's a genius. just brilliant. It is, it just works so, so well. And again, your lining, everything about these is lovely. Well, you, panels. there's... Um, Have I got the panels here? Hopefully. Oh, they're on the other side. Let me come and um, grab it for you. So on the ins, so you've got everything for the outside. 20 left. And then you've got, the lining has got drafts on. Um, there's also a zip pocket that you can put in. <gasps> oh, look at, the, look at the size of these panels. And a patch pocket <gasps> with a... With a giraffe on. With a giraffe. Oh, uh, no one of these sold out in like 10 minutes. They're going to sell out again very, very quickly. Well done, everybody who got ahead to the web on pre-order. Um, yeah, it's a really right. big... Well, they it has to be massive. big. Well, because it's got all the lining on it, so it has to be big, doesn't it? And there's this... Oh, your straps, straps. are big, aren't they? Well, they're just, they're thick. just a little bit wider so that you can really get the full impact. And Any got... tips on being able to get the neck exactly in line? Do you just pin them? Yeah, it's easy, actually. I mean, I give the measurements, okay. but actually just put them on top. Yeah, yeah. And because when you the do the strap, you put it right sides down on top, you can see immediately yeah. whether it's in the right place. And also with this bag, because I love a boxed bottle. Oh, I do. And I like that you've done the different colours yeah, well, with the feet. <laughs> well, I'm a bit bored with the normal box bottom, so I put a... There's a new one that I discovered, a <gasps> fancy one. Oh, okay. Where you get, like, this little triangle. Oh, I've not seen a box bottom like well, this before. Well, I haven't before. I, saw, I found it somewhere. It took me ages to work out how to do it, because I'd seen someone else had done it. Um, but you get this little folded-y triangle. Yeah. It's really easy to do, but it's just a bit different. Oh, my word. They are brilliant. Love that. Um, you get your instructions, even though you've got your panel, you've also got your instructions there for £22.99. Your lining's included. There's three left. It's about to go. How many in baskets? Right, please, can you get more of these? Oh, did we not run out again? Yeah, there's oh. like over 50 people that are going to miss oh. that. We have got the um, elephants. Elephants. Have we got elephants? Yeah. They're over here, Bex. Cat? Sold out. Oh, sorry. Oh, there they are. They're under here. Sorry. They're right in front cat of sold us. Out. Cat sold out. Okay. Elephant. Let me show you the cat one, just so you can see the, the bag. Because look, it's his tail. It's his tail. It's so clever. And we couldn't decide between the ginger and the grey ones. So you put both. So, both. <laughs> so that oh, one has different that. coloured handles, which I quite like, really. Elephant. But you could only have one colour of giraffe oh absolutely so, the elephants i love i love well. the elephants because he's got um his trunk. his trunk and then out of his trunk there's like a water, water <gasps> oh my gosh out. yes and there's a baby elephant as well oh and this goes nicely actually with all of our other uh, it does and i really like the lining for this one and there is a video tutorial for this so Easy peasy. You've done these nice square triangles. Yeah, I know. It's just like quite. It's, it's quite. It's really easy to do, but I think it's just a bit different. Um, and then the lining is. Oh, look at the size of this panel. It's twenty two ninety nine again. I really like the lining. I like that sort of deeper teal. Bear in mind, hang on. You should be paying ten pound for your instructions anyway. But your printed mm. professional instructions. This panel is. Fabulous value for money. There's your lining. I know, I love the lining. And then you have that internal zip pocket, front and back of it. You've got the patch pocket, which has the little <laughs> elephant on it. Holly's like, oh and my then gosh, spare huge. elephants. This is a real, yeah, these are bigger than the normal size panels are, that we yeah. do. And they're still £22.99. Absolutely outstanding price with your instructions as well. Um, I love the, pack the background pattern. It's not a solid colour on the background. It's all beautiful. Really beautiful. And it is just so clever how you've got your handle. And his little trunk goes all the way through. And with the water. I love it. Right, 20 left. Well, do you know what? This could actually end quite nicely because there's around 20 of you who've got it in your basket. But there's people who are buying... Oh, no. No, no, no. No, sorry. I spoke too soon. There's over 30 of you now who've got it in your basket. <laughs> right. Sorry, Ben. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> What should we do next? Is it charge? Is it now, charge? Now, should we do the duffel tote? Because I love the duffel tote. Yes. Tote. I've never seen this before. Well, no, I designed When did this. you launch this? Oh, I don't know. 
But I designed Penny it squares. specially for myself because I wanted to be able to... I mean, I did it you for... You often do that, though, Bex, don't well, you? Actually, most things I design for myself. It's really easy. So there's a knitting one, a sewing one, and a crochet one. And I designed it so that you can have a project and that you're working on it. Let me have to take So what's this out. one? This is the crochet one. Okay. The, the crochet one. Let's start with the crochet one. Right. And then I'll show you how it works. I'll just take its filling out. So if you're working on the project, you want to put all everything you need in it. It's got a drawstring top. This is also really, really easy to make. So if you're a beginner, this is perfect. Ah. So it's got a drawstring top and it's got the handle, so it's a tote. Okay. But it has... I was going to put a circle bottom on, but that's harder and I wanted it to be simpler. So, um, because it's a duffel tote. But inside, what you can do when you're working on your project, whether it's a knitting one or sewing one, if you fold it back, there are these big pockets inside. Right. In fact, if I turn it inside out, you can see... There's these big pockets in the side and you can choose how big you make them. Right, so what would you keep in there then? Well, I have one for my sock knitting, so I keep all my sock needles in it. And then I made okay. one of the pockets quite big so I could put my sock book and patterns in. So you have all your yarn in the centre and then you've got your yes. tools in Yes, so here. when you're actually working from it, because you choose how big you have the... Well, do you do lines. your crocheting, you know, in a cafe or down, down the road? Well, oh, yeah, or so then I can... You fold it back. And you can use it as like a storage basket. And everything sticks out of it. That's really clever. And I love the fact that even, you know, on the inside, you've still got all, yeah, this, uh, got all of the granny squares. Are they called granny squares? They are. Yeah. So you can use it for crochet. There's a knitting one. There's a sewing one. So you can use it's it. So it's a duffel bag yeah. and a tote bag at the same time. That is brilliant. And do you know this um, drawstring? How have you done that? Is that just a channel that you've made? And yes, and that's all on there. So the only thing that you need to buy is a bit of cord or yeah. ribbon. Yeah. Brilliant. Nothing else. It's very, very simple. But... Um, it's just the fact that it's a tote and a duffel. And that is the panel. It's a big I mean, panel. Absolutely so it's got all the outer, it's got the pockets. The pockets are lined. It's got a lining. How is this one under 20? I don't know why we're taking that one under 20, but make the most of it. Even like, look, you've got this. Edgy. Yeah, that's like a freebie bit. Free and there's a there. video tutorial for this as well. There's a video yes. tutorial. Brilliant. So that's the crochet. The crochet one is always selling out. So we have to keep getting that one redone so that's why I redid this one but I have one that has my crochet and one that has my knitting in you can keep like fat quarters in it I mean that is literally like you stitch it's it this proper. is really clever really, I know really it clever. is I don't know how we did that but it looks like proper crochet yeah stitching. it does it's great if you're taking it to a workshop or if I go away on holiday I always take a project with mm -hmm. me and you can get everything in here because yeah, it's brilliant. got those pockets and then you can work from it yeah so very useful as well, useful. it's gorgeous. Yes. There you go. Um, less than £20, you do get your written instructions as well and your video, 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 video tutorial. tutorial. But it is a massive panel. Right, another one that's going to sell out yet again. This is another sell out from last time that we've managed to bring back just for today. Oh, it's a special birthday. Thank you. Your birthday. Thank you. You did have to beg and plead upstairs. Yeah, didn't you? I know. Because it's, it's not very often that we're able no, to No, no. They, they don't often let me do it. So I gave them a oh, list. With, thank if, you. With no more notice. So you, well, happened. you've been very particular about what you wanted yeah, as well. There I are certain to... designs, like you've done loads of brilliant designs, but you're like, no, I want these ones, the ones that were the big sellouts that people Well, also, about. people message me about yeah. them all the time. And I go, well, we'll try. We'll yeah. try. So there you um, go. Then there's the knitting one, so the same thing, but does exactly the same thing, so I won't open it all up, but this, the knitting one, so it's like a lovely, movie purple colour, and it's oh, got that is nice. knitting needles, ball of wool, socks, oh my gosh. stitch That's markers, nice. scissors, so that does all your knitting, and it's got um, balls of yarn across the handles. And then it's got a lining and it's got all the pockets. So that's the knitting one. Oh my gosh, again, look, it's absolutely huge. You've even got extra little balls of yarn. Yeah, I love in there, those. Lining. You those extra ones in those corners aren't used in the design, so you can just keep those. For You've whatever. got all of your uh, casing for your, your cord. You've got labels on there. It is a whopping big panel. And it's really nice, soft cotton as well. Yeah, isn't it, it is. But and because you've got all the layers, because you've got the outer, the lining, and then the pockets, it gives it quite a bit of structure. Yeah, a bit of body that you don't need. I don't need H640. I don't no, add anything else no. to it. I Fabulous. do use mine all the time. Oh, that is nice. Look, it says here your name, your you've got your label, my knitting bag, yeah. so you can put yeah. your name or if it's. I made this somebody. one for Sam Sabido when she was on once because she loved great crochet. She is, she is. I love that it even on your uh, on your knit it says pure wool, hundred grand. You can literally see. Yeah, it's all it's the all detail on the writing. Very clever design. In fact, it says Amber makes Amber makes pure wool. 
Oh, the see. makes made their own wool. <laughs> so that's the knitting one. And okay. then there was the sewing one, because we have to have a sewing one, don't we? So the sewing one is like our vintage sewing pattern. So you've got cards with yeah. buttons on and thread yeah. and a sewing machine and needles. Amber makes buttons. And it has a tape measure on the handle. Could be useful. And it has... Take, let's take the filling out. What was inside? This could be a nice, you know, like project on the go if you are, you know... Um... This is a really good way. If you're a beginner to sewing, this is a really good way to start because it's very easy, which is why I put a square bottom on a round one because, a I mean, a tote would normally have... A duffel bag would have a round yeah, bottom, yeah. but a square's easier. But so. because it's got that drawstring bag, it still feels like yeah, that. Yeah, and it does stand up nicely as well. So those are the pockets on the inside you've got. Stranded cotton. So you choose. When was it that you did this? Can you remember? No. What date was it, Ben? No. So if you want to watch the shows back, you can watch them back. But as I said, there is a full video tutorial. But if you do want to watch it back, I'm just wondering how long ago it was because I've not seen these. Oh, I can't guess. He's asking you to guess. I just don't know. Don't know. 13th yeah. of February. 13th of February. <gasps> oh, my birthday last year. <laughs> I should have remembered that, shouldn't I? So it's my birthday last 20, year. 2023. And once you make the pockets, you choose where the dividing line goes in. So if you're putting knitting needles, you might have lots of small pockets. But if yeah. you're putting a book in, so like my my crochet one, I've got a big pocket and small ones. But you, that's up to you. So when if you've got your, you could fill fill it with fat quarters. Great, um, beginner's bag. And then you've got something really useful yeah. when you're and a nice gift for somebody as well, isn't it? I am so thrilled. There is one certain project that I remember doing way back when in the old studio. It was probably one of the first projects I remember from Amber Makes, and it was the Topsy Turvy oh, doll. Oh, I know, and I love the Topsy Turvy when, doll. When I mean, tell me when this was. Now this was Sewing Street's birthday. The the first birthday. No, no, no it's it was. Second. It was, it, it, was, it was 2021. Oh my gosh. And these are I'm, absolutely I love amazing. These. It's a real sort of old school idea. Well, it was it? at the time when we would do, we did some topsy turvy dolls on Yarn Lane. Right. Knitted ones. Okay. They were massively popular. And I thought, oh, God, God, just, I'm we need the to do sewing ones, yeah. don't we? So are they difficult to make? No, they're just, take, they're just time consuming because there's a lot going on. Right. So I wanted them to be proper. Show us what, what happens. So with this is, doll, um, we'll start with Cinderella. So this okay. is Cinderella in, in this way around. She's in her ball gown. Oh, this is so Now fun. she has a proper dress that you can take off. Because really? little girls, oh yeah, and Maisie boys is obsessed with like doing new clothes, yeah. undressing and dressing. It, yeah. Um, so all everything that actually comes off. It oh does, gosh. and everything is made so it's got she puff got on. With, the, with elastic. She does know. Look, she's got um, press studs <gasps> yes! on the back. Um, but we've done it in a way with some of the pieces to make it a little bit easier. So with Red Riding Hood, we printed bits okay. on to make it easier. So there's there she is. Her face is printed because oh, I think that's often the hardest bit about right making a doll. Yeah. It's just normal double knit yarn. Okay. And you just put Stitch it on. Stitch that on. And then I plaited her hair and sewed it up. And then you turn her round. So like you this. pull the dress over her head. Yeah. Pull Ollie, it have down. you seen these before? And then Look, she becomes. She's not ready for the ball. Cinderella in her rags. Oh my word. It is so clever. And she hasn't, you know, you can take her apron off. Because <gasps> you'd want to take it off, yeah. wouldn't you? And whereas. Things like this, where the bodice, they, that's printed on, because otherwise it was, it would have been Too trickier. So there were things that I wanted her to have, like a proper dress with puff sleeves. You spent I've, a lot of um, time designing this. But I've done some things in a different way to normal dressmaking, just because it's easier, because they're smaller okay. pieces. Okay. But, you know, the patches are printed on there. So, so is this again a panel, or how, how do, is it that we, yes, we do Yes, where this? is the panel? Where is, oh, there they are. I'll go and have a look. That's all right. No, I've, so I've Cinderella is your main graphic. So here we are. It's Cinderella. a really big panel, because every Everything is on here. <gasps> so I mean, she clever. does look really. F Last time we had her on air, I took all her clothes off <laughs> because she looks really funny. <laughs> Slightly weird, <laughs> as you can imagine. I just love her face, like you said. To be able to um, embroider her face like that might be so slightly difficult. So, I mean, you've really done all the sort of hard work yeah, for and all, us and, and to get all the arms clothes. and the hands. And oh, I'm excited! Right. So, what do the panels look so like? So the panels. I love this. Oh, this is gonna. This is about to sell out, by the way. This is Look at the size big. of the panel. So <gasps> you've got. It's even bigger. You've got the, the doll, obviously. Yeah. Is got two heads. Okay. Because that's where the clothes go. Oh, it's very clever. And then you've got all of the arms, and then all of the pieces, like the bodice on the dress. 
yeah. and printed with it on. Right. Um, and then these are all the pieces for the, <gasps> all the different bits. There's the sleeves. I put a facing on the dress because that's easier than hemming a neckline. Thanks, <laughs> <Next, laughs> you've had way too much fun. I know, I've way, this, I'd way too much fun. <laughs> Good job we stopped at two because who knows what I'd have had. Oh, my word. Right, that is literally about to go. There's way too many of you there. Oh, we also and have... it has lots of instructions. It doesn't have the tutorial because we didn't do them then. No, that's but fine. It has lots of instructions. And we did this back. Okay, have you got the date, Ben, when this was launched so people can watch it back? I'm sure it's February 2021, I reckon. March 22. Oh, it was 22. Okay. Two years ago. Mm. I remember this was one of the early ones. It might have been before the sisters moved over, to be fair. So it might, if it was 2021, then it was before our system. So I think yeah. it was. I think it was probably earlier than that. It's gone. Yeah. Right, should we right. do the Red then, Riding Hood? So Red Riding Hood, now she has oh, a cape. I this so Are you going to bring these back again? <laughs> yeah, I guess we so. need We, we need to do, do them, them don't we? I love them. You need so to do more designs as well. She has a cape. Oh, my gosh. She has of to. course, because she's Little Red Riding Hood. And this, and then obviously... What does she turn into? Well, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> so, with, with this one, obviously, she has all the, the bodice printed on, because that makes yeah. it a bit easier. She has a little apron that will, yeah. that will come off. And um, I just tied... You can do what you like with their hair, but that's how I did it. Have you plaited it as well? Oh, my gosh, I you're a good hairdresser, Bex. Yeah. You just sew it in. You sew a big loop of hair and um, you wind it around a piece of card right and then you sew it onto the top okay um let me have a look at your instructions as well you've got plenty of instructions in there because there's quite a few elements to it so it's a big instruction yeah there's a lot there? in there and i put loads of photos to yeah. explain exactly how it's done okay so then when you and then when you turn around uh, yeah she becomes grandma oh my what did you see that the reveal of grandma oh, so Grandma's got grey hair and glasses and she has a little like mob cap <laughs> and she has pearls because she's Grandma and a posh apron and a purple stripe. Dress. I'd never, before I'd seen Amber Bates, I'd never seen Topsy Turvy dolls before. Have you not? No. Oh, I think they were a really big thing, knitted Topsy Turvy right. dolls, loads of them. <gasps> They are lovely. Right, this is, again, another sellout. It's gonna, there's, I think there's two left and way too many of you there. So we're going to move on from the top of the but one, well everybody who managed to get them. And thank you for messaging Bex, because I'm pleased we've managed to get them. The Clouder of Cats, please, next, Bex. Thank you very much. So um, I know how much everybody loves cats, so I decided to do a panel that had lots of cats on and then a choice of what you make with it. Okay. So a clouder is the collective noun Yes, for cats. I didn't know that. I love collective nouns. I do. Love them. The so, flamboyance of flamingos. Yes. This is a clounder of cats. A clouder of so cats. So what have you made with this then? So what you can make with it. Now, obviously, on the panel of all the cats, but and okay. you will need extra pieces of fabric to make some of them. And they are beautiful. But you've got um, four cat designs. I'll show you in a minute what you okay. can do with them. And then you've got extra pieces that are used oh, for some of brilliant. the projects. PK cat face, cat purses, cat pouch. Uh, you've then also got shaped cat cushion. Yes, yeah, so I'll, sh I'll show you. Yeah, you show us. So this is the, um, they're all in the cat bag. The so cat's out the bag. The cat's out the bag. So you've got the pieces to make the cat bag, the outer of it, but you'll need your own fabric. So there's some yeah. things you'll need your own fabric, yeah, yeah. the linings, but the outer. So I've got one cat on the front and one on the back. But obviously you can choose which cats you put where. Um, then there's this one, which is <gasps> oh, just different cats. And aren't they beautiful, like, illustrated? Yeah, they're, they're, that's the same bag. Um, what else did I make? I made a cushion from one. And oh, those pieces nice. are on the panel. Okay. So anything that's catty printed is on the panel. But there is the fabric on the back as well. <gasps> Lovely. That's on the panel. Yes, yep. that's on the panel. Um, you can make a zip case with a cat. Brilliant. That's on the panel. One of the cats I framed because oh. you can have him as a picture. Yeah. So if you just buy a stretch over the canvas, just a cheap frame, yeah. and then staple it on. Oh, that's a good yeah, any frame. It doesn't even need to be canvas. Um, then there was a. There's a little cat that you could put in the pocket of something. Great idea. Or like in a t-shirt. Uh, yes. Uh, there is. On I've the back seen, of your jeans. Yes, I've seen a big designer, actually, that's got a, a cat similar, you know, on the poking mm. out of a pocket of a white t-shirt. And I love that idea. Or I think the back pocket of your jeans would look cool, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Um, there's the shape cat. Oh, brilliant. 
And then uh, there was a tiny cat and I made him into a little zip purse. So you've got loads of projects there? Yeah, loads. Oh. So, and you can choose then what cats you put on what project. Well, I mean, these could be blocks on quilts. They could be all sorts, yeah. can't they? So, so you've, got, you've got things like you've got this fabric here that you use for the sides of the yeah. tote and you've got this fabric here that you use for the sides of the cushion and the back of the cushion. Right. So there's all the catty bits are there and then you just use your own stash for the other pieces. Look, there's literally 10 left. There's 10 left. Uh, if you go back onto the website and see what is available from the items that we've shown because we have lots. But I the mean, instructions out. to make all of these projects are in the instructions that come with the kit. Okay, so... You haven't got to guess. Right, so you have them. done the, the Yes, yeah, so when you here, read yeah. the instructions, it says, like, how to make the cat cushion, um, how to make the boxy tote, um, how to the shape cat cushion, the applique cat face, the cat picture, the little pouch. So all the instructions are in there. Brilliant. Thank you. It's up to you which cats you use for which Where? project, if Brilliant. you see what I mean. All there under, well, there's less than 10 now available. Oh, we've got to do something before it sells out is the storage tubs. Okay. Trio a storage basket. Yes. More specifically, the sewing room, please. Yeah, Next. now that has been out of stock for a long time. Um, oh, it's going to be out of stock any second now because there's four left. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, for the last four people... This and for everyone good. who's got it, look at what you've got to look forward to. What is brilliant about these is the lining inside, <laughs> inside of your sewing, sewing room. room. Aren't they brilliant? So you've got your sewing room on the outside. This is like a sewing room shelves. And this one is books that have got sewing Needling things on. And things on the inside as well. All sewing the tips, quilt blocks, sewing techniques. I think this is what sort of sets you apart is the the fabric placement is the ability to digitally print so that you can put those fabrics yeah so if you them. you could make these from and normal them. fabric but then you wouldn't be able to have everything so the lining folds over to the outside but the lining is printed so that you've got this band on it oh lovely and that when it folds over it's like a cuff mm -hmm. the handles are optional so you can put those on if you want to have handles but you don't have to have them they're very, I mean, they're so useful, aren't they, as well? I mean, we always have little storage tubs with all of our sewing Well, you can put all your sewing bits and pieces. You can put a plant in them, all different gone. things. Gone, 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 gone. Right, we have another trio of storage tubs. This time gardening. in the gardening. Yeah. Gardening? Yeah, that's fine. So this is your garden shed. Oh, <laughs> this is so clever. <laughs> Look with the doggy. <laughs> it's got a bicycle. Oh, my gosh. And then the, the top folds over so it's like sort of the slate tiles because it's a posh shed. Oh, OK. You've got a very posh shed, haven't you? Babe? I've got a quite nice shed, yeah. yeah. Not slate tiles, but it looks a bit like that. Slate effect. And like the in the inside, so I know a bit like the, the um, velvet patches, you could make two. Yeah. Very because brilliant. you could use that for yeah. another one. Because that's the inside of the shed, because that's the inside of the windows. <gasps> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. it. They're just so clever, aren't they? And so you so get, um, and you get all three. So there's the, you get the big one and then the medium one, and that's all the shelves. Inside the potting shed. So you could keep seed packets in here. Yeah, yeah. All your or a plant. Bits of bobs, your trowels, your succotairs, your gloves. And then this one has got words on it, like grow, potting shed, herb seeds. Love them. Big on one side. Well, you could put a little. Over. You could put a little plant pot in them, couldn't you? You could. You could. Yeah. I think I've, I wonder what. I can't remember because I did take the photos of the, all the things are in them, but I can't remember now. What, what's that? Sorry. Well, there was a oh, photo what you had that I in there. Yes, and I actually can't remember. Right. Let's have a look on the. Uh, the, the are they on the instructions? Oh yeah, there's the shed. So I put like a plant in one of oh, them. Oh yeah, good idea. And then some seeds in one. So you can put all different sorts. Yeah. Like a succulent. Right, look at the size of the panels, by the way. They are absolutely... Well, there's a lot on there because you've got... A f each one has four pieces, like a front to back for the outside and front to back for the lining. And then you've got the handles, which, again, you don't have to put on. That's entirely up to you. Brilliant. And then they've all got these extra... In the cutout corners, there's all these extra little pieces that you could use for they, um, They're actually really easy to make as well, really, aren't they? they again, look quite complicated. This and the duffel toe are when people say to us, what's good for a beginner? This is it. And it looks 
fantastic. When you finished it, if you'd said to me, I've made that, I'd be like, no, you and haven't. You do, you do need wadding with them. Okay. They wouldn't stand what up. What sort of so wadding I would you used use? H640 fusible, but you don't have to. You could just use normal wadding. But you'll then you use like a bosal foam if you want them really. If you want them really structured, structured, and you need, yeah, you'll need a meter of wadding. So okay. Fifty-six by ninety centimeters. Okay. So depending Brilliant. on the. Well, actually, no, that's, well, that's just over half a metre then, isn't it? Because 90 is the width. Yeah, so you'll be all right. Yeah, the yeah you might, is you might just get it onto half a metre. And then you yeah. can quilt them. So you can see I quilted round. Well, I was going to say, I bet people sort of embellish then. Would you, if you wanted to do some hand embroidery, yeah, and some lazy daisy stitches, would you do it onto the... The, the yeah, no, and I, well, I've said in the instructions, if you want to embroider it, do it before you yeah. quilt it. Because... Um, I've quilted like around the windows, but you don't have to quilt them. That's entirely up to you. We also have the sewing group. Um, no, we've hang on, we've got that one. The thatch cottage. Thatch cottage. Uh, so with the thatch cottage. So the thatch again, cottage. What did I put? This. Oh, that's right. So with the thatch cottage, I put apples in one in the big one. It's very good for fruit. Brilliant. Oh yeah. And a plant in one, and then I put all my sauces. So the thatch really cottage. Useful. I'll show you. Look, you've got the cottage on the outside, and then the. The roof of the cottage folds over. You've got the slate on the bottom, and then on the inside, you've got the inside of the cottage. Oh my god! So you've got like the bed, ironing board. <laughs> Love it! <gasps> Isn't that amazing? Your Windows. little coat stand, <laughs> sofa, the floor, mm, the tile floor. floor. Yeah, that is really, really clever. And once again, these panels. The amount of times I see these on the Facebook page, and they all look like this, which yeah. just shows how easy They're really easy it is. to make, and because everything's printed on there for you, the, you know, all the seam allowances are included, you just cut them out, iron a bit of wad into the back, sew them together. Brilliant. There you go. Well done, everybody who's got those storage cover, the storage um, boxes. The medium one has got all the shelves of the pantry, so there's a hamper and jars and a Victoria sandwich, obviously. Oh, yes, I saw that on the panel. And Love then it. the little one are all recipe books. They are beautiful. And it says chocolate scone, coffee tart, tea, cream. Very clever. It is the placement, isn't it? And it, the, yeah, it, I love it. Right, sorry, Ben's moving me on. We've got a lot to do in the next 15 minutes yes. or so. Right, book covers. So, so you picked three of the yes. most popular. Unfortunately, we haven't out. got them. They went to the Festival of Quilts and nobody has found them since. Oh. I need to remake them because oh. the sewing one oh, no. and the gardening one have <gasps> done walkies. Done walkies, but we have got the elephant one, so I can show you how it works. I just need to remake them, but the sewing one has sold out so many times, so I've asked them to reprint this. So this is your sewing-related one. So you've got my sewing notebook on the front. So this is the outer. That's the lining. So it's all sewing items, and then you've got a blue polka dot and pockets. But this is the sort of I'll idea show you of what the design, and you, I love this. This is how it works. So, so this clever. Is the elephant one. So the, you've got it, a handle on it as well. Yeah, you, well you, but that's optional. But okay. you might want to yeah. carry your notebook. Yeah. Um, you, it covers an A5 hardback notebook. You can buy them anywhere. It doesn't need to be any particular brand. It just needs to be A5 hardback. Then you've got a pocket that you can put pencils in. Yeah. You can personalise it. On this side, there's a pocket that you can put things in. Anything. <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> and then on the back, there's a slip pocket that matches and it matches. The print. I find that so Because you know um, satisfying. when you've got a notebook, you always have bits of paper, don't you? How am I going to pattern match that, though? I'd be thinking I'm not going to be yeah, able to do that. Yeah, but it just does. It, does it? it just You just put it on top. And Very clever. You don't, it's all worked out. But that's instead of all those bits of paper that's in your book, you put them in the pocket. That's a brilliant idea. So on this one, which one's what's going to pattern match? What's going to be in my back pocket? Oh, hang on. I'll just have to show you. Um, so that's the back of it right. and then that's the pocket so the pocket just sits on top oh lovely slip pocket yeah, outer, outer on there oh yeah, yeah. no that's, that's the it. outer and that's the lining of the pocket so oh, that so bit gonna, yeah. sits on top but actually wait you're not pattern matching because the the bit without the print actually sits there oh. so in that way it's a but bit it all easier. works i must remake that i don't know where it came back from the festival club oh. can't find it We've got samples coming out of our ears. I know. It's right. the two things that have gone missing, so I just need to remake it. Should we do the elephant one? Because that's yes. the one that we've had the, the sample one. of. So the elephant one has got, I'll open it out flat, you've got a mummy elephant and a baby elephant. And then elephant prints. And you have got full instructions again, haven't Yeah, you? full instructions, all for this. And have I done that? I, don't, I can't actually remember. Watch that. What are you trying to do? Whether I've done the tutorial. No, I, think, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know I think I have. It doesn't have a QR code. No, but. Maybe you did. I think I did. Have a look on your Amber Makes YouTube. 
but the elephant fabric is so beautiful. It's the so artwork on this is I know, amazing, it's amazing. It? I love it. I love the blue that Amy's used here and this green. It's gorgeous. But, I mean, they are so realistic, aren't and they? And do you um, quilt the front at all? Uh, you can if you, you want. Because it, it has got wadding in, yeah. yeah. So it just gives it a bit more substance. And then with some of them, yeah, I have quilted round. But you don't have It looks to. like you've got a binding and everything, doesn't mm, it? But it's just the, the edge. Just the printing of it. Really beautiful. And even in the... The smaller sort of prints, they they are just super. Well, and cute. even when you look, when you take the book out, you know it's got a lovely oh. lining. So some people have used the lining to cover another book. That's a really nice gift Obviously. for somebody, isn't it? Who uh, is yeah, I think a lot of people have made them as as gifts. gifts because you just buy yourself an A5, and I've made them um, so that the book slides in really easily. Yeah, because you don't want it too tight. Right, a gardening book. The gardening one. So again, I lost that one. But that's what the gardening one looks My like. My gardening notebook. I love the pencil pocket is a spade and fork. And do you stitch between yes. these a space for you to be able to yes, stitch? Yes, so that your pencils those. can go in there. Fantastic. I think Amy's done a brilliant job with that. I know a lot of people have bought like the gardening storage baskets. Yeah, and want their matching notebooks. And, the notebook. and these are nice for, um, well, it doesn't matter whether it's for him or for her, yeah. actually, isn't it? Because nice everyone has gardening. Because we try to do them like, what do you write notes on? Well, it's going to be sewing, isn't it? Yeah. And it's going to be gardening. Yeah. And then people and have then general notebooks. So. Absolutely. But the gardening one and the sewing one, we haven't had in stock for a long time. £14.99, all your seam allowance included, all of your little labels as well for you to know exactly what it is. The book cover flap, for example, the cover, the book cover back, uh, the flap, the lining, the outer, the slip pocket outer, it's all labelled up for you so you can cut those little labels out, pin them on as you go. But all instructions are in your kit. Yes, price. Thank all you in for there. that. Right, we're determined to get through we're all of these. We're determined to do it. Because um, I know how many people have been messaging you asking about restocking certain things. Yes. So, can we do the totally tote? Yes, so I put the elephants back in because the that was so to matching the elephant um, storage baskets in the book cover, we did an elephant totally tote. Oh, this now, is nice. That one I've put bosal in because it makes it gives it that kind of yeah. basket look. But again, you can do this with. Wadding, bosal, or nothing. Depends what okay. you want. Yeah. So it comes with all the pieces to make this, yeah. and you have the little pouch. If you don't put anything in here, you can fold it up and it will fit in a little zip purse. Which is fabulous to be able to use as a shopper to. bag. Um, I always end up, you know, use it, buying more than I probably intend to. I take my bag out and I'm like, I yeah. need another bag. So, so your bag would be your bag. if you want it more structured, you can. It's fully lined. Yeah. It has a zip pocket oh, nice. with a secret pocket inside. Hang on, a zip pocket with an extra secret well, pocket? Well, there's the zip pocket, but when you go inside, it says... <gasps> the secret things. things. Secret things in the zip pocket. And it's the Brilliant. lovely blue. There is a video tutorial to make this bag. As that well. is lovely. With, it's more than just a tote bag, isn't it? With elephant handles and all the pieces as well to make the little matching purse, which has a matching lining. It's all well. about the artwork on that one. I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. She's done an amazing job. Gorgeous. And if you quilt round it on this bosal, it really makes it 3D. Stand out, yeah. Uh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? You've got that... Um, well, it's just so... It does give it a really lovely... It gives it a lovely structure. Yeah. But yeah. you don't have to. Right. Some people want to do that. But I, so when I've made them before, I've done some with, some without, some with wadding. And then you get all the pieces. And you have your matching notebook in there. Yeah, your matching notebook can go in there as well. 19 and that is for your big panel once again. Shall I just quickly show you the panel? There's only 10 of these remaining. Oh, sorry, Ollie. Here's the uh, yeah, size big, of it. It's a big one. It is a big panel. It amazes me that you've got the, look, we're still the front, the, the back, you've got the linings, you get little elephants in the cutout corners, and then there's the pockets and all the pieces for the zip case yeah, and so the good. tab. And then you get three free elephants. You Aww. can do what you like with those. And then the little PK elephants. And the as little well. elephants. Yeah, there's more there. And then there's labels, so this bag belongs to, or you could write it as a, there's blank labels if you wanted it to be a gift. But you don't like space on a No, bag. don't like blank no. Space. No, Amy fills every piece of space. Beautiful. And if there's space, then she'll say, I've got space. What else can we add to this? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go, oh, um, um. Just more applique, we'll make, more ideas, uh, um, more elements. I have to figure something else to Or make. yeah, make a charm, make a, something else with because it. there's a space. Don't like space. Brilliant. Um, okay. Should we do elephant charm squares? Oh, yay. Because that keeps selling out. So, I didn't know that you do the charm packs as well. Yes. So, we we didn't to start with. No. Um, but we had a lot Sorry. of... Sorry. <laughs> a lot of people have asked us for prints of them. So, we do 
the chancellors. Oh, and this one lovely. I sold out before, so I got them to redo this one. I will go as far as saying I think a chance square is one of the most versatile it's free fab, cuts, isn't it? Well, so many so many things you can do. What do with you like them. doing with charm squares? I usually just make them into a bag, to be honest. Yeah. Because you can either cut them out and and you know Stitch you can or together. you can just so, cut out like nine and mm -hmm. make it or you can cut them out and put fabric around them yeah but, but they're really nice for cushions as easy peasy for cushions. yeah really good but because of the placement again they're all really well thought out that they're all centralized and fussy cut so if you do want to use them as pockets on things yeah pockets or... they're lovely that's true and then you've got a row of elephants across the top so there's 40 five inch squares on there brilliant is that two of each Design, three of each design, I think. Possibly not exactly the same number of each. You've got baby ones, big yeah. ones, mummy ones, small ones. They are lovely. And even if, you, if you're using these within your patchwork as well, absolutely. They'd make a really nice baby quilt, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah, yes. Get a couple of those. That's a brilliant price as well. And you could just sew them together for a baby quilt. Or you could yeah. um, put fabric borders around them to make them even... Go I just go with like I would go with a what's it called misty blue. Yeah, that would be nice. Misty blue it? or, or calico would yeah. be nice. Yeah. Uh, now you know you said about the shopper bags. Yes. You've actually bundled them as a three. Yes. Yeah, so the supermarket bag. Yeah. So we haven't done these as a bundle for uh, well since we launched them I don't think. So oh, really? now these again I designed specific. I thought my sister gave me this idea because she had these. Um, you know, the bags for life. Yeah, and she had yeah. one fabric one. So I bought all the bags for life from all the supermarkets, even the ones in France, because I happened to go to France that week. Okay. And got did the best of them. So, so these are the best of all the bags. This is great. I've never seen this, that you've got the little elastic so button. So, first down. of all, that's what it's like folded. So you can just chuck it in your handbag, chuck it in the boot of the car. Yeah. Because otherwise, those bags for yeah, life, they're they chunky, take up too aren't much, they? too much space, um, yeah. And then when you open them up, <laughs> they unroll. <laughs> <gasps> and they have... How have I never seen these before, Bex? These are brilliant. What they have, so they have handles you can put over your shoulder because that's important. Yeah, yeah. But with sometimes, you know, when there's a lot in them, yeah. you don't want to put them over your shoulder. You actually just want to hold them. So they've got carrying handles as well. <laughs> Look at the handles. Custard, pineapple <laughs> slices, baked beans, tomato soup, sweet corn mustard. <gasps> and then what they oh, have is so that, that elastic that loops around to hold it up. There's a button on the other side. So you know when your bag's really full and it's in the booty car and yep. everything falls out? You can loop that round the button <gasps> and it holds everything oh, together. Oh, you have done your market research, and haven't you? I also measured them all, so it's got a really nice deep base. And because I wanted them to be able to roll up and not be too bulky, they're not lined, yeah. but they have a facing which makes the handle stronger with matching prints. And then they are sewn together with French seams so that there's no fraying at all. Right. But um, they were just a bit, I didn't want them too thick. I have, I did make, I did make a set, because it was my sister's idea, I did make a set and I actually lined hers with ripstop. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I thought that'd be quite nice. So, and that's easy enough to yeah. do because you just use the pattern. Pattern as a, a template. But look, even on the insides. Are all so you... there were three. So when you go to the supermarket, you've I got do one... like to, when I'm at the checkout, I do put them in the ones that go to the fridge, ones that well, go yeah, to the Well, yeah, I do. I have tree things your... that will get yeah. squashed. Yeah. <laughs> So you've got your bakery. So that's bakery. Right. So you've got bakery items on one side and cakes on the other. Right. So we've got fondant fancies, custard tarts, cherry bakewells, battenberg. That's All the favorite. best ones. All the best cake. And when then, did you launch these, Bex? I don't know. can't remember that either. Last Do you know year? when this was, uh, Ben? <laughs> yeah, can I have a look at the panel? It was back on the 24th of the 3rd, 23. 24th of March, 24th of March. Can we have a look at the panels? Yes. And then the handles, like, so that's got cakes on that handle and that's got the bakery on that handle. So um, this is the bakery. Anyway, what I've you done... You get all of them. If you buy all of them, you get a discount. So this oh. is why I've put them on. So the price for each of them, I think... This one, I can't remember. I think is twenty four ninety nine. Okay, twenty four ninety nine each. I think. Ben will be able to let us know. So, look. yeah, he's saying they're supposed to be twenty four ninety nine each. So, right. you're going to get all three. Get all three. But they're £15 need all pound three. each now. That makes it £15 pounds each panel, which and is... They lot, and they are... This is your supermarket bag for life. And it's better than bags for life because they fold up smaller. Yeah. Oh, these are amazing. So, that's your... Look at the macaroons and your French so that's your handles. But then the facing that holds the handles strongly in place, they've got the matching cakes on. Oh, I love these. What a great idea. All three panels are the same size. We've got to leave it there because of time, but... And then you've got it's grocery, green. which has got fruit and veg. No, the green grocery, fruit, fruit and veg. And veg on the and back. And then grocery and that that's tins and packets. So that's your tins. 
That's your fruit and veg, and that's your bakery. I love it. I love it. I love that you've even written what fruit is which, so we know yes. we're learning as well. And then Amy and I went <laughs> to the supermarket and took all the pictures. We filled up all the bags. Did people uh, did people look at you? Yeah, but no one said a thing. No one said anything. And we filled it, and then we put it all back. Brilliant. I didn't idea. want to buy all that bread. <laughs> Put it all back afterwards. I'm seeing if I know which supermarket. Yeah, I know yeah. the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. We so found that's... another trio of storage baskets. We haven't done the elephants. We didn't do the elephants, did we? Did we not? And you've done the handle of the elephants. Yes. Now, this is the... Did no, we do this? this? It's the mug bag. Oh, it's the mug bag. Oh, it's, sorry. Yeah, we did. No, this is Hang the on, mug... graphics says... Oh, trio you can't of do the trio of elephants. Fins? Storage bags. Ah. Oh, I thought we did. But you got three of them. Oh, so there we go. There's the trio of elephants. Oh, they are lovely. We'll just see them. That's what they make. That is what they make. Three left, two left, one left. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the mug bag. So elephants. Oh, okay. So right, if I've got my cup of coffee. Yeah. Now watch the design behind. When me. I um Why when I, did you design right, this? Because text? when I was working at Sewing Quarter and I used to stay in Birmingham two yeah. nights, I always like to take my own mug because in the apartment I didn't like the mugs, they were okay. too small. Right. And when I go on holiday, I always take my mug with me. Right. It's always too small. But I used to wrap it up in a plastic bag so it didn't get broken and put it in my suitcase. And then one day I thought this is ridiculous. I need a proper bag. And this is how this happened. So your mug will go in here. Yeah. It has handles and with the elephant one. I think people are going to use this for all sorts. The trunk. But I love that you've designed this for this, your mug. For my mug. Wait, but in on the panel as well, you, there's a mug mat. Oh, a little mug rug. And there's a little teacup pouch <laughs> to put your tea oh, bags in. <laughs> because when this I used genius. to go away, I want I take my own tea bags. <gasps> this is genius. Or when you pinch all the tea yes. bags from the hotel, pop them in there. Pop them in there. And then you put your <laughs> and then this fits in the bottom. But you could use it for like your back lunch, <gasps> whatever. There's Great also idea. a pocket on the front and the pocket matches. It's all matches and look the trunk. And the trunk goes in. a bit like the animal yes, things. The bags. So you could put other little things in there. It's also good if you're going to a workshop and you want to take mug, but I think what it's really good for is we quite often buy people mugs for presents. Yeah. And this makes a mug present even better. Yeah, it because does. it's in a little bag. I know lots of people though, you know when you're going to work and you want to take your own tea bags, mm. we have to take our own tea bags to work, don't we? And yes. milk and things. So this is great for so, that. And it all goes and then you've got your mug. Oh, well, you I can love put your that. sandwiches. Put my milk, my little milk in there. Yes. You could put your sandwiches in there. Fantastic. That's so, a lovely little lunch I bag. I think it's so cute. And I've put the drawstring cover on it because it just holds it all nicely, yes. isn't it? That is a great idea. Now you get your panel, you get your instructions, everything that you need for your. And there is a video tutorial is for that. that? Yes. Oh, great. That is lovely. And like you said, great gift idea. Um, okay, we've got three items left. Rap, Rap style. style. Brilliant. Now, again, sold out all the time. This was one that we launched just before Christmas. Yes. Wasn't it? So and this completely sold is out. really good value for money because. I've put all of the outers on the panel and not the linings because you only need a plain fabric for the lining. Which one have you got? Can I Jungle. insist that we do party you animals? Do party, it's your birthday, party animals. Because we are party animals and this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the size Well, it's a panel. massive panel. panel. There's loads on that and then I'll show you what it makes. Giraffe's got little fun glasses on, this is brilliant. And the zebra and it says, a gift for you, woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that Bex absolutely <laughs> loves. This is like your pocket, isn't it? Go on, so what are we going to so make? So you make this special gift bag, so that's for like... That's, that is too... That is, that that's is a special gifts, gift it? bag. So everything on the panel love for the it. outers is there and the handles, but the lining fabrics to, to just keep the cost down, you can use your own. Yeah. So that's just got a plain cotton lining fabric and I put okay. some bosal in it. You then get a bottle bag because that's very important. Yes. And it will fit Prosecco as well as wine and gin. Fantastic. And so that's got, it says bottoms up on it. On oh, the oh, sorry, lay it down flat. Bottoms no, up. So that that's, is so clever. And again, you've got everything, but you use your own lining fabric. You've then got a drawstring bag, because that'd be nice for, um, yeah, I don't know, sports. scarf yeah. or... Yeah. Yeah, anything. A book. And then well, you would keep, obviously, keep this, reuse yes. it. Use it send for something it on to the else next then. person or keep, yeah, keep it. And I you. always think you don't need to spend as much on the gift if you put it in a nice, nice bag. bag. That's so true. So yeah. there's, the, and it, the um, cheetah goes all the way around. So that's the drawstring bag. You've then got a little drawstring bag for small gifts. That Love features it. features a toucan. 
Um, you've got these, I love these bags. I saw these in a gift shop, but paper ones yeah. where it has like, has ribbon oh. there and eyelets. So that's for like a really little, yeah. a soap or something. This is why you need, or a, or a little cream. candle or something. Yeah. This is why you need your green machine, Bex. Yes, to put the riv, to put the eyelets in. I do yeah. need a green machine. And then I just put ribbon to do it up. Um, you also get, I love this because you know when you get someone a gift, gift voucher card mm -hmm. from me to you or cash. Great idea. And this is great because it's just one piece of fabric that you put the lining on and then it, you sew it all like together. You've done turns, a bit of origami It turns there. into an envelope. And then this get, is all one panel. This is We're still going. Oh and then gosh, look this at the, this is the baby tote bag. Oh. So you get and you could put a gift voucher in that or yeah. something. Just you know, if you're giving something something like jewellery. Yeah. Then putting it in a little bag like that just for you. And the panel also has matching oh, gift tags. Oh, your tags. The uh, party animals sold out. What about William Morris? Oh, right. So William Morris. I'll show you the panel whilst you get the bits and bobs. There we are. Huge. Again, I mean, the bag, huge, huge, huge. it's got exactly the same bags, but just with William Morris. So... The, just add your own lining. The main bag says... Do I get instructions for all of yes, these? Yes, instructions. So it's quite a big... Um, <laughs> it's a massive booklet. It's a big booklet, look but the instructions for everything are on there. Oh my They're God. quite easy to make, to be fair. There's the bottle bag with the yeah. William Morris. If William Morris made wine, that would be his wine. <laughs> um, you get the drawstring bag. There's the little, lovely little things That's bag. Beautiful. That's the little um, drawstring bag. That's the voucher the, envelope. And good things come in small packages. <laughs> and then all gift tags for every one that you can just write on. How beautiful are they? Oh but yeah, doing a friction pen, then they can just erase, they can just erase yeah, it again. Exactly. So iron it and then you can use but it But you again. see, once you've got the panel, you, you can then make them all and they're ready then, aren't they, for all the gifts you're gonna give. Absolutely. I mean, they're lovely. I'll keep that one for myself. I'd and keep that, that's nice. That is lovely. Okay. But you see, by everyone has fabric in their stash and that's how we keep the cost down for that one. Yeah, because that's only $24.99 and you get the huge book as well to explain how to make all of these items. And on the panel, like you said, right, if I'm going to know I'm going to make lots of mm. bottle bags, just use it as a template. Yeah, then and then, yeah, exactly. There we go. And then you've got more, haven't you? Yeah. Absolutely. But, you know, if you want them all printed and the print in the right place, make these. But, yeah, a lot. I know a lot of our customers do measure everything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, that's the envelope. Savvy. But it's done in a special way. So oh, it's got, like, okay. a little curve, curve a cut-off cut bit. That's printed at an angle so that you just... Very clever. ...use that as a template for the lining, and then that makes an envelope. Right. I mean, you've, you've done a lot of yeah, research to work, to work out. out. I was going to say, to work <laughs> out how to, to do out. this, I bet. Um, there's your William Morris, and then I believe there's one other. Yes, so this one. Um, now, these are designs that I... Is this it, then? Have we got through everything? I think we have, yeah. Right. So, these it. are designs that um, I've embroidered and appliqued, right. and then we've... Amy photographed them, and then we turned them into fabric prints. Oh, nice. So, this is a... A cake, a Victoria sandwich. So this is all appliqued, yeah. And then, yeah. And then we photographed yeah. the sewing. So, so I'm looks, not going to have to applique all of no, this. No, that looks printed. like I have. Yeah, because I've done it, <laughs> and you've done it very, very well. And then so we, and like, then. Oh yeah, that's so. So clever. you can see I've machine embroidered it, and you've hand embroidered. I had one. so this one has got like machine embroidery, water and can hand embroidered that. But then we photographed them, so it looks very handmade. And the jammy dodger, jammy one. dodger. Yeah, because I made the jammy dodger out of felt, so it gives it a bit three D. I stitched the the wine bottle. Then you've got a bicycle basket. So all of the different um, designs. So that's the gift envelope. It's got the water and can on. All the same bags that we've seen with the William exactly. Morris and the party animals, but this yes. time with your nice birthday cakes. I think if I were you, if you've got all of them, if you've got you're all covered. Three, you're covered then. For well, these are very thing. sort of general any yeah. occasion, aren't yeah. they? Because you've got all of the the bicycle. Oh, Look they're at the lovely. little ones. I mean, if you, you know, for jewellery or a little safe, yeah. that's lovely, isn't it? Gift envelope, all the gift matching gift tags. Oh, they're so lovely. And then the wine bottle. Great ideas. I mean, I really hope everybody has managed to get what they'd missed out on. Uh, I really hope because I know people have missed out. Oh my gosh, look what we've got! What oh, we've got? Is it <laughs> the Victoria sandwich? Oh, just in time. Oh, thank oh, you. No. Where are the candles? We're not allowed candles no. in the studio. Fire <gasps> oh. 
Okay, you start one side and I'll start the other. Yeah, we better <laughs> go for a break so we can eat some mm. nice cake. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to oh. you. Well done, we did it. You did it. Please, you can you, you book in again for next year, yeah, please? Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise I won't next... see you again. Or, uh, yeah, I'll come and do a, a show. I'll have to think of some things to bring you. I've yeah. got lovely um, homewares I can do. I'll go lovely. speak to Barry and I can do my homewares. Yeah, excellent. My lights. Yeah, you can come on. You can come on. Brilliant. <laughs> um, right, thank you ever so much to Bex for obviously bringing us all of these amazing goodies. Please check out on your brand new... Um, oh, yeah, the big... Velvet bag, single figures on all available designs, which is the William Morris and the elephant design as well. There's single figures, and there's a lot of people who've got them in the basket. Thank you for those, and thank you for my Prezi. Right, let's have a slice of cake. Mm. Don't go anywhere, though, because after the break, we have got deals. There's people already checking out, and we are going to be dropping the prices on all of the sewing machines in the next hour. So stay tuned. We're back in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge they'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. 
Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Oh, what a lovely day. Thank you ever so much for your company today. Hasn't it been fabulous? Do you know what? We all started this morning. Ollie was like, oh, I'm just so tired. Ben was in a really bad mood. I was like, oh, gosh, I'm going to have a great show. And we're all chirpy as anything now. Uh, right. Thank you. I, I, I'm going to say thank you to Bex because she is an absolute legend. We love Rebecca Reed, And, yeah, I'm so pleased everybody's managed to get all the kits they'd missed out on over the last few years of Amber Makes that we've managed to bring, bring back. Now, this hour, I can't actually believe I'm able to do this because this is everyone's dream, isn't it? When it's a day of getting a new sewing machine, it is a big day. It's a very exciting day. So for me to be able to facilitate that and give you money off is something really, really exciting. Now, normally on a show, we might have two, three machines with deals. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six machine deals. They're all gonna get discounts. They're not all, you know, you get your machine and then we're gonna give you 100 pounds of goodies or 50 pounds of goodies. It's a cash saving, which is what I love. Cash in your pocket. Um, now, I'm gonna start with the five series because they all look quite similar and I'll explain the difference between them. But just so you know, they all have money off today. So today is the day. The 550. Now, the 550 is the most affordable. It's the one over here. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Um, go on. Oh, he's going to do it right. So this is a machine that is... I'm just going to shimmy it over. It's this one. It's this one we're looking at, Ali. So this is the 550. Now, um, Ben is not very good at shopping television because he's going to tell you to not buy it today. <laughs> he is in charge though, so I'm repeating what he's saying. He says, don't buy it. Wait until you've seen the deals. Don't get me wrong. If you've always wanted to get the 550, it's a great portable machine. It's a real workhorse. It has, you know, this uh, 50 stitches. Um, he's saying, I, just wait, just wait. He says, that's a great price, five-way split pay, under £100. I actually think, do you know what? It's a really nice machine. It's got, you know, great array of stitches on there. It's got applique stitches, your utility stitches. It's great for a beginner. You can use it with or without the, the start, start it button. It is a good deal, but... OK. <laughs> I tell you, is he charged? He's like, no, 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 Vic, stop selling it. You... 560, please. 560, OK. If you're coming in on the phone line and you get it, right, hang on, which one have I got there? 570. 560! Can I buy this one, Ben? Right. If you've always wanted the 550, get the 560. Because you get an extra, another 50 stitches on there, so you get all of the different stitches. Uh, another difference is, is that you are also going to get your free arm. Let me just have a look at the front of the screen. So you've got... Oh! This is where the difference is. So how much extra is this going to be today, Ben? So the five, 550 went to 489. It wasn't five split pays. It shouldn't be. 489 for a tenner, for a tenner. 
you get another 50 stitches. And you know the best thing about this machine is that you get a feature that is normally on machines over a thousand pounds. You get the thread cutter button. This is a game changer. If you are a, if maybe if you're upgrading to your first ever computerized machine, this is amazing. If you are, if you've got a big Elna 782 and you now want a smaller portable machine to take to workshops and classes and you don't want to be lugging around your big 680 or your 782. If you've got a bigger machine, I know so many people that sew on this. John says, if he were to buy a machine now, he'd buy one of these. He'd buy, you know, one of the, this 570A. That's got the, the, the difference with this one and the 570A is that's got an alphabet. But if you aren't sewing um, every single day or if you uh, haven't got a designated sewing room, this is brilliant because it's portable and it's £10 more than the 550 today. That is literally one of the best savings. Any other day I'd be saying, oh my gosh, discount, discount on the 550 deal. But today it is all about the 560. Uh, I'm just having a look. Have I got a plug here? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug it in so I can show you how easy it is to use. Because if you are just going into your first ever computerized machine, maybe you've got a smaller machine or you've been given a machine and you're thinking, no, do you know what? This is a really, really good deal. I'm going to go yeah. for it. The benefit of using a computerized machine is that it, it, it changes the needle placement for you. It automatically defaults to its recommended stitch width and stitch length. So the buttons on the front screen here are brilliant. Um, they're really easy to navigate through your stitches, as easy as this. And can you see that the needle is moving as you need it? So you've got the single there and then it goes up in tens here. So you literally can change. and. Um, above the number of the stitch, which they're all numbered on here, so you can see what you've got, there is a letter next to a picture of a foot. So you also get to, so for example, number 43 is a, what sort of, let's have a look, 43 is kind of decorative stitch, and it's telling you to just use the A foot. If I change that to 33, 33 is another sort of, over edge foot, uh, over edge stitch, and it is telling you to use the satin stitch, uh, the satin stitch foot, which is an F foot. They're all labelled as well with the different letters on, so you can see. Now, if you want to pick, for example, because it's got 100 stitches, but if I pick out um, a zigzag, let's go to 06. There you go. So easy to change to the correct, uh, whatever, you know, stitch you want. And then with these buttons here, I can override the recommended stitch width and stitch length, which is going to make a bigger zigzag. So even though you've got 100 stitches here, you can override and change them and customise them as you wish. It goes to a maximum stitch... Uh, let me have a look. So it goes to a maximum stitch length of five and a maximum stitch width of seven. So you can do some really lovely decorative stitching. And then these sort of quick speed dial buttons are your straight stitch. It'll automatically go straight back to your straight stitch. You've then also got a zigzag there. You've got an overcasting stitch and you've got a quick buttonhole there as well. But there are, for any dressmakers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different buttonholes, a bit buttonholes there to choose from. And then you've also got your memory scissors button. So if you want to click that, let's go back to the start. If you press too many buttons and you want to just go back to a normal straight stitch, just press that quick button here and it will go straight to normal. And then this button here, if I click it, can you see now you've got the scissors that have highlighted on here. That means that every stitch sequence, it will automatically cut the thread for you which is amazing. You might want to turn that off. If you're doing, say, gathering stitches and you want to leave your thread long, you can take that off. But that is a feature that is normally on machines over a thousand. And today this is under 500. Remember, this is a machine that even here, bearing in mind we are the UK distributor of Alna machines, and we normally sell this at 719 pounds. On a good day, it goes to 699. So this is why I said I feel very, very lucky for my birthday, you can get it under a hundred pounds on split pay, which is amazing. Five
five-way split pay, two-year warranty, an Elna brand, which we all know, love and trust. I mean, lots of our guest designers that come in will use this machine. And whether they're a bag maker, a dressmaker, a quilter, um, a candlestick maker, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever skill they, they, are, they are demonstrating, they are happy on this series of machine. You've also got your variable speed control, your thread cutter, your needle up, down button, there you go, needle up and down. You've got your locking stitch that will do a sequence of stitches up and down in a row, or you can do a reverse stitch. Start stop means you can use it with or without a foot pedal, uh, and it does have the capability of lowering your feed dogs. This machine doesn't come with a walking foot and free motion, but it's one you can grow with. So my first machine that I bought, it was, it was around this sort of price price range. If you've got a budget of five hundred pounds, ask yourself: Do you know the brand name? Has it got a reputable brand? Does it come with a warranty? Does it come with an extension table? This one does. Does it have that thread cutter? Because when I asked John why he bought the six eighty, one of his top reasons was because of the thread cutter. So that is brilliant. Uh, there's the extension table. Also ask yourself, is it something that I can grow with as a sewer? If you're a beginner, can I grow with this? Can I buy a walking foot that's going to fit onto this? Yes. Can you buy a free motion foot that fits onto this? Yes. Can I lower the feed dogs? You can do free motion at a later date if you want to. So it's one you're going to grow with as well. Under £100 on split pay is a birthday deal. Now, it doesn't end there with the 5 Series. I will... Never forget when I launched this machine, it was one of the first machines that we had here at Sewing Street and it was in lockdown where there wasn't uh, obviously anybody else really in the building and I could not contain my excitement and normally when we're launching a machine, you know, everyone's there's a buzz in the office, we all know about this, and there's little old me in my little broom cupboard like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting because there is actually a machine that has got the alphabet on here, loads of stitches. I mean, so now, if you just remember, the 550, you get 50 stitches. The 560, you get your 100 stitches. With the 570, you then get mode two. See these cards say mode one? You then can jump into mode two, which gives you a huge additional amount of pictorial stitches. I mean, there's a little spool there, the scissors. So because of the memory on this, you could do your own stitch sequence of little spools and scissors down the border of cushions. You've got hearts, you've got flowers, you've got all sorts. I mean, it is brilliant. And then you're thinking, well, where's, where's the stitch chart for my alphabet? That is within your manual. So, have I turned this on? Yes, we're on. So, if you click on this mode button here, so it all looks very, very similar. You've still got your thread cutter, you've still got your speed control, you've still got all of the same buttons on here. By the way, we are dropping the price. You've also got your modes. Look, so there you go. When it lights up to the A section down here, that means you're on the alphabet, and that's when you key in the numbers which are in your manual. So just so you're, if you're thinking, well, mine hasn't got an alphabet, it does. Now, you know that we are the sole supplier of Alna now. Our relationships are amazing. Now, there are some places that still have some stock left, and you can pay a lot of money for it. In fact, um, find it on an auction website for $899. And look, you're going to pay how much shipping? £31. £31 there, it says, for the shipping. Ours, by the way, our p, &P is covered all day. So if you bought anything from Amber Mates, if you bought anything from our show earlier on, you've paid your P&P for the day, even though this is going to come directly from Elna, and obviously it costs more than 3 95 to post. Okay, not 7 6 9 They're already selling. You will all pay the lowest price. Oh, I'm now stuck. I'm now stuck. I know a lot of people will say, right, my budget's £500, Vic. My budget is 500 Get the 560. It's an amazing machine. You will love it. But... If you can stretch 50 pounds, you are going to get to do monogramming. You can personalize because you've got an alphabet. Because you've got that memory button here, you can then do letters and you know do names, do dates, do all sorts with your um, memory key here. You've then also got all your, your quick dial buttons as normal. You've got your memory for your thread cutter. 
But this is, it's still got your um, extension table. You can still drop your feed dogs. You still got a free arm. It's got all of the benefits that we were just talking about as the, um, the, the 560. But this one, you've got an alphabet as well and the memory button function. Absolutely amazing value. It should be over £700 even here. But as I said, for my birthday, I did ask a little bit, you know, demanding asking. But if you don't ask, you don't get. So if we get to do machine discount shows, you might see one or two machines discounted with 20, 30, 40 pounds off here and there. These are hundreds of pounds saving on, on all of my favorite, favorite machines. Um, it's ones that we use day in, day out, and we have a fantastic support system. In fact, in our in-house customer service team, I think we now have two Ed, Ed, Elna dedicated um, help advisors. So there are two that are specialist at Elna, uh, people in our customer service team, but they also do have a fantastic customer service team that are based in Stockport here in the UK. So you can speak to Elna themselves. Does come with a two year warranty through Elna. You do have the uh, availability on uh, extending your, you know, your, your chance to do um, more quilting with a walking foot and a free motion foot as you can lower your feed dogs. But your, your, the feet that come as standards are amazing. You get loads of feet as standard. Uh, I love my 578 worth every penny. I had mine two and a half years and still finding new things. Uh, it's a daily use, brilliant machine. Thank you for your message. I must say, we wouldn't sell a machine that we don't rate, if I'm honest, because the reason being is we want you to come back and buy kits from us. We want you to come back to us and say, oh, I'm going to try that quilt kit. We want you to try that dressmaking pattern. If you can't do it on your machine, then you're going to, you know, feel um, disheartened. You might not come back. You might not continue your hobby. We want you to grow this hobby uh, or, or profession. I mean, this is so good, isn't it? £549 for five for the 570A. I cannot recommend it enough. Once again, it's so easy to navigate through all of your stitches, through the different modes as well. It goes mode one, mode one, mode two, mode two, and then you've also got your alphabet as well. Can use your hand crank. You have obviously got your um, speed control. What I love about this as well, if you are working with heavier fabrics or thicker layers, can you see that you have got that extra lift? It's also got your automatic needle threader. You can use it with or without a foot pedal by using your start stop button. There is nothing to not love about this machine. It is one of our absolute goes go to. And in fact, Kat, who um, is on our, our floor manager, these are probably the ones that are most used, aren't they, by our guests? They will always, you'll see them. I think it's because if you have worked on a brother machine or a Juki machine or a different brand of machine, personally, I find Elner's the most intuitive I find them very, very easy to just plug in and get sewing. You're not having to fiddle about with things. Um, I know that you had a machine, didn't you, for Shay, for your daughter, Ollie, and he ended up taking it apart, trying to get it to work. Um, and he was like, oh, I'm sure I know what I'm doing, being a real dad. He says, oh, I was taking it apart for two hours, like right now, I've committed. And in the end, he ended up getting a different machine. So th what is brilliant about this, yes, you've got that initial investment, but now on five-way split pay, hopefully this means that you can uh, get sewing on a machine that's going to give you the results that you want. So, I understand now why Ben's saying, don't even look at the 550 today. The graphics are there. You have got a discount if you wanted the 550. But for the extra tenner, the 560, and then the extra 50 pounds, if you can make that leap, you've got your alphabet. This is what I love about Sewing Street. There's no sort of pressure. There's not me screaming at you, telling you to buy this one. It's whatever level or whatever uh, point of your sewing journey you're on, we can accommodate for you. Now... Should we do this one? This is, oh, the beast of the five series, isn't it? It looks a lot bigger, as you can see next to each other. It's a bigger machine. It is probably going to be more for somebody who has got a designated sewing space, as it is quite weighty. It's not completely, you know, impossible to move. Um, it has the handle there. It is still, you know, 
you can move it. It's not completely solid, but um, it's a real workhorse. It's not going to run away with you whilst you're doing a larger quilt. So the difference with this one is now you're looking at a larger throat space. I'm gonna, just going to plug it in so you can see it on. Um, it does come with a walking foot and it does come, I believe, with free motion. Have you got the, um, the, the list of feet that come as standard with this? Because I just want to check. I'm not telling you um, porkies, but... Oh, it's the same as these. So you don't get walking foot with this one. I think it's the 680 plus that you get your walking foot. Okay, so, but you can obviously then change it to a, uh, um, you can obviously then change it to a, a walking foot if you want to buy a walking foot and buy a free motion foot. But look at how beautiful and well lit this is. You've got lights here, LED lights, lots of LED lights um, lighting up the actual needle bed. It is a big machine. It comes with a really big uh, extension table as well. So if you are a quilter, for example, and you're thinking, right, maybe those machines are a little bit small for me to wrestle my 80 centimetre quilt through. This is your chance. Now, I love the fact that it's got a little wardrobe. Look, your storage for all of your feet. Lots of feet that come as standard with this one. Um, they actually pull forward so you can slot them in. Really easy access. You've got your LCD touch screen here with just like uh, the five series we were just talking about, your speed control, your thread cutting, your needle up down, your locking stitch, your reverse stitch, your start stop. You've got your automatic needle thread, a superior needle threader there. Uh, and at the top here, you've got your stitch chart. Now this has obviously got a lot, a lot of stitches. You've got your basic utility stitches. You've got your dressmaking stitches, your applique stitches. You've got a huge array of blanket stitches and satin stitches to choose from, as well as quilting stitches, decorative stitches, buttonholes on there galore. And you've got your alphabet. Um, it's one of those machines that, it looks very similar actually to the 680 plus, um, but this is under a thousand pounds. Today, we're going to go even lower. Please, please, please. Don't, uh, I, I don't think we're going to be able to repeat these prices after today. It is only for my birthday show, £200. This is what I mean when I said, look, we're not just going to do a bundle worth £50 or a bundle worth £100. That is cash back in your pocket. That is two. Hundred pounds. If you think, I mean, the normal price is great anyway for the size of the machine that you're getting here. Um, but if you think of actually how much you are going to be able to buy to get you up and started with that two hundred pounds, it's brilliant. The Anna Five Eighty sewing machine is great. You know, you can't go wrong with the Anna machine. Personally, I think that they are really intuitive, real workhorse machines. They. They're brilliant for experiencing, you know, different crafts as well. If you're a bag maker and want to have a go at quilting, if you're a dressmaker and want to have a go at toy making, you can dip your toe into all of these different crafts and hobbies. Taking £200 off, five-way split pay. I mean, that's £40 off each split pay today. But it is only... While stocks last, we've been given a limited stock that we're able to do um, a £200 discount. So I really hope that today we can allow you to get a really exciting bit of post on its way to you. As I said, I know as a sewer, it's a big, big day when you invest in a new sewing machine, but it's brilliant. Now, even though this is a big weighted machine... It's actually today going to be covered under our postage and packaging, which is £3.95. So if you bought an Amber Makes kit, even though this is going to be shipped from Elna directly, so it will come in a separate box, it's going to still be covered under our postage and packaging. If you go to the post office and put this on the scales, I tell you what, they are not going to say that's £3.95 to, to post, please. It, it costs a lot more, but it, it is, it, we cover that for you. We cover that. Um, right. Anybody who's got it in your basket... Just be aware, this has been the most popular deal so far. It is a £200 saving, and we have still been able to get this on five-way split pay. If there are any questions that we can answer, please let us know. We've got Bex, who's still uh, in and out of the, the studio as well. So any questions, technical questions that maybe I won't know, I can ask her. Split pay is just amazing, though, isn't it? Normally, these sort of deals would be on three-way split pay, but we did ask especially for my birthday if we could do it on five-way split pay and they are interest-free payments 789 pounds is a 200 
£5 discount. So let's just have a little bit of a play. Once again, if I just click on the, the, the mode, you can see that each section, well, you might not be able to see it quite on screen, but each of these sections are all different modes. So this is mode one, which is kind of your utility, more everyday stitches. You then got mode two, lots of statin stitches, applique stitches, quilting stitches there. Mode three is alphabets, and four and five are different language alphabets as well, um, and numbers and so on. So you've got here your mode. So on this front LCD screen, you can literally easily click between the modes. It will automatically tell you what your recommended stitch width and stitch length is. It will show you a picture of the stitch. It also shows you the, uh, oh, can you see that a bit clearer? It also tells you the, uh, the letter on the, the foot in which you, that's what you're going to need. Let me see if I can spin it so you can see it a bit clearer. The lights are just glaring on it slightly. Mm. Is that all right, Ollie? It's very clear when you see it at home though. Um, right, and then if you start playing around with it a bit too much and you're like, oh, I'm gonna change my stitch width to this, I wanna change my stitch width to that, all you need to do is press C, cancel, and that will take you straight back to its defaulted stitch width and stitch length. So that's C at the bottom there. This is a brilliant feature because if you do a, um, a stitch where you want to cut your thread at the end of, if you're piecing and you know you want to cut the threads, you can then press this memory button here. If I click that, that has automatically put my, um, my thread cutter on. That is your memory. And then this is how you default your stitch width and stitch length. You can key in the actual number of the stitch that you want to here. You can scan between them with the arrows. Anything that it won't let you do. I think a lot of people's fears with computerized machines is that, or bigger machines, is that you think, I'm gonna break it. There's something I'm gonna do that I'm gonna break it. Do not worry, because if I press it, right, you'll hear that, num you'll hear that noise. And that will mean, computer says, no, you're not allowed to do that. It will stop you from doing, you know, things that you're not allowed to do. So don't worry. But there's so much, um, so many different possibilities. I mean, you've got here, twin needling. Twin needling there. You've got the mirror image as well. So there's a lot of the images, for example, the stars here, that you could then flip reverse and do it as a border on the other side. So you've got a mirror image button there. Um, you've got a quick buttonhole zigzag, a quarter of an inch, quick access quarter of an inch button, the amount of times. In fact, I saw one on the Facebook page the other day. How do I do a quarter of an inch on my, my machine? And I think John was saying it's 06 on the 680, it's 06. But here you've actually got a quarter of an inch, um, quick access button there. You've also got your straight stitch. So, I mean, there are loads of great possibilities with this. It's a brilliant machine. We love it. And today with 200 pounds off, you cannot go wrong. Now, I mentioned the 680. I can't not not include the 680 in my birthday deals because this is this is the OG the 680 come on over with me whoops sorry I'm all tangled up ah that helped Ollie to have another second to reframe the cameras for us because we want to show you there we go uh thank you 680 oh. This for me is the, the absolute, oh sorry, no, we haven't got the 680. Did you tell me the 680? Yes, 680 plus, here we go. 680 plus. <laughs> this is the machine that um, back on day dot of starting sewing street, we um, went back through everything that we knew from previous companies and said, right, there's only a small team of us what are we going to bring forward at Sewing Street? And we all agreed the 680 was the machine that we would do. This is our first machine. This is absolutely our flagship machine. And it's like with the green machine, you know, the amount of messages that we have come in. If you want a bit of guidance on what machine, you know, you need as a sewer, go onto the Sewing Street fan page, ask the Sewing Street fans. I think the proof is in the pudding that so many of our resident designers, Joe Carter owns this machine, John Scott owns this machine, Stuart Hillard owns this machine, but with the blue. Um, so I think that was actually just the 680, not the 680 plus. So this is the 680 plus. So I know lots of people that are professional sewers that use this every day, but I also know lots of hobby sewers. When I first started and I had a machine that was given to me by my mom that had been in the loft for about 30 years. And I was like, oh, I'm really bad at sewing. I'm really bad. I would come into work and have a go on this. And I, I don't want to say it sews for you, but 
It pretty much sews for you because it built my confidence. It was so easy to be able, it, Charlie built, like makes bags on this. And he was like, I can't believe I can do that. But it's because it easily navigates to the stitches that you want. You've got so many stitches to choose from. Really easy to interchange between the right feet. So if you want to do a blind hem on your trousers, if you want to do alteration, you've got the option to do that. This now is the next step up because you now have a lot of extras in terms of quilting. So you have got your, uh, your, your walking foot included. You've got your free motion quilting kit that is included. There are some of the features and functions uh, that you can see there. It comes with a knee lift. It comes with your extension table, thread tension control. It's one of those machines that just is going to... Um, Oh, absolutely excel in your explanations. It's got the large throat space, the large bed space. And here are all the accessories that come as standard. Huge amounts uh, as standard. Uh, okay. So I did ask to have this machine included in my show, uh, but obviously we wanted it with a deal. Are you ready? Still on five-way split pay. Please remember that. Still on five-way split pay. Ben, go for it. Anybody who's got this in their basket, today is the day to do this. I mean, honestly, that is a real squeeze to get everything out of this. To get everything out of it, £1,149. You've got your free arm so you can sew in the round. In, in the, um, the bottom of the, uh, the, the machine there, you've got an extra stitch needle plate. Can I show you this? Because I'm on the overhead here, aren't I? The difference in this one. So a, a needle plate like this, you, you might not physically think, oh, well, what's the difference? I've got another needle plate. Is it a spare one? It's actually slightly different. So can you see this little bridge across there? So there's three holes. On the one that's in the machine already, this, is one complete open bridge. So basically on a satin stitch or a stitch that swings from side to side, um, you will keep that one on. And it will tell you if you need to put that one on. In fact, it knows if you've got that one on. It knows it's got a sensor. It will not let you break your needle, don't worry. But this is what you would use to make your machine basically into a straight stitch machine. So, you can do it as a straight stitch machine in the middle. So, if your needle goes up and down straight into that centre hole, then that means, have you ever had a bird's nest of thread on the back of your fabric? Do you ever find that it chews up your fabric? Well, that's because you've got too much space within that bridge, basically. But you can do your straight stitch, but you can also swing the needle to the left or swing your needle to the right and do your quarter of an inch and still have perfect piecing. And it will just regulate, you know, keep your stitches all lovely and uh, even and without chewing anything up. That is brilliant. You've got your, obviously, your easy access uh, top loading bobbin in there. You can see when it's running out. Well done if you've got this because there's already lots of you checking out on this. You've got fabulous storage in here as well, which is when which is important, you know, when you're getting a lot of um, a lot of feet and things like that as standard. So you've got the storage in the base there. I've got storage in here, and there's let me, I'm just opening this from the wrong angle, but let me open me gubbins box. There we go. And it's got little trays like this. Look, so you can slot all of your feet inside there you've then also got extra there you go there's your little tray and there's my little gubbins box so that slots in i can fit all my spools my extra bobbins i tell you what if you've been waiting for this machine as i know so many people do wait for shows like today you know that every now and then special shows birthday shows manager specials we might do a deal but that is one of the best deals I have seen, and I love the fact that we've done it for every sort of price range. If you've got a budget for a 500 pounds, we hopefully we've sorted you out. Anybody who's after, everybody who's after a new machine, today is the day. 
Maybe you didn't intend on tuning in today and buying a new sewing machine. I understand it's an investment. It's something that you normally think about. It's something you normally save up for. But at these sort of split payment prices, maybe you could do this as a little bit of a, oh, do you know what? I'm going to do it. I love those moments. Yesterday, we nearly, we nearly booked a holiday because we saw a really good deal on a flight. And I was like, oh, should we do it? Should we do it? And then I was like, oh, no, we can't. We've got this. We've got this coming on. But um, imagine if you've got... Um, the, oh, Karen, 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 oh, just ordered the 680 plus. It's my birthday next month, so this is my prezi to myself. Yes, well done, Karen. I, do you know why I get so excited? Because I know it is the most exciting bit of post when you get a new machine through the door. And there is nothing that makes me feel more thrilled than knowing you're going to be over the moon with your purchase because we have sold hundreds of these machines, hundreds and hundreds, probably in the thousands now since we launched it four years ago. Um, I know, well, Ben says, I know that feeling because when I bought my piano, he said it was more than I kind of wanted to sort of spend. He said it was £1,500, which is a lot of money. But he says, I still am in love with it. He says, I still use it all the time. And you can just, oh, you'll love this machine. It is the real workhorse. It's our flagship machine. Whether it be your hobby or whether it be your profession, this is a machine that is going to, oh, Serve you well, serve you well. Uh, 1,149, it comes with a two year warranty. It does have obviously all of the, the amazing benefits that we were talking about with the, uh, with the other five series. Uh, but this one has got those extra sort of great quilting functions. If you are a piecer, if you do do uh, you know, quilting, then this is gonna be the machine, hopefully for you. Okay, I'm gonna just, do a nod as well to the spaceship to my right. See, personally, on my journey, this is where I would say, right, I am absolutely never going to need anything more than my 680 plus. If I'm happy to get off the bus here and I'm gonna love it, but, oh my gosh, for anybody who is a free motion quilter, for anybody who is a real serious quilter, who absolutely, you know, it's their passion, it's their hobby, it's their profession, then if this is your day to day, then we're gonna discount it. Now, Becky Alexandra Frost had a go on this machine and she says, I've been told, she says, I'm coming in, I wanna have a play on it, but my husband's told me I can't buy it. I've, I've, I've been told already before I come in because he knows I'm gonna love it. And the reason being is because the stitch regulator. This is the one that launched for our birthday. Now, we only recently had this in, literally a couple of months ago, and we did a bit of research. Obviously, we are the UK sole distributor of this machine. If you have a look, Ben, today, online, at this machine, just because today, if I'm being honest, it's all about price. I'm presuming that you've watched shows on this because we've done hours of, of demonstration with Susie Duncan. We've bought it. You can get it in America and it was over six grand or something. It was, Becky found it, Beffa told me. Sorry, we've eaten all the topping off my cake, by the way. How hilarious. In the break, we just sat and picked all the top of it. I will get Maisie to redecorate the top for me. Um, but, I mean, it is an app. Absolute amazing machine. So, Elna have recommended that we sell this machine at 3,799. Every day that we have managed to do this, we've got it to a certain price of 3,499, which is leaps and bounds better than where we found it in America. Obviously, then you'd have to pay for the shipping. It's just a no-brainer anyway. If you want to have, um, as I say, this is going to be all about price today. I've only got less than 10 minutes, so I really hope that you've, you've watched the show before. You've got your walking foot on here, which is the lovely slim walking foot as well, so you can see what you're doing. But it also comes with a camera. Have you got the box, cat? of the, the red box, the red box. Yes. Is this, is this the box as well that comes with it? This one? Oh, this is such a treat. Right, so we've got this special red box, which comes with your machine. And this is, 
unlike any other machine. I think there is just one, um, I think there is just one uh, other brand that I've seen that does this. And again, your machine would cost you over five grand. It is really special technology. Ben, look at this. So this is your ASR, which is your accurate stitch regulator. It has good instructions of how to fix it and there are video tutorials of how to do it. So it has got a little sensor. It's got like a camera on the bottom. This slots in to the port, which is uh, to the side of your machine, at the back, sorry. It's at the back, uh, just above the, the, the uh, little lever. That slots in, and this is your stitch regulator. What is that, you ask? If you are a lover of free motion quilting, you are in control of your stitch length and your speed that you're sewing. This is going to regulate it like you were a free uh, 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 long arm quilter. You know, if you've got a long arm quilting machine, it is a regulated stitch. It's a machine that does that free motion movement. So you are in control of the designs, you are still doing it, but it's like a walking foot with free motion. Do you know what I mean? That it is going to give you that accurate, regulated stitch when you're looking at free motion. It's got f three different feet attachments as well that you can put onto there with open, big open spaces for your camera to fit in. It's absolutely genius. And as I said, this technology I've only seen on machines over 5,000. We are not staying at 3799, which is the recommended retail price from Elna. Elna found it on the Swiss Elna website. For 399 was Swiss francs, which works out UK pounds at 3,906. So, as I said, we have been told that we can do it at 3799. They are, however, selling it at 3959. What's that in pounds? 4,400. See, we are already leagues apart from where we could be and where we should be. Oh no, you got that wrong. 3591 is 3,500. Oh, come on then, let's beat that. So when you buy from Sewing Street, you've got your warranty, you've got the, oh, there you go, straight down, straight down. Uh, you are actually saving hundreds from what we would sell it at on a normal day. If we were to bring this back tomorrow, another day, it would be 3,499, lowest, absolute lowest. Um, it should be 3,799. It does have the stitch regulator, it has amazing uh, feet as standards, all your features and functions. This is the ultimate absolute ultimate the spaceship of the elna rangers you can see the space it is huge it is weighty but for anybody who has been sitting on the fence today is the day if you're watching this on a replay by the way it's definitely worth finding out if there is any availability um i, I am hoping that you've watched the demonstrations if you've seen the shows before because we have actually done an hour dedicated show it was the day before our birthday with susie duncan if you want to watch that show back when we go off in five minutes then please please do it's on our youtube channel it was back on the 18th of february it was sunday the 18th of february with susie duncan if you want to watch that show um, and there is a whole hour where we talk through it make the most of that price if you've been waiting and you've been seeing it set on the website at 3799 which is the price that it is on the website for until midnight on the 21st of april you can get it at £3,299. Look at your split pay. Oh my gosh. Five split. I know, I'm excited for my birthday in September. In September. <laughs> Every single person who has got a machine in their basket have a serious think about it. I mean, it's just brilliant. I, look at this, we've got seconds left on the show. Look, you get all of these as well. All of these feet. Haven't had a chance to even go through them all, but well done everybody who manages to get any of their machines. Can I just quickly flag as well that 578 and 560 are also brilliant prices. Thank you for spending my birthday with me. Uh, Karen in West Yorkshire, congratulations. After treating myself on Friday with storage craft. Oh, oh my gosh, they're amazing. I've upgraded to Alna. Oh, 
the 782, the 782, amazing, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Sharon, this is about the 680 plus from Sharon. Get it today. I had mine for two years, bought from Sewing Street at more than this price. I've never looked back. Currently sewing coasters is fab. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. With that in mind, I need to leave you. Have a think. Right, tomorrow's menu. We've got lovely Bex with you for uh, Amber, uh, sorry, Amber makes a charm packs coming up at 11 o'clock, but she's also got Liberty Arthur's Garden Collection Launch 2, Teddy Bear's um, Picnic. Oh, Sandy Millie Chip is here. Um, you've also got the Cobbler's Stone bag and Dewey Jumbo's back at 11.30. Thank you all so much for your company. Um, I will see you in a couple of weeks. Enjoy Hubby Maker after this, but make the most of those machine deals. They're amazing. Thank you so much to the crew as well for my lovely balloons and my cake and Bex for my bag. I'm so excited. Anyway, lovely to see you. I will see you in a few weeks. And Hobby, oh yeah, Ben's saying, check out, there's so many people coming through now. Hobby Maker are on the other side of this. <laughs>